check from you, sir. Mic check, mic check, mic check. One more time. Yo, 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 yo. Yes, sir. Trey just walked through the door, let you know. Hey. And let you know uh, I'm blowing on this smoke and I'm always on some dub. Hey, yeah. hey, Sally. Ladies and gentlemen, DIYers. Yeah. You know what this is. I'm trying to tell you, look, every once in a while I come back with some surprises. Yeah. Even though this was planned out, ladies and gentlemen, you don't see us quite yet, but I have my friend Triz here, the homie Triz here yeah. once again. Tris, how you doing, sir? I'm doing okay, man. I'm doing all right. How about yourself? I'm good. Let me turn this, this beat down so we're not yelling and shit. But, uh, <laughs> man, it is always a pleasure. First of yeah. all, um, we got to make sure that we give you your roses today. We're going to yeah. do that once we get on camera, but I want to make sure that I acknowledge those in the chat. Hit the like button on the way in here so that we can let everybody everybody else in the DIY community know that we are live. Yeah. That is supremely important. Yes. But uh, with that in mind, we are getting ready to get started uh, we got a lot of things to chop it up about. Yeah. A lot of independent talk. If you are an independent artist or music producer, I kid you not, do not sleep on a conversation today. Uh, you're going to be talking to not only myself as an independent artist, but someone who is doing doing so many amazing things as an independent artist and is finding success in it in a real way. And I want to make sure you hear from him as often as possible. Yeah. So that's the premise of today. With that said, DIYers. <laughs> I think it might be time. Let's get it. The DIYers. Yeah. DIY. DIYers. Welcome to another episode of, well, I guess it's not another episode, but just Curtis <laughs> King reacts. It's yeah. not that. This is a conversation with my friend, my guy, yeah. Triz, bro. Yeah. What's going on, man? Man. One of my great friends. Come on now. Like, yeah, from the it, early days, you, though. I, you know how weird it is when people come to me and they like, oh, Curtis, I see you make, you be making West Coast beats. Like, yeah. hey, you heard of Triz? Like, <laughs> like trying to put me on a Triz. Like, like come on, save stop, it. man. This thing is really back. in my phone. Like, no, I, like we didn't got skits together. No, on the real. Like, I, don't, I don't think I have as much content with one person, probably aside from like Noah. Yeah. But on some just like, I wasn't expecting you to even be down for a skit. Oh, but I didn't know. I was still getting to know you. It's back oh, when yeah, I was living yeah. in Rialto. But yeah. when you were down for it, I was like, all right, that's one thing. Yeah. But can he act? Oh, uh, uh, what? They got it. I'm not bringing up no stories unless you are, but bro, I'm saying, I, then I learned some more information I didn't uh, know. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> like, I was a child actor and I still be doing little reenactments and yeah. shit. I was just on a reenactment on Reasonable Doubt on a. The ID channel. I still Crazy. be, I still be like uh, chasing the acting bag and shit like that That's too. Wild. Feel me? So like, yeah, no, nah, I definitely can act. I was on Hannah Montana. I was on uh, when I was a kid. I was wait on, what? Uh, yeah. That's everybody wild. know that. Everybody used to clown me about I didn't, that. I didn't, I, I didn't know that. I was on Everybody Hates Chris. <laughs> For real? Yeah. <laughs> okay, show, it shows you yeah. what little shows you what little uh, journalism work I've been doing. Yeah. My, I didn't know you was on all of that, bro. But yeah. it's yeah. not a surprise because I just think that one one thing I've always noticed, aside from just the music that you're making, is yeah. that you have a um, an addictive personality. Yeah. Even if somebody is not necessarily into the music you're making, you mm -hmm. always find a way. Even when I'm seeing interviews, I can tell people who are not familiar with your music, and maybe yeah. I've watched yeah. some. I ain't putting no names out yeah, there, but no, I've, no, I've watched sure. some where I'm like. They ain't listen to this nigga. No, nah, like, they, yeah. they just thought it would be a good look. But when nah, I see it, yeah. you you always have a way of figuring out. No matter the topic, you are mm -hmm. gonna have a, a point of view that feels fresh. It yeah. feels like something that's been thought out. And so I think that that charisma is something that obviously carries into yeah. I TV always and all that. Yeah, for sure. I know. I always wanted to uh, control the room, and I always wanted to be the center of attention. My mom always was like, "You always want to like." <laughs> <laughs> cracking jokes on motherfuckers and shit like that like yeah. and, you know i mean just talking and i but i, I also know when uh to check myself and mm -hmm. i never mm -hmm. i never wanted to talk out of turn and shit like that you yeah. know what i'm saying but yeah i'm very uh charismatic as people say you yeah. know what i'm saying but i never wanted to be uh out of line, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, what you mean you never been one out of line? I, I follow you on Twitter. I know you in real life. <laughs> yeah, what you no. mean? Bro, yeah, before, nah. what, what, before we get into any of that, though, yeah. I got to make sure because the I hit you up mm -hmm. after I seen the tweet. Um, you released a new project. You mm -hmm. talk a little bit about what this project is first and foremost. Yeah, uh, it's called Cornella. It's with my boy Ouija Mac. Ouija Mac. He, yeah, he, yeah. Ouija Mac ironically suggested mm -hmm. the best vegan bacon I've ever had uh -huh. in my life on some uh -huh. random shit. Like, I didn't even know how we was even following each other. He was like... Uh, if you need yeah. that, go to Thrilled Bacon or whatever the case yeah. might be. But aside, aside from that, man. A vegan's uh, get on my nerves, but. 
We can talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be, nah, I'll nah, be nah. that. Nah, I love Weezy Mac, but he know he know that's my dog. He know how I feel about vegans. What you got beef with? How you got beef with vegans? That's I, the last person I, I, to have you beef know with. You know what? You know what? You got beef with, beef nah, with but vegans. Look, but look, nah, <laughs> vegan. I don't. I, I got a problem with fake vegans. Oh, vegans. Yeah, yeah, so you, yeah, yeah. What do you do? What? How do you, you know what? I've heard the homie. Uh, the homie Epic said that to me. He called yeah. me a vegan at one time. Uh, How yeah. do you define a fake vegan, by the uh, way? Somebody who's doing it to appease other people. Oh, that's weak. Like, yeah, that's like weird. not even for your health. Yeah, you, like if, it's a fashion statement, right? If you're if you're genuinely a vegan and you are like you genuinely believe in the way of being a vegan, yeah. I have nothing against that. I'm gonna you know tell you. Mean? I'm gonna tell you flat out. My veganism has nothing to do with animals. Uh, oh, okay. Well, okay. Hey, thank God. You know what I mean? I'm going to kiss my ass. Yeah, yeah, they ain't got nothing to do with that. Yeah, yeah. I, I ain't worried about you because I sure know when I had the chicken. Yeah. Oh, when yeah, I had the yeah, bacon, yeah. I wasn't thinking about a pig and no, I wasn't thinking about a chicken. No, this is no, delicious. Sure. But yeah, he called me a vegan because he was like, you're not even trying to be vegan. He said, you're just trying to eat vegan. He said, you're trying to eat <laughs> vegan style foods of the bad shit. <laughs> so you eating vegan burgers You eating vegan fries yeah. like you're, not, you're not even eating vegan healthy Yeah He's like how you yeah. a vegan And don't like vegetables Man I was like you make a good point. Like the shit that be <laughs> pissing me off When I see like a vegan steak And it's like I'll be like Nigga that's no. not a steak Hey low key Call it what it is Like if vegans came up With their own terminology For yeah. the shit that they eat Then that's cool they need but, another category for that because yeah. I, I I got I ain't gonna lie I got some I got some uh I got some beyond meat <laughs> in, in, in it right now. Hey but, man, you know what? I didn't have some very good vegan burgers. Where? I'm not a uh, Monty's is very good Monty's to me. Monty's is amazing. I love Monty's. Look, my East Coast yes. friends out there, I don't know if y'all got that. I'm not I'm not sure if that's another mm-hmm. in and out situation, but if you ever come out here on the West Coast, make sure that you yeah. get yourself over to a Monty's because yeah. they they it, it got that mom and pop, pop grease. Yeah. Like texture to it, and the mm. burgers are big. It's, it's it's they got the bro. I ain't never had so many damn tater tots. Yeah, bro. At one one sitting, and I ate <laughs> I ate Monty's on accident. I was high mm. with the homies one day, <laughs> one of the homies, and like we needed some food bad, and yeah, you know yeah. how traffic is in L.A. Sure, and it's like kind of by the uh, Dodger Stadium or yeah. whatever. So we was driving around there or whatever, and then we was like, oh, let's stop here. They got burgers. Mm-hmm. And, like, I, I kid you not, we start eating the burgers, right? And I was like, damn, bro, it's something about this burger. Like, <laughs> it's good, but it's just something about it. <laughs> some ain't some some burgering right. Right, right. Like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, nah, I feel you. He's like, but this shit is fire, right? And I was like, <laughs> so I start looking at my bag, like the bag of the shit. I start looking, I looked at the shit. That yeah. shit said 100% vegan. <laughs> And I was like, "Hey, <laughs> wait a minute! This is when you got this is when, this is when you got. Hold on, the white man got this shit set up. Hold on, you. I hope so. And you was like, I hope that's me. I Yo, hope that, no, real. no, bro. They hit you with the hundred percent vegan. Oh, that's yeah. hurts. That hurts. I was trying to hit you with this. Somebody gonna have to tell the truth, and I'm gonna tell it. <sighs> yeah, that well, Monty's, real. That Monty's got you. And, they got you and, today. And, and at that point, I couldn't hate on it. Yeah, I couldn't hate on it. I was just like, you know what? That was, that was propaganda. Somebody. I didn't set know it was up. vegan at that point. Somebody set you up, Trez. That was propaganda. For real. That was the powers that be. Yeah. It nah, was the music industry. Real. The music industry sent that burger to you. <laughs> All nah, that independent talk you're talking about. So, yeah. so I'm sorry. I I, I kind of like felt like I, I hijacked no, the, the good, story of the good. project. But so the name of the project is Cornella. Cornella. Yeah. What's the story behind that? Okay, so uh, Cornella is a project by me and Weezy Mac. Uh, Ouija Mac is a, everybody know he was uh, formerly signed to Psychopathic and he still has a very good relationship with Psychopathic. Uh, he started his own label called Chapter Seventeen, right. Chapter Seventeen, and we dropped the album called Cornella on Chapter Seventeen. Okay, uh, Cornella is a snake and also like a weed strain or whatever, and we kind of just like was high and faded and was like, nigga, we calling this shit Cornella. Type yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ain't no other way to even put it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so uh, people have been wanting me and Ouija Mac to work for a long time. Right. And I'm also a fan of Ouija Mac on my own. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, just recently, I went to go see him perform at the gathering of the Juggalos. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, shout out to Juggalos. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, I already see that. It was it's a few whoops on here already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what what to you made it, because you don't collaborate I shouldn't say you don't collaborate often. You collaborate with a lot of producers. Yeah. But what made that collaboration make so much sense from a sonic standpoint? Because I know you very much about the music, right? You want to make sure. Yeah, yeah you about your business, yeah, but you no, also want to make sure that you're adding to a catalog that you can be, that yeah. can make sense for your brand. What made it make yeah. sense? Well, uh, really, uh, I came in the game being accepted by the Juggalos first. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like the Juggalos have always had like a really big 
like inspiration on like what the music that I put out and yeah. uh, and, and, and like a lot of like my fans can attest to that because like a lot of the shit that I put out earlier was like very violent, mm. uh, very like you know. It was real, cause you know what I mean, like, but it was just like a lot of shit that they was able to relate to, and uh, like Brother Lin Chung, Tech Nine, you know what I mean? They come from that realm of underground hip hop. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I've always fucked with ICP. Shout out to the Insane Clown Posse, like, you know what I yeah, mean? I've yeah. always, I've always like taken to like the way they uh did business sure. in, the, in the in the music industry. Yeah. And so like um when I found out about Ouija Mac, it was like a no brainer. We did a record in like 2020 mm-hmm. around that time uh, called Darker. So we had already been familiar with each other, and I had been to a couple of his shows. He mm-hmm. was selling out. Man. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, he had a packed show in L.A. Yeah. A Juggalo Where's show. Where's he from? He's from Vegas. From Vegas. Yeah. Yeah, that said something. Yeah, Ouija he, Mac he, is, yeah. Sell, sell, like, as much as we, you know, you and I have a lot of conversations yeah. about just the culture of shows in L.A., and it really changes depending on yeah. if you're talking about a, uh, an underground hip-hop yeah. or, or uh, independent hip-hop audience versus something that's more mainstream. It can get to certain situations where you got folks that come out that are supremely passionate about yeah. coming to see their favorite artist, mm-hmm. whether that's like uh, a Tech Nine or like you said, whether, whether that's somebody that's part of the, you know, the, the, uh, the Juggalo fam, yeah. but it's different when yeah. you go to different segments. So to see somebody sell out a show that's not from here yeah. is always something that you gotta, yeah. you gotta, you gotta look twice on if you don't know yeah. anything about that. Yeah, and he's like, uh, I've always looked at Weezy Mac as like he, he carried like this swag of like um like don't look at me like just the ordinary juggalo rapper. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which is nothing wrong with that, but sure. like he he just his whole his whole flavor I just fucked with. So I, it was like I was inclined to work with him and my fans was always telling me to work with him. Yeah. And and vice versa. So, that makes uh, life so easy too. When your fans is telling yeah. you like, yo, you need to link up with this dude. Nah, factory. So like, you mm-hmm. know, we we start working together and everything, and it started just doing songs with each other. He yeah. lives out, in, you know, in the L.A. area, SoCal area. So like, us working together was nothing. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, and we started doing work records, and he was like, man, let's just do a project. And like, he was on top of it. Like I was on top of it. He right. like. He would just text me. Weezy Mac would just text me and just be like, oh, we got a session tomorrow at 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. I'd be like, God damn, all right. <laughs> what is it, what, for those who don't know, who, don't, who are not familiar with our line of work, what is yeah. it usually when people talk about, hey, bro, we got to build on something? How does that usually pan out? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That is just a drunk conversation. Yeah. That could be. That could just be like, you know, I just trying to get rid of this nigga out of my face. Yeah, that part. You know part. what I mean? <laughs> Me and the homies used to have this thing uh, when uh, like we say, we say yeah, all right. Like when it, when you, when you say oh yeah, all right, that just means yeah. like oh yeah, no, nah, I know you bullshit. You're not going you know to mean? You're not gonna follow up on it. But yeah, he, nah, but he Weezy did his due Mac diligence. Was, though. Nah, Weezy Mac was genuinely a, a fan and a friend of mine. You know what I'm saying? And like we put out a really dope project. It's called Coronella. We got mm-hmm. Brother Lynch on there. We got Ricky Hill. Shout out. Okay. You know what I mean? Ricky Hill is a really dope artist. My wife actually put me on Ricky Hill. Uh, or Tommy Hill figure son. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, he's on there. Wow. Um, so uh, my boy Hex is on there. Yeah. It's a it's a really dope project. You know what I mean? Yeah, I I would say it's a dope project because yeah. I saw uh the news once yeah. you saw the news and yeah. you obviously shared it with Twitter. Yeah. Um this project yeah. did some numbers. This oh, project yeah hit uh, a certain mm-hmm. threshold for you. Mm-hmm. You want to share what that was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hit, we hit number six on Mi- iTunes. Mi- Mr. Independent, you want to, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry, I have headphones yeah, yeah, on. I couldn't yeah, yeah. hear you. You said y'all you hit where? Me? We hit number six on iTunes. Number six And Doja my... Cat had dropped the same day. And like, we no, was- No, 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 no. You don't get to just walk into that one. Hold <laughs> yeah. on. We need to make sure that it's celebrated yeah, in here. Yeah, no, I Because uh, yeah. for one, we were talking about this off camera. As yeah. independents, we don't get celebrated like that. Yeah. We have to rely upon like our significant others yeah, or like our, our circles to really yeah. do the celebrating because yeah. even when, you know, when DIY2 did it, what it did, mm-hmm. it was just like, oh gosh, was editing the video. Yeah. My wife was upstairs going yeah. to bed with my son. It was like, yeah. congratulations, yeah, and going no. to bed. Yeah, and it's like, nah, y'all don't understand. It's more yeah. than that. Like, I ain't well, gonna not, lie. not even if they don't understand, yeah. but I'm like, how, my, my thing is this, like, if we don't figure out how to, like, I should have, that was on me. I should have set up an event that was yeah. like, yo, here's a dinner party, Triz. Yeah. We're going to meet here at the yeah. at the Olive Garden. Facts. It ain't got to be nothing big. Facts. Just meet at the Olive Garden. We're independent. Yo, come on out. Just let's, let's just celebrate the fact that this yeah. reached a new milestone. Yeah. Because if you rely upon the general public, if you rely yeah. upon even the fucking platforms yeah. themselves, they're yeah. not going to celebrate us. Nah. I said that the, the night that our shit dropped, I ain't going to lie. 
I went to the liquor store. Mm-hmm. Liquor store is like a block down from my crib. Yeah. I got me a little bottle. I got me a bottle. What you get? What was the bottle uh, you got? Uh, yeah, I, What's I, your celebratory I, bottle? I need to know. Because you got me off the in here all this. Damn, I'm not even finna lie off to y'all. Pen on I think I had. This good old pen on right now. I now. think it was some Kavase, some Kavase, bullshit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You feel me? It was some bullshit. But I had like, I had got like a little bottle of Kavasier. Yeah. And um, I sat in the crib and I was just like, I just. I was just like, God, thank you. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, For another yeah. release. Yeah. I'm 31 years old. I I, I just want to say thank you. You feel yeah. me? Like, there's people that's, like, hyped about this, that, like, bought it. Because, mm-hmm. you know, when you buy music on iTunes, when you buy our albums you on buy iTunes. buy music on iTunes. You feel me? Like, that's, that's worth, I don't know how many streams. Thousands yeah. of streams. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I just was, like, really thankful that night. Yeah. And I was by myself with my wife. You yeah. know what I mean? My wife had... Probably made some dinner or some shit like that, and I was just, I was yeah. just chilling in the crib. You know what yeah. I mean? It ain't no release party. It wasn't nothing big. I was just very uh, thankful. I, 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 very know, thankful. I know you're gonna do do it like that because mm-hmm. that's that's your heart. But yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say that's that's such a big deal because yeah. one thing I can say about you, Trez, I, mm-hmm. I've known you. I feel like all throughout your twenties, even your mm-hmm. your younger twenties, you bro, did. I've seen you, you perform on stage yeah. at a time where even like the sound that you had yeah. was like. Hella West Coast, yeah. but it was West Coast artists that were ashamed because yeah. they felt like, oh, that's going to date me or that's yeah. going to put me in a box. And you were like, nigga, that's well, what I grew up this on. Is what, this is that's it. what I like. And this is what I know. And it's going to be authentic. Yeah. And then you did it at a time where it wasn't popular. Yeah. And then when that pendulum, because that pendulum in hip hop always, always swings back switch, around. Yeah. When it swung back around, yeah. I felt like I saw you start. It felt, it felt overnight, but I know it wasn't overnight. Yeah. Where you're like, I'm going to pop out to Arizona. Sold yeah. out. I'm going to pop up. out over here. And it's yeah, like, it's all right, we don't, it's not sold out, but we got more folks than we ever had yeah, before. Yeah. And to me, when I'm looking at that, I'm like, it's too easy to just point to the the biggest success stories. Yeah. And, and rightfully so. You want to yeah. salute those. But it's, it, it's, it's folks don't always talk about the folks who have that tangible success that it's like, mm-hmm. yo, not only are these things helping my music career, but these things are helping to pay like bills yeah. directly no, straight in up. doing this. Yeah, I'm like, driving out to the venues and what? doing this. You know what I mean? Like a lot, a, a lot of people don't understand like being an independent artist. Like, like doing it is like very. Um, it's hard. It's right. very like. Um, it could be very draining. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, what's the I, most draining part you think of this? If you had to like uh, pinpoint what part of it? Um. Coming up with money to do the things that I need to do. Not so even. The, is that a more of a mental drain or a physical drain? Uh, it's a or mental, both. <laughs> uh, both, because like you have to understand, I have, I also have an image to keep up. You know what mm. I mean? Like um, like when I go out, I can't be seen in the same clothes too many times. Like, mm. you know what I mean? Like, so I found a way to like uh, like beat that. Like, so like jackets and shit that I wore, like I sell them. Yeah. Oh wow. Like, okay. Like, I'll sign them or I'll sell them and shit. Like, like if you niggas ever see me on offer up, like niggas show up, nigga. Yeah. Like, nigga, I got a bag to get. Like nigga, if yeah. I wore it, I got this Raider jacket right now on offer up. Mm-hmm. Like nigga that I'm selling. Yeah. Like, nigga, I wore it. Like I, I know that Raider jacket. I can't too. be seen too many times in it. Yeah. Why? Why me? do you feel that way? Why do you feel that? Because pressure as a as a hip hop artist, you got a image to uphold. Unfortunately, yeah. like. You feel me? Like I can't be seen saying I can't be seen in the same shoes too many times. Wow. You know what I mean? Like I didn't get that memo because I've been in these same. Man, like no. Nah, but sure. you know, it, but it, I think it's different also too yeah. when you're presenting, you're presenting a brand that's that. Yeah. There's folks out there that want to be like Trez. No, nah, for sure. And if you if you're not on your peg, if you're not on nah, point, on the real, they like. like like, like on the real, I don't I don't wear fake jewelry. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I always told myself, even my mom, she be on my ass like nigga, like, <laughs> like nah, I don't like if you ain't got it, then yeah. you ain't got it. So yeah. what? Fuck them. Yeah, you feel me? That part. Feel yeah. me? If I gotta walk out with no jewelry, then nah. But like yeah. if I'm wearing, if you see me with some gold on, or you see me with some earrings on, like it's real. Yeah, you know what I mean. I I, I try to keep the keeping the image up and paying my rent is a bitch. Yeah, talk about it. What you talk feel? What I'm it. saying? Because like, I feel like we never. These are the conversations, bro. I'm so glad yeah. that that you're open to having them because yeah. I love that you're you're not only independent yeah. because this is what you this is how you want to want to express your art, but you yeah. also do this be, in a way that is like yeah. I'm gonna let y'all in and I'm gonna let y'all see the ugly. I'm gonna let y'all see the good. Yeah. But when y'all get the whole picture of it, yeah. you understand when you pay for something, 
Yeah. That shit is paying for something. It's paying for something. Nah, when y'all come and buy a CD and you buy a shirt or you buy whatever I'm selling, mm-hmm. like, nah, you don't understand. Like, I genuinely appreciate that. Yeah. That's why, like, when I send out merch pieces, like, if it's some sh- if it's some merch that I've been sitting around my crib, mm-hmm. I, like, throw that in the pack. That's crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, it's yeah. like... Why not? Like, yeah. nigga, if you took a, your time out of your day to spend $50 with Come me. Come on now. Man, good looking. Yeah, yeah. Like, what, nigga? Cause Phone I, bill due on Friday. Good I, looking, I, nigga. I, I, I on think, the real, nigga. I really feel like that's one issue that yeah. I have with how things are currently. And that so much of, like, mainstream rap politics get drowned into, like, independent expectations. Yeah, yeah. And it's like we're operating with a different budget, yeah. first of all. Really? And second of all it's a different risk level because it's not like we can move around with, like I seen Drake got like 16 presidential yeah. blacked out cars yeah. with security that are just following yeah. around. That's not how it is with independent. Yeah. It's like, we have to stay on point. Yeah. And even then, like we have to make sure that we're taking care of these folks because in a minute, you say you say the wrong shit, you're gonna get world star. Shut up. You're gonna be somebody viral video Shut because up. you talk, you're talking on the side of your mouth to a yeah. fan who's like, yo, I didn't spend yeah. my last with you. Yeah, man, come on. Like you can't, like Tell me of, thank you or nothing? Bro, one of the biggest things that, that like, really fucks with me yeah. is, like, when me and my wife is riding down the street <laughs> and she's playing another rapper. <laughs> <laughs> What's the feeling that goes through your head, bro? What bro, is that? What is that? It hurts so bad because she's singing this nigga word for word. <laughs> but, like... I'm laughing not at you. I'm laughing because I've gone through it with my wife. Bro, my wife is a big black fan. Oh, my wife is a great. Oh, what? You can't say nothing bad can't about nothing black, by black. Uh, to my wife. Say something. What? You want to have a my problem? Wife. You gonna have a problem? What? You gonna have a problem? My, wife, <laughs> my wife don't play about black. Black? No. What? She gonna go to the. But see, you know what's crazy? Yeah. This is the way that I flipped it though, Trizzy. Maybe yeah. you found some kind of piece because I want to in that. I want to close that loop for sure. But yeah. with her. It's crazy to watch her be a fan of black because I'm like, yeah. this is what a fan looks like. And it helps me. It helps me too. It helps me. She goes to the meet and greets, bro. Come on. Like she Come she's on. even like she she was supposed to she was supposed to go to his show mm-hmm. in San Diego. Mm-hmm. And before I could even pay for the ticket, she was like, I got the tickets and I got the meet and mm-hmm. greet. She's like, all I need is to go hit one of my homegirls up and see what's going on. Yeah. They canceled and she's like, she don't go like she don't want to go nowhere like that yeah. solo, but she's like I might have to go solo because she's that big of a fan. But she decided not to go. But I look at that and I'm like, if that is what a fan looks like, yeah. I just got an opportunity to see the package come yeah. to the fan and see how the the the, the look on their face yeah. look when they really fuck with you, bro. My wife, <laughs> listen to this. This is gonna be a close story. Yeah. Okay. So she asked me. She said, "Could you go to this concert with me?" Right. She's okay. a big NBA young boy fan. You went to an NBA Young Boy concert? Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I don't know why yeah. I can't envision you no, at an NBA listen. Young Boy concert. That's listen. wild. So, <laughs> we finna go to the, she like, uh, NBA Young Boy is performing at the Novo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Microsoft Center down. Okay. There. Yeah, right. So, I'm like, yeah, I'll go. She like, yeah, we gonna go with uh, my sister and her husband. Yeah. I'm like, all right, for sure. <laughs> and I happened to find out that Conway was performing. And you know, Conway's my boy. On the same set? No, he's performing at the venue next Venue door. next to it, okay. You know okay. what I mean? Oh, you go, how's this yeah. going to go? Yeah, right. So, <laughs> so, like, and my wife already knows. I, that's why I married her. Like, I love yeah. my wife to death. So, like, we, we, we get there, right? Uh-huh. So, like, the NBA Youngboy uh, show starts first. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And Playboy Cardi is opening for Youngboy. Oh, wow. So, I we go in, we get drinks or whatever, we sit down, and uh, Playboy Cardi comes out. Yeah, and like my my wife is going crazy. Yeah, and like I'm fuming. <laughs> like, bro, hey, hey, that's you hey, fuming. Hey, that's you fuming, hey, Curtis. Yeah, like, 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 if, if you would have shot me a text, like, nigga, I'm I'm hot as hell right now bro. at an NBA Young Boy concert, bro. She's, <laughs> you she to- like, but she knows that I I never want to ruin my wife's of course, joy. Of course, you know what I mean? Because it ain't like, about you at no, that point. Enjoy, yeah. enjoy that. She's like. She going crazy. She going you like crazy. I ain't never seen you at my show. She, right? like, <laughs> she going crazy, right? So look, so uh, her her sister and her, uh, her husband was there. So I, I whispered to my wife. I was like, "Babe, I, I can't do this. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to sit through this. Like, I'm not." What part of it? Her 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 celebrating or just the music in general? Her celebrating. Her celebrating. Oh, you was you was honest about that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, like, I can't do this. Yeah. And I was like, and my homies is next door. I was like, I have. I, I was like, babe, if you need me to stay here, she's like, nah, my my sister and my uh, you know, my brother in law's here. Yeah. So she, I I told her I was like, babe, I cannot do that. I can't <laughs> see you cheer for another rapper. 
I can't see it. At least you honest and, and, about and it, And my bro. wife was mad cool. She yeah. was just like, babe, all right, for sure, just... And Conway and them was neck. I'm talking about the shit that I fuck with, and yeah, my niggas it's right and like there. my probably, niggas is right there. You probably it, it's probably hurts because you probably hearing bass drops in the middle of them of them transitioning what? between. And you like I know he not performing that right now. I so be I, over there, bro. So I, I get up <laughs> and I tell my wife I was like, baby, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be able to see you. I'm another hour and a half of this. Yeah, I'm gonna blow my fucking brain. <laughs> it's not gonna be able to. It's not. It's not gonna happen. So like she. She, she, oh, nah, you know, my wife, she yeah. bad, cool, and she know how I feel about absolutely, that shit. Absolutely. So she was just like, Ain't nah. personal. she was yeah. like, nah, baby, go ahead. And yeah. I, and I was like, I'm not mad at you either. Like, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I want you to, cause I understand it. Yeah. Like he's an artist and I want him to get the same look. My wife mm -hmm. is a fan and mm -hmm. that's cool. Cause imagine being him at your show. That's my show. And somebody else's and somebody, girl or wife is like, ah, I can't, like, you're not going to stop the show and be like, Hey, no. Hey, have some respect for your man. Nah. You want to enjoy that because it's you, I want you, you my, work your ass off I, I, of this. It's facts. Yeah. I want my wife to enjoy it. No, yeah, that's huge. But I don't want to see you enjoy see it. it. <laughs> so I'm, maybe, I'm maybe, out I, of here. maybe I got to rethink this going to the black concert with my wife because the way because the way she bumped his music, I'm like my my wife drove to San Diego to see Black. She I was, was at the crib. She was gonna go to San Diego to do this one too. Yeah, I, I was at the crib. My wife like, didn't follow Black to, to Los Angeles. Up. She didn't follow him to San Diego. I'm like. And, I, and you know what? Hey, baby, can I play you this 30 second snippet? <laughs> Man, and all I she do. She support, is, I'm just saying, but that, that, yeah, that's, nah, that's how and it all is. All I do is just be like, you know what? And I, But it gives me like, I'll be like, yo, babe, what makes you a fan? Mm. What makes you What makes you do that? What makes you spin your bread? Yeah. You know what I mean? My wife has a good job. She has a very good career. And right, I'll be right. like, you know, baby, what makes you spend this money to go see this nigga in San Diego and we yeah. live two hours away? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> What? But but, in, but I, th I think that's what's dope is that, yeah. and you asking that and being able to put those feelings aside, you're yeah. able to put, you're able to understand pretty much the DNA of what yeah. makes a what makes a fan or even a super yeah. fan. I don't, I'm yeah. not gonna call her a super fan unless, yeah, yeah. unless I know. But like, yeah. for somebody who's willing to pay, like, I'm gonna pay that VIP ticket. I'm gonna pay for not only the merch but the merch yeah. bundle. I'm gonna make sure that yeah. I get the meet, the meet and greet. Yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna get the. If I gotta pay extra money for a selfie, I'm gonna pay that. Facts. When you understand the DNA of that super fan, and there's a book about it too that talks about the different levels of fans. Facts. Understanding that you realize like I can those exist already for me, but sometimes we just don't do enough as independent artists to activate them. Facts. Because like we don't we 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 think and everybody's in the same boat as us, but it's like. Yeah. But everybody has a different value system when it comes to the things that they yeah. that they need. These yeah. people need your music. Yeah, like as an artist, I I advise everybody to think as a consumer. If mm -hmm. you have anybody that it, 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 in your life who uh, purchases or buys whatever you're selling, whether it be art, whether mm -hmm. it be music, uh, whatever you're selling, like if you know anybody that's like a consumer, ask them like. What is it that made yeah. you buy this? That part, that part. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause that'll give me insight on what I need to change. Like, my wife, me and my wife got into a big ass fight. Yeah. Cause I was not like a fight. Like, yeah, yeah, no, know? I get you. But get we you. got into a big ass debate. Cause I was, she told me, like, West Coast music ain't it. And she was just mm. like, and you know me, like that includes you. When you say, like, when you say West yeah, Coast but, music, you was. But she of told me, music. Yeah, yeah, she told me straight up. She like, you know, baby, like. I'm not saying that your shit ain't cracking. Yeah. Like, cause you obviously, you know, you do what you do, but like. You see the fruits of it, yeah. And I, I had to agree with her, but I was also pissed off. Yeah. Like, Atlanta has had it for how many years, Curtis? And they don't feel like they're gonna ever try to let that go. Come on, bro. They're not giving up the baton. That nah. it's not gonna happen. I heard like, Birdman talking that. Birdman was like, I don't think the South is gonna ever let it go. They not. The the South. Yeah. The South was in the back seat from the 80s to like 2000. Just waiting. 90. Waiting. And they was like, okay. Patient. So this what we doing? Yeah. Check this out, nigga. Yeah. We got it from the next the next 20 something years. We got it for your era. They never Your kids era. Your kids kids era. Matter of fact, bro. we going to have it we going to have such a stronghold on it. Come on. We going to have your West Coast kids and East Coast kids sound like they from the Come South. Come on, bro. They going to have the same slang, they going to have the same like to tinge to the, to, to their vocals like they even gonna rap over trap beats they never gave us the baton back yeah. they said okay oh no we running and it. why would they like i'm not even not Come even on. on some hate like why would they do why that when they? they saw like damn Come we on. was little bro for, for the sure. longest oh yeah yeah for sure that's what I, it, it, what did outcast saying what did outcast saying they the accept got something to say 
That's all he said. All I'm saying, that was three stacks. Said all I'm trying to say is, in the midst of y'all doing this back and forth, bad boy death row, the South got the something South to say. The South got something to say, and they had something, and they to, had something say. to say, and they ain't stop saying, and it. they ain't stop saying <laughs> it. <laughs> and now it's crazy because it's like, although we know the origins of hip hop obviously started on the, in New York, in the East Coast, yeah. in the boroughs, yeah. and then made its way all yeah. the way around. Yeah. We know now that the yeah. South has held such a yeah. chokehold on it, and now it's determining like. You almost, if you want to go that traditional route, yeah, you don't do that without getting some action in Atlanta. Yeah, for sure. If you don't have it there, yeah, in terms of being mainstream, we're not yeah. talking about independent. Yeah. But with that said, I want you to kind of like, I never kind of really had your definition of this because we kind of just jump into it because you and I have an understanding about what independent is. Okay. But it feels like because I got some videos here, I want you to react to. Okay. I told you I'm gonna piss you off today. I didn't say that on camera. Want, I definitely want to react to the chats because I don't want people to feel like they're getting ignored. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I know we jumped right into it, but I I, I I wanted to get this started so that they get the un understanding of what uh, the basis of it is. And uh, they starting to pile in here. Chat. Uh, yo, I appreciate y'all. Uh, I love y'all. Thank y'all sure. for coming in We're here. We're going to respond to that. We're going to get into all of that. But uh, just for the sake of that, before we get into talking to them, yeah. can you define how you define what an independent artist is? Okay. Um. An independent artist is somebody who uh, wakes up and thrives and has to do everything themselves, exactly what independent is. Like, you know, you have, like, a lot of people will argue, like, oh, yeah, but if somebody did this for you, if somebody did this, that, and the third for you, like, I'm independent. I got a publicist. Yes, I worked for that, though. Right. And that's why I'm independent. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I have to wake up and do everything myself. Like, that how I'm going to get this bag later is it's, it's all based upon me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, my, I don't, uh, before I had a PR, I didn't have a PR. I was reaching out for my interviews. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I was putting out my own music. It was not somebody on your behalf. Bro. It was Triz giving it's me. You, if I give you my number, yes. you have my number. Independent is doing everything yourself. Yeah. That's exactly what that is. I sent out the emails. Dude, really I gonna... booked my shows. I yeah. my first show, I hit up Noah James and I was like, "Yo, this is 2010." How old I are you? I was 18. 18. I'm 31 years old. I hit up Noah James and I asked him. I yeah. went I'm going to tell you this, homie. I went from asking Noah James to book me on the show yeah. to Noah James asking me how much he want me to Jeez. go perform. And, and I, that's and, not and no and shot at my homie. No, 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 no. But I don't think that's a shot, bro. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it only because I feel like yeah. that's, you know, that's, my, that's my right hand. That's my, oh, for sure. of course, with everything that we do business-wise, sure. even now, like he, he didn't sure. book, we didn't book the show in Bakersfield for, sure. for the 18th of November yeah. I'm excited about. For but sure. with that said, I never look at it like that because this is what you're supposed to do, Trez. Yeah, yeah. We had the ecosystem, I felt like yeah. that was built in the IE that I was a guest in. Yeah. But in this ecosystem, what I saw was like, dog, in the same ecosystem, Triz exists. Yeah. Hit Boy lives in this in yeah. this space, right? In the same ecosystem of Noah, in the same yeah. ecosystem, this artist and this artist are like yeah. a radio base. But the fact that this is all in the same place, yeah. that ain't that ain't that's not normal. That's not normal. So when you do that and you come back and now he's asking about yeah. a price to me, that's not a shot to me. That's that's a compliment of one, yeah. the platform yeah. being something that was there. And also, too, you doing what you were supposed to do. Exactly. Like yeah. I, I put my work in first and then I started to get respect. Y'all have to understand something like Noah and Curtis are a few years older than me. So mm -hmm. like. I moved from Compton and I moved from Long Beach and I came I, from Norwalk and I came to the IE and I started to like try to find my way. I was only fucking 10 years old when I got to the IE. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Yeah. My mom and my dad are very supportive of what I do. That's my huge. mom, my mom told me straight up like you want to be a rapper? Like and she took me to Walmart and she bought me a microphone that sounded like shit, but she <laughs> But she did that. She did that for yeah. me and yeah, like yeah. I I appreciate I'm finna get mad emotional. No, nah, like, you good. Mom, you good. And I'm finna piss nigga, you off when I get these clips nah, for you to react for sure. to. Nah, I got for, you, bro. Nah, straight up. I'm gonna balance you out. You nah, good. <laughs> nigga. My mom, <laughs> my mom and my dad have always like believed in what I did. Yeah. Like yeah. she all my mom always told because my mom is an entrepreneur. She uh, my mom and my dad, like my 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 dad owned a uh owned a uh, um a audio shop where he put like sounds in people's cars. Wow. My mom and my dad owned a child care. They owned. Uh, they do. They do real estate to, a, still to this day. In addition to the business he already had. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Like I've always been around business, business like people. Yeah. And my mom and my dad being like the first that I seen doing it is yeah. like 
My mom told me straight up, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Yeah. My mom is like, <laughs> my mom is a G. Like, yeah. she was like, nigga, you want to rap? Like, yeah. You don't gotta go to you don't gotta go get a job, but your ass is going to school. Yeah, yeah. So she told me straight up, she like, you have to go to college or something. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get a job, mm -hmm. but you're going to school. Mm -hmm. But you're not gonna be sitting around my crib. Just doing nothing. So nigga, I went to L.A. recording school. Yeah. And yeah, while yeah. I was in L.A. recording school, I got offered a, a a tour opportunity with Brother Lynch and Tech Nine, and that's that was because I, was like, I never knew that there was a connection because yeah. of that school. Yeah, well, not because of the school, but while you were at the while school. I was at the school, okay. I was putting out music already. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? I put out an album every year since mm -hmm. 2006 up until 2023. Wow, straight up and down. One more time, one more time. You, you can't just glance over these things. Triz has a Triz has a okay. bad habit of doing that. He has a bad habit of, and it's never it's flexing truth. energy. No, Triz would just not. say some shit like, "Yeah, I just made six figures in no. one year as an independent no. artist," and I was just, you know, I was eating no. cereal that morning. No, I was like, "Wait a minute, up. wait a hold on, hold on." No, so up. with that said, though, okay, yeah. every single year you've released an album yeah. since two thousand and six. Yeah, straight up and down. Seventeen years. I swear to God. Seventeen like, years from the first time that I passed around my mixtape. At Etiwanda High School, and everybody, everybody can contest Shout it. Shout out to Etiwanda High School. Everybody can attest to this. Yeah. I passed out my mixtape at Etiwanda High School in 2006, and at the end of the day, I seen my mixtapes on the floor. Wow. It was called Struggling in the West. You got to go through that, though. Yeah, and I was passing out my mixtapes and everything yeah. like that, and that was the first project, the, my first full-length project. I was 14 years old, mm -hmm. and since that time, I've never not dropped the project. I've dropped a project every year, yeah. And you can look at it online, even from the MySpace days. It's all over days. the band camp. It's all Go over. To, it's all over there. Yeah. When, when they was announcing that Piff went down, yeah. I'm like, damn, nigga. The guys got all like, my work up there. Yeah. Well, I also saved them. I don't play no games. Oh. I, I kept. No. Oh, you got oh, you got receipts. No, Triz got receipts. Yeah, anything, no, tri, tri, anything, Triz say, please, yeah, no, please feel free to go get your yeah. Chat GPTs and your Googles because so, it's, it's fact checked. But from 2006 uh -huh. to 2023, the year we in now. I've dropped the project every single year. Yeah. Since the since I was 14 years old, mm -hmm. I'm 31, I've always dropped the project. Sheesh. And that's what I try to explain to people is like my consistency is why I'm able to live off of rap music. Yeah. Like I'm able to pay my rent. I'm able to live in Orange County. I'm able to drive here with the gas money to come kick it with my nigga Curtis King. Yeah. It's because like I've always kept the consistency up. It's not that I've been on. I don't have no fucking uh, uh, awards. I don't have yeah. a, a, a Grammy. I don't have any of that. But what it is is it's like it's consistency. It's just like it's the people in the chat. It's the people yeah. that come around and like that. The people that fuck with me is like, and I genuinely appreciate that shit. You yeah. feel what yeah. I'm saying? We appreciate I, you, bro. Because I, you don't yeah. have to, you don't have the thing is. Yeah. You could have been took a deal, Tris. No, nah, straight up. You could have nah, been took up. a deal, and I, I'm yeah. not. I'm not. And this is not judging nobody who takes it because yeah. you got to do what's best for your scenario. Yeah. You may have a situation where yeah. money is just that dire, where yeah. that loan makes sense, but you could have been. Oh, for sure. You could have been jumped off of straight this. Straight up and down. And there's times where, yeah. as an independent, not recently, of course, but yeah. it's been times along this journey where I'm like, man, maybe that's the last piece. Maybe yeah. I've done all that I can do, and this is my ceiling. But you're right. Is that yeah. with your with your consistency? Yeah. I can name you about 90% of folks that's not going to do that. Straight Just that up. alone. Straight up. You say you want to rap, yeah. but the last thing that you want to do is rap. Straight up. Like, I don't I don't think about the money when I'm in the lab, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, first of all, money don't control me. You're not thinking me. about your, 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 this one for the girls, this one yeah. for the club, this one no. for the streets. When I go to the studio, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I swear to God, and I'm yeah. not lying to you, when I go to the studio, I'm looking for more to seeing my homies mm. and, like, kicking it. So it's the like communion first. Out. Yeah. Like, when the homie be like, man, even though this is not good and I don't encourage anybody to do this, but, like, when the homie be like, go get a bottle of Hennessy, like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, we finna get some weed. Like, what? Yeah, yeah. Nigga, I'm finna fucking record. Like, yeah. nigga, what? Yeah. Nigga, we finna fucking record. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. I get excited about that. I get excited about shows. I get excited about the music. Yeah. I, I'm not into music for money i'm not yeah like of course i need my bread nigga yeah. rents do <laughs> nigga yes yes we talking about that like like bro it, it and that that alone that yeah. alone could could, could could stress could stress yeah. an artist out yeah i'm not trying to be fake about it but yeah. at the same time it's just like i just want people to know that i genuinely love what i do yeah anybody can act anybody can tell you nigga like i know somebody in the chat that said i didn't respond to them about beats but like for the most part like nigga i respond to everybody that ever hits me up mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. if i if i miss that 
it's I genuinely missed it. Yeah, yeah. Like I yeah. don't ignore anybody. Like yeah. I I'm very and then even my wife will tell me like she'd be like that's a lot of the shit that's holding me back because I I'm kind of like I kind of still think that I'm in that space to where like I have to respond to everybody. Yeah. But like it's just I know where I come from. You know, and and I I got to yeah. add this too with you it, when you say it, it's, it comes off one way because, of course, you're going to defend yourself. I'm yeah. going to say this, not even just in defense, just saying that busy people understand busy people. Yeah. When your only motion is, I texted you, you didn't get me back. And not no shots yeah. to whoever has said that, but when yeah. that's your only motion, you don't have the luxury to be emotional about yeah. these things or even that you remember that that happened. My thing is this. All the opportunities that I had mm -hmm. happened while I was moving. Yeah. The moment I got stagnant, the yeah. moment I got bitter, the moment I started waiting, yeah. the moment I got emotional, yeah. all them doors started closing. Yeah. Even if they didn't know that's what I was, yeah. it just started closing on some yeah, on a spiritual level. It started closing. Nah, so when you recognize like busy people stay busy, but don't forget all the shit that you value about a Triz. <laughs> if Triz is not at a hundred percent. You don't value that anymore. Nah, the up. reason why you remember that he didn't get back to you is yeah. because he hasn't stopped moving and being I'm in working. your face. I'm working. And don't forget, this is still the person that's, I mean, obviously you got folks that, that support what you're doing, but mm -hmm. you're still hands on as an yeah, independent very artist. hands on. And the last person you want to be harassing about something as trivial as an email yeah. is a person that you see that's moving and yeah. finding success in it. Yeah. Now, if you see somebody that you always yeah. see every week and it's like you in the same venue and it's yeah. like you ain't on shit, yeah. you always come to the venue, lay or drunk or whatever, like, like it's di something different. But yeah. every time I see you, you at your place of business. Yeah, yeah straight up. And then, it, and then it's like, it's fucked up because like they don't understand that that bothers me. Like that mm. little, that fucking whatever the fuck yeah. that nigga just said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. shit, I'm going to lose sleep over that. Because yeah. it's like, I never want nobody to think that I did that deliberately. I, yeah. I, I don't want you to think that. Like, nigga, I'm married. I got a wife. I have a mm. life. I have other shit that that's going on. But that's what independent is. Yeah. Nobody's going to respond to you, Nobody's nigga. It's me. You. It's me. So anybody that got a problem with being independent, nigga, it's me, nigga. Yeah, what the me. fuck is you niggas talking about, nigga? Yeah. I'm yeah. the one that got to respond. I'm the one that has to say this, that, and the third, yep. nigga. Yep. I'm I'm the one that's riding around with my wife like, damn, babe, we got to get back to the crib because I got to grab my laptop and I got to respond to all these motherfucking emails. Mm. Like, that's what I'm talking about, nigga. Mm. That's independent. That's independent. That's what the fuck independent is. Yeah. Straight up and down. And I'm not knocking no major artists or nothing like that, but I'm yeah. just saying, like, it bothers me, and I feel you when uh, somebody's hitting me like, Triz, what's up, nigga? I, ha I haven't received my sweater. Yeah. You know why? Because Triz hasn't went to the fucking post office, nigga. And Triz That's is the one. That's why. Triz is also only one fucking human being. I'm the only with, one doing it. You don't nigga. got 26 hours in your day because no, you I found don't. success. No, I don't. You still got to. And, I, and I, that's the part of it where it's like when we talk. And that's why I'm, I feel like I'm so glad that I have a platform for you to come and say this because we don't have many safe spaces to talk about this because when we get yeah. to places, they be like, Nigga, what you complaining about? That's your profession. Man, what you complaining about? You, 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 you independent. Like you chose it, Shut but it's up. like that don't stop the fact that these bags under our eyes yeah. ain't from playing. Yeah, it's ain't, from it's from doing a show, you, being bro. up here till 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 two in the morning, yep. trying to get back home, and then waking up because we know there's an email that says I didn't get my sweater on time. Facts, and you know what I've never done. Huh. Any any time somebody has ever asked for a refund, you yeah. can fucking ask them. I gave it you to them right back. right then and there, nigga. The I'm almost same offended. Day. I'm, I'm almost not offended, yeah, nigga. I'm when not I get the refund, what, nigga? I'm, I'm not like, taking money from nobody, nigga. Got God God knows my heart. Yeah. I never. I don't need. I don't need no type of. I don't need to scam from nobody. Yeah. Nigga, if somebody be like, nigga, I didn't get my sweater, I need my bread back. What? You can nigga, have I do that refund right then and there. It's on my soul, nigga. I, didn't have I don't so need many nothing Triz. from nobody, nigga. Bro, Straight up. Triz, I didn't have so Straight many. Up e and down, I didn't have so many emails that came Straight through up. for courses. And what? I'm like, I'm not one of them. You I'm think, not that. You think that I'm you think that I'm scamming you. I don't need your you, fucking money. Wait, I worked all of this time. What? I've been in front of you all this time. And you what? think that I'm gonna start in year. What, what year is this for you right now? Nigga, I'm in fucking, I'm in like my 15, 20, uh, like You think I'm going to wait till year. 15th year to start scamming? Come on, bro. You think I did all of this? And I'm God-fearing. And you God-fearing. I'm yeah. God-fearing. It's, it's the I wrong don't, one. I don't it's do the, that. You got the wrong you one. You got the wrong one. You got the wrong one. one. But I, 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 I do feel like that is internet culture. I feel yeah. like that's human nature to a certain yeah. degree. And I try to like, I try to have as much yeah. grace as somebody probably had with me. I know that's not an easy thing in the moment to have, but I try to have as much grace when I realize 
I was that for somebody else when I didn't know no better. For, oh, for sure. Because when you finally get yourself independent and you around here and you realize like, oh, I have to do everything. Yeah. So now I was bothering this man. I almost feel embarrassed. Yeah. Like, you respond back to my email. Come on. We trying to pay bills around here. Come on, bro. And it's more than just one mouth. It ain't just me sitting around at a house making music, put it on the internet, and just waiting for your reaction. Yeah, bro. That's just not how it goes. But I, I think, but you know what? I think that's partly because more conversations like this have to happen. Have to be had. So bro. that people can realize, like, this is the energy behind when somebody says independent. This shit is not, this yeah. shit is not a Twitter handle. It's not. This shit is not something you add to your bio. Yeah. This is some shit that now. you cannot, you, life would not be the same without independence for me. Straight up. Right? The way that I make music wouldn't feel nearly as free mm. without the independence. Yeah. Right? The success that I get, even when it's not celebrated on a large level, mm. that shit wouldn't hit the same. So now when I get in a space where it's like, I realize, okay, this is the name of the game. Mm -hmm. Everybody is so, like, I feel like so much of the hip hop audience that otherwise would be merch buyers of yours, music listeners of ours, I realize they're hypnotized because there's a machine behind these other artists mm -hmm. that make it look like it's something that it's not. Okay, cool. This is where content comes in and I'm able to leverage a little bit of hip hypnotizing to where it's like, oh, you this is who you, this is who you rock with. I'm not going to badmouth him, but I'm going to allow him to speak from his own perspective how real this shit is. No. Cause when you hear it from him, you hear it from me, you gonna feel one way. Feel you saying one that cause way. you independent, yeah, yeah, like you yeah, anti. Yeah. Like, no, 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 no. Listen to him say it. Listen from from the horse's mouth, and that's why I'm glad that we're in this era, bro. Because these kind of conversations, I mean, you know, shout out to the 82 folks that are in here right now. These kind of conversations used to be just us and probably three other people in a venue, bro. <laughs> Real chop. Real chop. Like, nah, I, uh, uh, I be seeing people under, um. Conway the Machine, that's one of my homies. Yeah, like, shout I, out to Conway. I, I fuck with Conway and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he uh, he's had the same problem with people coming to him about his merch or whatever. And like, I'll be seeing the comments and shit. Like, that shit irritates the fuck out of me because like, I know Conway is not trying to take your money. Right. Like, nigga, right. It, it has nothing to do with that. It's like. You know when you deal with us, yeah. You know, nigga, this is not this is not Target, nigga. No. When you purchase something from us, you know what time it is. And as yeah. soon as you ask for your refund, nigga, you get, you get your fucking money back. Easy. And I say all that shit on my site, nigga. I say yeah. all that. Like it's gonna take some time. What do you do? I'll be like, yo, two to three weeks. What do I do? And yeah. if you and if you don't get it, nigga, ask for your refund. I guarantee that shit be back in your account in twenty four hours. Twenty four hours within that. I, there's a part of me, me, maybe right. and, 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 I feel sick saying this sometimes. But there's right a part up. of me that's like something about giving a refund feels freeing. Like when I'm like at, at first, it's, it pisses me off. Yeah. But then there's a part of me that's like it cost me thirty bucks to get rid of you. I think. Have you seen the Bronx Tale? Yes, I have. The twenty dollar joint. Have you? You know. I remember, you know so so you yeah, know. he had a few rules in there yeah, about okay. the door and everything. Okay. But yeah, yeah. yeah. At the door. Well, remind me of the, of the twenty dollar okay. one. Okay. okay. Somebody owed him twenty dollars. Oh yeah, there's a the principal. Kid, the kid. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, the microphone. Pull, coming, up, pull the microphone up a little bit closer. Uh, yeah, the yeah. kid. He uh, yeah. he owed him twenty dollars. Yeah. Whatever. I remember so that. So he's okay. chasing. He's chasing him down the street or whatever. And then his OG he come. He like, nigga, what was you doing? Like, yeah. He didn't say nigga, but yeah. <laughs> this is this is, this is a a, a, a Tris narration yeah, real quick. Real. You got that? <laughs> he like yeah. He like yo, bro. What is you doing? He's like he owed me twenty bucks. What do I do? Because yeah. he's been around the mobsters and he trying to take on their, you know, that persona. Well, yeah, do, that persona. And then he telling me he's like, "How much he owe you?" He telling me like, "He owe me twenty dollars." He said, "It took it took you twenty dollars mm -hmm. to get rid of him." Yeah, I, remember, I do remember that. Yeah, you ain't gonna never yeah. have to deal with him again. I I look at that because I think there's a part of him that feels like some people take advantage of them knowing how independent you are. Yeah, and they know that if they buy merch mm -hmm. or they buy something, and say if it's print on demand, mm -hmm. they know that we get that money. It ain't going to no bullshit. It's getting reinvested somewhere real quick. I get this money in. Okay, cool. Split it up with like a printify or whatever I'm using on Shopify. Take care of the overhead. Cool. I'm chopping that up, putting it in my, my business account, and that money is going out to re reinvest real quick because I have it now to do that. Yeah. When folks know that or when they feel like, oh, you're that independent, they yeah. think they can almost like hold, hold your, 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 they can control your time mm -hmm. by saying, I'm going to ask for a refund. I'm going to do a chargeback. And I'm like, you ain't even got to go through that extra step. I'll give you your money back. And you can keep the product. Straight up. So now you got to look at that dumbass decision that you made with somebody that you know is out here. 
it, it and and is trying to build the infrastructure to have the support so that I can take care of orders at a more timely time. But you want to accuse the person that's actually out here hand to hand putting these labels on and sending yeah. it to you and and making sure that I'm responding back to your emails. You want to say that person scamming? Come on. <laughs> on. That's wild. And, and That's like, wild work. Because I don't even do that with me as a fan. But go ahead. I'm sorry. I got I got two websites: baselinecavy.com yeah. and okay. trizonline.com. And my refund options are instant. Yeah. You don't even you don't have to talk to me. <laughs> Matter of fact, I probably don't even want to talk to you, you if you want that kind of time. You don't have to talk to me. You don't have to hit me up. But I have mm. fans that don't understand that, and they'll like be like, "Yo, Triz, I haven't got my sweater," and I'm I don't. My wife tells me, like, you don't have to respond to that. Just give them the email. But I also want that person to know that I care that you paid. Yeah, that means something. I care. Yeah. Because I know how hard it is right now. Like, yeah. nigga, if I bought a shirt from somebody, I nigga, where's my, my shirt at? I need my is? shirt. I need my shirt. No, that's true. Nah. That's true. So I totally understand, and I don't get mad at them for that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, I, 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 I kind of, like, I be trying to, like, be empathetic, but at the same time, it's like, if you want your money back, yeah, I have a whole system for that, nigga. Mm, I have and, a whole and, system. And and it's it's wild when you get yeah. folks who get that aggressive or get that disrespectful or try to get try to get like passive aggressive yeah. with you that won't follow those steps. Yeah, it's like, bro, like why are you DMing you want, me? You want you to want the issue, out. like you, you want, want a situation. And when you didn't get, your, and then when you get your it. refund and you're yeah. like. But I want my argument too. At that point, I don't. I don't argue with can't fans. Get that. You can't get that. I, I'm very professional. Like even if a fan was to call me a bitch, because a nigga know he can't say that shit in my face. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I still be professional. Yeah. Like yo, calm down, sir. Mm. Well, you we're uh, gonna you, get. We're you, gonna get the things worked out. I'm about to know? say. You know what? I realized that it was a book I I, I read, and I, I don't know how my mm-hmm. my my temperament was able to get to this book, but it was called Hug Your. <laughs> it's called Hug Your Haters. Mm. And I was like. Something tell me who is it by? I don't know, but it, it literally has like a heart on the front of it, like a sky on the front of it. But something told me at that time because I was having like a really, th- I was I'll be honest with you, I had really thin skin at that time. Mm. Somebody said some shit on the internet. It was the equivalent of like you said that shit to me in my face, and my yeah. temper was just wild, yeah. and I was reacting to shit everything on the internet, and it was like then on top of that, me reacting and defending myself, I had other people saying, "Oh, nigga, you can't take no criticism," and then you, you coming at me from having a reaction when I'm like, you would react. But the thing that book said is a few different things. One of the things it said is that you give people two opportunities, Mm -hmm. right? First, you say, I apologize. Mm -hmm. I take responsibility. of Because they they said what you got to understand is that that's you actually establishing power back. Mm -hmm. At that point, you said, like, no, no, no. I'm in full control of this situation. If they still are volatile, Mm -hmm. you give them one more response. This is what needs to be done for this to get solved. If they still come at it. It's a personal issue with them. The art of war. Right? At that point, yeah, exactly. At that point, you've already established, like, no, that's not what that is. Yeah. So, um, yeah, all these folks, man, shout out to shout out to Tyrone Davis. Uh, but uh, uh with the super chat. I got a I got a blue king hoodie two years oh, ago. Can I get a refund? Uh, I ain't never had a blue king hoodie, which is crazy. Wait a minute. Wait a funny. minute. You're trying to be funny. That's the homie. No, he's good. He's good. That's Tyrone Sellers nah, being that. But he's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Yeah. Before a trace go in. Yeah. Uh, but but yeah, I, I say that to say another thing that they said also too about hug your haters is um I forgot the last point I was gonna make, but needless to say, yeah. there's always the option to just give them this is what you need to do. Yeah. If you still want to argue. Yeah. I don't have to give you that space. You're not owed that. Yeah. And the fact the fact of the matter is, if I say yes to you, I'm saying no to somebody that really matter. Yeah. But that's it. I ain't yeah, never had nah. no blue king hoodie in my damn life. What are nah. you talking about? I how you get a blue how you get a blue king hoodie and I ain't got one. Go ahead. Y'all niggas, <laughs> y'all niggas is funny. This is why we can't fuck with y'all niggas. <laughs> oh, but don't, don't, save yeah. your energy, Trez, because we got some other stuff to get into. Yeah. I got hey, some reaction I stuff. Picture, Handle your business. Bathroom. You good. You good. I you good. Use the bathroom, y'all. <laughs> Lee, let y'all know. Shout out to y'all. This give me a chance to actually acknowledge it. You can crack that door, too. It got hot in here in a, in, a, in a quick second. All right, let me make sure I acknowledge all my good folks in here. Shout out to the DIYers in here. I uh, much, much appreciate y'all joining me on this last minute Sunday. I told Triz very last minute. I was like, yo, first of all, I wanted to celebrate the fact that he got number six on the iTunes hip hop charts. It's already something I'm going to always celebrate. Anybody, any of my brothers in this independence, I'm going to celebrate. But then also, too, I was like, man, you got to come on the channel, talk to the folks, 
and help some people who may or may not understand what independence actually looks like. And I mean, not only from the from the from the good, but also from the bad. You got to know what you're getting into. Right. Because I think for a lot of people, they're going to have to figure out, is this something I actually want to do as a profession? Forget the industry, forget independence. Do I actually want to do this as a profession? Hello. Hello. <laughs> do you know how many people I've had conversations with? And they were like, I don't think I want to do this professionally anymore. <laughs> I didn't realize I had to do all that. And I'm like, all of that, that was only a fraction of it. So I think it's important. DIY, shout out to y'all with these emojis. I appreciate you. DIYers, I appreciate you. Um, But yeah, it, it is important. It is important that you see it for what it is. So what's going to happen is this. Me and Triz are going to jump in here. Uh, Jared Hicks said, I found out a couple weeks ago, Curtis King was on pull up too and just found out Triz has been on TV. I'm late to the stream and late to everything else. You good, Jared. You good. What's up, Sid? How you doing? It becomes almost like trying to use support as a bargaining chip, forgetting some of us don't play like that. We don't. We don't. We don't. Independent don't mean I won't kick your ass. <laughs> you hear that, Triz? Independent don't mean. He said some people, uh, Chris A.K., the homie, said it becomes almost like the fans try to use support as a bargaining chip, forgetting like forgetting that some of us don't play like that. I said I'm independent, but I'll kick your ass. No, real child, I'm a businessman, but like. Put and all this merch shit away. And I post flyers, nigga. And I post flyers. <laughs> what are you talking about, nigga? You already, you always know where I'm at, nigga. I love it. I love it. I love it. Play, I I love play it. With that, nigga. I, that's why I be trying to tell niggas, like, nigga, this underground shit is different. It's different. Like, nigga, you can, Beyonce cannot give you your merch. No. Like, nigga, and you ain't got shit to, you can't do shit about it. What you gonna do? Run up on Beyonce? You, nigga, you can run up you on can me, nigga. do it if you I'm want to. be at the club around the corner, nigga, pull up. Straight up and down, nigga. He it's said, handy. Triz, uh, he said, Just Juck said, these hands is independent, too. Just in general. He ain't talking about the you, but yeah. Hey, he yo, said, shout out to uh, the, the crypto motherfucker. Oh, yeah, hell crypto yeah. Crypto Endgame. He said, I got two NFTs on Gala uh, Music. Did shout you get the assets, though? You know I'm giving out the, uh, the fucking, uh, the, what's that shit called? Damn, I'm faded. I didn't Mind even know you was into the uh, NFTs like that. I, I, uh, I yeah. saw you advertise it, but. How was how was it like? What was that transition getting into that? Uh, okay, I'm signing a gala. You know the uh, the Snoop Dogg Too Short Ice Cube and E40 album. Yeah, it's they gala put it out. I did not know that. Okay, so when they was putting it out, they were like, "You, you stay know, connected, by the way. Yeah. You be always on some like ninja shit, bro. You be yeah. like, yeah, this, this is just so and so situation. Like, hey, shout quick. out to shout out to you, bro. Like you need to get your asset, man. Uh. If you got a fucking uh, NFT from me, then you get a free copy of a baseline caveat, a signed uh, copy, mm. and I'll send it to you. So, Folks don't understand. Like, like, Can you talk a little bit about that really quick in terms of... Mm -hmm. So somebody left a comment in the midst of me like, I've been going off on my, on my streaming shit. I've been going off, Triz. Like, I've been letting it all... Everything I've been thinking about, but I haven't been on social media because I've been focusing on YouTube... Mm -hmm. I've been letting them shits rip because I'm because mm -hmm. one, I'm trying to get my average. I'm trying to get my ad revenue on Twitter mm -hmm. on X. I don't care. His mama, <laughs> yeah, his mama really. named him Twitter. His new name is Twitter. Yeah. And then really. two, I was like, there's an opportunity to talk to people who otherwise probably wouldn't even find my videos that yeah. I feel like I can help. Yeah. But with the streaming shit, I think what people don't understand is like, it's not just about here. Here's a CD. I'm going to yeah. pay 10 bucks for it and play it in my car. Yeah. Somebody left a comment like, I, I don't know. I think that that's not smart because most cars don't come with CD players anymore. Uh, yeah. But they don't understand, like, can you speak to them about, like, what is the value of a Triz fan having, first of all, a physical copy of your CD, well, a first signed all, copy, or even, like, just a vinyl in general? Well, first of all, they say that 80% uh, of the people that buy vinyl uh, don't have a vinyl player. <laughs> so that, that oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, like, a lot of it is uh, memorabilia. Yeah. Uh, a lot of it is having something that's... uh limited to the average fan so like mm -hmm. you know if i release some shit that's a cd yeah you know what i mean like if i be like yo all right fuck it let's use it on a larger scale okay you feel me let's do this drake let's use drake okay because drake is the hottest thing smoking right now right right drake releases a hundred hard copies mm. feel me at fifty dollars a pop and he's never selling them shits again yeah 
tell me they're not gonna be That's worth gonna something. Go crazy. Worth, come on. But see uh-huh. that, and and, and 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 I feel like Trez. This is the part that frustrates me because I yeah. know human nature so much. As much shit as they talk about independence doing certain things, yeah. the moment that that happens, mm-hmm. it's gonna be the most innovative thing they've ever seen. Drake is selling his physical copies, bro. Like oh, it's so hey, crazy. Look, hey, like, hey, look, have hey, have you thought hey, about doing that, Trez? Bro. Have you thought about doing, bro? <laughs> hey, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you, <laughs> homie. Like, I I was thinking to myself like. That's why God put me in the position that I'm in. Yeah. Because like if I was Drake, nigga, none of my shit would be on Spotify. Yeah, I would be. Oh, bro, I would use that power for for for. for I'd be like, you fuck would, all y'all. Bro, I'll be the Joker. <laughs> I would. You know what? I started realizing I probably would be the Joker in that situation too. Like, you know, what, for this project, <laughs> for this project, we gonna make streaming wait four weeks. Hey, nigga, you don't understand. <laughs> we my, going straight to Bandcamp. You, bro, can my, you, bro, Tris, hold on. Think, you just you just fucked me up with that one. Can you imagine Drake just said? The next project for all my dogs is on Bandcamp. It's on Bandcamp, and you, you gotta have, pay ten you to pay. hard dollars. I almost, I almost left. That, uh, what if what so, if for all my dogs was ten dollars, nigga? Would y'all niggas still go fuck with Drake? You know how I know that, they will. That's the biggest. To me, that's the, that's biggest, the biggest shit artist. about being independent. Yeah. When y'all go spend ten dollars with me, like I got, I got somebody here that talking about I bought your NFT, nigga. One of my NFTs is over a hundred dollars, nigga. Man, that's a real supporter that's right there. Supporter. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like shout out to you, homie. Like nigga, one of my NFTs on Gala. I'm signing a Gala Music, niggas know. Nigga, mm-hmm. if you buy one of my NFTs, it's over a hundred dollars. That's yeah. a real that's real chop. He real. said he bought two. That's my crazy. Homie, my nigga spent two hundred dollars with me. You feel what I'm Wait saying? Wait a minute. Hold on. We got Far Side in the building. Hold on. First and foremost, feel me? the legendary Far Side. Oh, Far Side TV. Look, so these are folks who will absolutely know about the power of physical. Uh being, being in this age. Shout out to Far Side TV. Always loved when y'all show love. Sad. But uh, Farside TV said Japan buys cassettes to this day. That's a fact. I got a whole album out in Japan. So America's Most Blunted too. What's happening? So why do you feel like people can? Why do you feel like people speak so confidently about shit they've never done? Because I they, mean, like even fans, like bro, you've never sold it, bro. If you here's my here's my new shit, and I told you this earlier, and I'm gonna let you go off. Yeah. If you have never sat in front of a fan or yeah. somebody who's not, no, forget a fan. If you never sat in front of somebody who walked up to your merch booth yeah. and said, "What is this?" Yeah. and you couldn't get a sell up off of them, yeah. I'm talking to you about selling on physical I don't CDs because you don't know shit about the process. You don't know shit about it. You don't know nothing about a fan coming up to you and they talking about, "Man, I only got fifteen dollars, but your CD is thirty. To I, I take it. I take it because you're gonna be. I a take fan. it. I'm, I'm investing because. You don't understand. I, okay, I call it reverse investments. What do you mean? Okay, explain that. Somebody comes up to me, my CD is thirty dollars, right? Right. And he say, "I only got ten. Here, you can have it." That motherfucker's gonna be like, "This, I'll fuck with that nigga trade. Now I get that nigga ten dollars." He met me where I was and at. He fuck. He met me where I was at. Yeah. Cause my goal. Nigga, I want you to hear these 15 tracks. Mm-hmm. Cause he's coming back. And he, oh, he, and he not gonna always have a limited budget bro, of, of 15 bro, bucks either. I, I can't tell you how many times, nigga, somebody then came back to me yeah. and told me straight up, like, man, I came to that last show, bro. You hooked me up on the merch. Mm-hmm. Like, nigga, oh damn. Oh yeah, bet. Mm-hmm. Oh, let me get let me get this nigga a t shirt. I tell cause my brother, he worked yeah. the merch booth. He was also a producer. Shout out my uh my Shout brother Havoc. Yeah, hell yeah, uh, Vavoom, hell yeah, he do all my uh, a lot of my beats. But anyway, nice. he works my merch booth. But I tell him straight up, I be like, Ma, that's that's his name. I tell him straight up, if somebody come to you and our shirt is thirty, and somebody tell you they got twenty, yeah, you better sell that shirt. Stop playing. Stop you playing. You better sell that motherfucker. Because it's shirt. not about it's not about if that situation is not about the hand to hand transaction. It's not that about is the about merch. You, it's not about the money. Even if you want to look at it from a from a say say a business standpoint. Mm-hmm. In business, I guess will will more so in funnel and marketing, yeah. they would look at that customer and say, this customer has a certain price, a lifelong yeah. journey. If you can keep them along what you're doing, yeah. that person is worth X amount of money yeah. for a lifetime. Yeah. If you make those investments in real human beings and they like, not only did I get a deal at the merge booth, but yeah. Triz yeah. put his hand, put his arm around me and said, hey, bro, I'm meeting you where you at. I, mean, I, I man, always, I always tell this example and I'm going to say it again. First date, we was on that tour with Murs, mm-hmm. and we was learning because we didn't know no better. We yeah. was our first time on tour. We were the openers, right? We didn't know how we was going to sell any of this shit, but we had to sell all of the shit that we had in order to get to the next stop. Yeah. And uh, I wouldn't have it no other way. But the first night, we was in um, 
We was in Arizona. I forget yeah. where he's at. But, yeah. bro, this fan walked up to me with a vinyl, and he's like, yo, do you know when MERS is going to be out here? Because I want him to sign this. And yeah. I was like, I don't because he's in the green room. Yeah. We work in our own merch. And yeah. he's like, all right, no problem. Mer- MERS comes from around my shoulder and walks up to the dude, taps him on the shoulder, and he says, "Do you mind? would you mind if I sign that for you? This dude looked around. His face lit up so. Like a light bulb. And when I seen that, I was like, that is sustainability and independence. That's how you got to do it. You have right. to be that way. I would do that as a human being, but in right. order for you to have a sustainable career in which your fans do not turn on you, which folks feel like I'm connected to you. That's why when I think about like the uh, the Juggalo Fest, when I think yeah. about the Juggalos and I see how dedicated, yeah. like these folks could be like the fir- the person working at your CVS. It could be your doctor. Yeah. You could be like, and these folks is like, it'll pull up a tattoo. It's almost like Raiders fans to a certain degree right. too. I'm going to say this right quick. Yeah, go ahead. The Juggalos? Yeah. They saved careers. How so? Two weeks ago? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, well, I think you about to say something. Go ahead. Let, let it go. Ago, let it go. Drake? Yeah. Your favorite rapper? Was on Instagram. <laughs> with an ICP jersey on. Stop. Are you serious? Nigga, that's on my soul, nigga. It was yellow, nigga. It said Insane Clown Posse, nigga. And the Juggalos went crazy. They like, wow. Drake was like, I fuck with the Juggalos. What is you, you talking do. about? I bet you do. Nigga, what? <laughs> nigga, Insane Clown Posse. Nigga, what? I yeah. fuck. Nigga, I That's nigga, crazy. Nigga, Weezy Mac. Nigga, Insane Clown Posse. Psych- psychopathic. Nigga, Chapter 17. Nigga, yeah. whoop, whoop. Nigga, what yeah. is you talking about? Nigga, they saved careers. Nigga, Damn. they the reason that Vanilla Ice was able to come back. That's yeah. a fact. Yeah. And y'all laugh at Vanilla Ice, but that nigga was able to come back and make some money. I think folks laugh at a lot of people. The Juggalos. Folks laugh at a lot of people from the outside because they yeah. don't understand what this is what this is when you actually live it. Oh. Like the, the the things that, and I'm starting to understand, and maybe you feel the same way. The older I get, the less I want to share the things I'm actually happy about. Mm-hmm. Like the things that, like, are, that are real wins, oh, yeah. almost I got to internalize that because I feel like once I let that up for the internet to dice up, mm-hmm. if I don't have my emotions in check, it can really like, not that somebody shitting on it would make me feel a certain way, but just being indifferent mm-hmm. would make me feel like, damn, I guess it ain't a big deal then. Exactly. Like subconsciously. Yeah, I would yeah. still be happy about it, but I'm at the point now where it's like some of my biggest wins this year, mm-hmm. only the homies know about. Mm-hmm. Straight up. Only the homies know about. Straight up. Because like if I, if I do that, it's, it's almost like I'm winning just so I can set, share with these people yeah. that don't give a shit about it. That make no sense. Hold on. Shout out my dude, Cassius. Please Cassius, do. what up? What's going on? Cassius was assigned to uh, Shady, Eminem. Cash is, yeah, Cash is a legend. Yeah, hell yeah, Cash yeah, yeah. Cash is a legend. Cash is what up, homie? I'm gonna see you that joint. Was, was he on the uh, Eight Mile soundtrack? I don't know. I don't want to say that. I, I don't know for sure, but yeah, that's that's but Cash is. We fuck yeah, with I you, know bro. Cash is for much, sure. Much respect. Shut out the seven one four. Yeah. Artists need to follow the subscription route. Build your community. Give perks to loyal supporters. You got something like a, sub- a subscription model uh, uh, at this yeah, point? Uh, uh, TrizOnline.com. You can, Triz subscribe. Online. you can subscribe to uh, TrizOnline.com. You get discounts. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I mean these peanuts. You good, bro. This is, we have it. If anything, we having a conversation we would have. It's just the cameras are on. We good. Yeah, no, 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 for <laughs> sure. Uh, TrizOnline.com. I call them family members. Yeah. You subscribe, you're a family member, and you get discounts. You Fire. get uh, early access to like uh, show tickets and, um, uh, yeah, whatever, niggas. You feel what, me? What's the benefit of that in terms of uh, the business model? If you don't mind sharing, like, what is the benefit? Because obviously, when that's when that's to a far side of sharing that, that's obviously something that is yeah. is a, is a priority yeah, for an yeah. artist. They get shit that drop first. Like you feel me? Like I said, like it, I I give them like discounts on my shows. I give mm-hmm. them discounts on my merchandise. Like you'll get fifty percent off on trizonline.com. Like mm-hmm. if you're a family member, you get some. You get a discount and like fifty percent. I I fucking take an L on that. Mm-hmm. Like nigga, if I sell you a shirt, if a shirt is thirty dollars. Fifty percent of that is fifteen, nigga. I don't make no money and on that. And if you print on demand, that's the fifteen is going straight to that, to Come the on, to that. I, we know that, that, and I share that only because we're in we're in a room with other artists and producers who are either doing that or aspire to do that. And they understand this business is that there's so many. I don't even look at them as L's because I look at it and I say somebody's having all this decision making over your brand. Yeah, so even if you take zero from that, even if you pay a dollar, like they deduct, I've had it. I've had that happen where I didn't know no better. And uh, when I was using Printful, Printful mm-hmm. took like a cool, like a little, like like sixty something dollars, and I spent that other money already. I was like, oh, y'all ain't supposed to do that. 
they took that shit so fast and i was like okay all right now i understand why i can't go to the lowest price because once that 50 percent is off boom now you're left with whatever the wholesale price of that product that product is and it's shipping shipping so you got somebody who's across the states you end up you end up t- but the reason i don't take it as an l is this they're wearing your merch <laughs> yeah, they're paying sure. to be a billboard for you yeah i fuck with uh fucking um like that shit like Mm-hmm. If you fucking if you fucking with my shit and you buying my merch, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you like you, I'm gonna make it make sense at some point. Yeah. Look, look, Tris, I'm 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 you ready to get pissed off? I'm a little faded. Too. You, I know, I know. That's I'm a little bit nervous about this. I'm a little nervous about pulling up this first video. Uh, shout out to Thomas Davis. He <laughs> said Nipsey had a dope idea for those who had any marathon clothing. He could release music and videos exclusively to those people. Yeah. Yeah, in a lot of ways, man, he took chances that those who make music like Other Nip, fact. you're not used to seeing that. Like he moved Other he fact. moved it's crazy to me because Nip moved in both spaces with so much authenticity that yeah. you could have met him as an independent artist yeah. and saw what he did and say, You're an independent artist. You yeah. could have met him as a sixties crit and be like, Oh, you really, <laughs> yeah, you, really that. you really are reputable. But it's like in every capacity, wherever he was at, you yeah. get a like I really wish we could have saw today. That Nip like would have been invited when, to like when, TED Talks. Bro, That'd have been something completely crazy to see. I met Nipsey one time, but when Nipsey passed away and like how he passed away, I hated my own people. Mm. It made me hate my own people, and the, I know that my own people didn't have nothing to do with it. But it's just right. like it's just like I hate. I can't stand y'all. Yeah, y'all are just are pieces of shit. Yeah, like why? Yeah, why? yeah, and like he would oh that. Like why why that why was the, the per- only celebrity death that I cried over. Yeah, it 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 it, yeah. it definitely hit me in a way that I I didn't realize. Like, bro, you remember when I did? Remember when I did a hundred dollar hundred dollar game yeah, box? Yeah, yeah. And Respect Magazine put it on a blog, mm-hmm. and then they said inspired by Nipsey, and then he retweeted it, mm-hmm. and I remember just like that meant something. Of all the cosigns, of all the things that you that Nipsey meant something actually different. He cared, bro. He, he cared, actually bro. fucking gave a fuck. Like, oh my god, just yeah. th- just thinking about. So so, so 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 to go back to that other statement, I, I think I can understand it from that from the standpoint of that was a shining light of somebody who was doing something completely different, yeah. was looking out for everybody that was around them. Yeah, it oversaturated independence too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, that made people look at independence. Like, nigga, you just trying to be like Nip. Like, nigga, shut your bitch ass up. Nip. Yeah. I've been doing this shit way before. But, but you know what's funny about that? What's not funny, but what's crazy about that is that I remember when he released the $100 album, mm-hmm. the Very amount strong. of bullshit he got. Yeah. Y'all talking crazy. It's still on Twitter right now, too. Oh, if you sure. search it up, if you search up Nipsey Hustle $100 yeah. album, you're going to see a bunch of folks who were like, you know, oh, rest in peace because he did something so, so motivational and so uh, forward thinking. I remember seeing the onslaught of people even on my timeline that was like, "Who does this nigga think he is?" Straight up, what? what? And you see how the net, you know, see how, and, and and I was the only one I was like looking around. I remember having conversations with artists like, "Do you not realize what this means? You niggas are complaining about your merch not being able to sell and a now, certain price point. He just pushed the shit up." And now look at everybody; they're doing the same shit he was doing. Like nigga, shut up. That's why I be like, nigga, shut the fuck up. You don't know what the fuck you talking about. Yeah. Yeah. The that, fuck up, nigga. Look, and that's why I was on my Twitter game. I was on my Twitter game and I put up I put up this tweet and, and some of y'all might have seen it here uh when I put it up here on the on the YouTube, but I wanna know what you think about this and we're gonna react to this video because I, yeah. I, I I need to get Trez while you <laughs> uh, yeah, give me while I'm, where I'm at. <laughs> Let me get you right here. Yeah. Uh but I put up this tweet about I said, uh hold on, let me find this real quick. Um I said if I can't find it, here it is. Some of your favorite rappers and producers are lying to you. They're just as lost as you. Don't wait until 20 years from now when the podcast interviews start dropping and they finally reveal your gut instinct wasn't off. <laughs> Unlearn and redefine what success means for your music career. Mm-hmm. I see so many artists, bro, that are just, they're playing, they're, 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 they're following. They know somebody else, they know Kendrick's career better than they know their own fucking career. Come on. And not that it's not worthy to pay attention to what he's doing, but they care more about his career than their own career. Yeah. You're a fan, bro. 
you don't have a career. Day, you're a fan. You are a and there's nothing fan, wrong with nigga. that. It's the, the only problem is you don't recognize that you're, you're a, a fan. fucking fan. You're a fan that makes music. <laughs> and how many of those folks exist out here, Triz? That's why I love talking to you, Triz. That's why I love talking to you because we be talking about this and I'm like, these niggas is fans. They're fans. You're a fan that's like, Who the fuck I, do you think I do you're a little bit of to? rapping on the side. Nigga, no, you, you are a fan. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? It, hello. <laughs> Shout out to Farside TV. Cook the good work. I Look, I appreciate you appreciate so much because I'll I tell you this. When I met when I, at the Thought Fest, shout out to the Thought Fest coming up on the on 7th of October. When I walked up, I walked up to Farside as a fan first. Yeah. In that situation, funny, we talking about this, but I walked up not as Curtis King. I had to go up there because I had to give roses. I was like, yo, I fuck with y'all. And y'all are like, the, f- the first remix I ever made was uh, Pass Me By. Mm-hmm. And so I just wanted to go up there and give props. Mm-hmm. And then Fat Lip said, I seen you on YouTube. <laughs> Like nigga, bro, Drake himself can come retweet some shit. That shit'll get old in a day. I be talking my shit like, yeah, you know, we getting heard, no, but then I'll be no. over it. Far side, it hits different because that's what I grew up on. Yeah, it's different. But going back to this other, so I appreciate the super chat. That means so much. But going back to that topic right there, yeah. why do you think like it's? I feel like in twenty years we're gonna really see people get into their position. Right yeah. now they make shit look good because yeah. of social media. Maybe they got a little bit of a budget. Yeah. They got the right music videos. Yeah. But it's so many folks out here who are playing the role. But when you unravel their business, oh my god, what business? What business? You know how many niggas that's like cracking right now that don't have a website? <laughs> you want to get into it? Shout out to Smack. Yeah, let's get to that. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a website. They don't have no merchandise. They don't have like. How do you not no have foundation. your own real estate? How you not having your own digital real estate? A website. How so how, many... how about just buy the URL and put it on your on your Spotify if that's what you want to do. I got a homie that just dropped the project. Right? Yeah. And uh, I don't want to like this. Of course, it. of course, of course. But like he's like so infatuated with Instagram. Mm, in what uh, way? Like he only promotes there. Mm. So like Twitter don't matter Facebook don't matter Yeah Snapchat don't matter And I try to explain to people like I can't tell you how many times Somebody tell me that like Oh oh, dog, nigga I found you on Instagram I found you on Snapchat yeah. I found you on Twitter If I promote on all these platforms And just on Snapchat Two people said that they found out about me mm-hmm. I did something right mm. You know what I'm saying like, I'm covering all bases. I don't give a fuck mm-hmm. if I post and one person says that they fuck with my shit. Mm-hmm. I did my job. You did your job. And people don't see the value in the small numbers. They don't, like, like that make, so you know what this tells me, Triz? This to me, shout out to your moms and your pops, because I feel like those were the, probably the first experience you had to independence. Oh, for sure. Right? When, I, when you describe them, to me, when you talk like that, I'm like, that is someone who's had, like, the proper leadership and, like, the yeah. structure that says, this is how compound interest works. Yeah. Save a little. Save a little. That penny, like, you you, you, you ever heard the saying where they say, would you rather have uh, a million dollars or a penny that doubles mm-hmm. in value over mm-hmm. 30 days? Mm-hmm. And most folks are like, I want that million, not knowing I think that the mm-hmm. penny that doubles in value every day. Yeah. And please don't sit up here and try to give me your math your I'm math impersonations. Yeah. You can look that shit up on Google right yeah. now. It doubles in value every day. It's not yeah. just a penny. It, it doubles in value. It oh, yeah. gets to five million dollars, I believe, yeah. because that is the finance. That is the psychology of of um yeah. compound interest, and you're yeah. doing that with fans. Yeah. And this is actually another question I wanted to ask you before we get into this reaction to this stuff. Yeah. In that, what does a typical rollout look like for you? Or even what is a typical rollout look? You got the number six album. It's not the first time you charted. No. Like, what does a rollout look out for you? Because when I look, it's not like you're doing the traditional industry rollout. No. Like you'll still do your same flow of content. You'll share even songs that are not a part of this project, yeah. and you'll keep that as like. What is your, I guess, your approach when it comes to promoting a new project? Do you look at it as it needs to be promoted heavier because it's new, mm-hmm. or you just look at it like, no, I'm just promoting my catalog. What it is is I like to be authentically me. So like. Okay. So for the first like week, let's just say I just dropped my album. It's, right. It's Thursday night, right? I'm talking about like, yo, my album finna drop. Yo, check this out. And I'm on all my platforms. I'm on Snapchat. I'm on Sp- uh, I'm on fucking Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I'm on yeah. all of my platforms. I don't right. give a fuck 
if I don't get enough expressions on this platform. Yeah. So you're not I'm even ever, concerned about the nah, numbers. See I'm that a, to me, that's part of the unlearning we gotta all I'm going through it right now, Tris. Being transparent, yeah. I'm going through it where it kicks my ass when I know how 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 long I've edited these videos mm -hmm. and when I see them numbers go dud, I'm like Something got to change. I don't no, like man. that shit, but I have to I have to unlearn you that. Have to, uh, uh, one of the things you have to appreciate it. So to answer yeah. your question, it's like I I basically just focus on call to action. Mm -hmm. uh, my 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 photos. I do photo shoots when I'm finna drop an album. Mm -hmm. I go do photo shoots like based around that album. Already in mind. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like. I keep my fans engaged, like, oh, this nigga's finna drop. Yeah, they they, oh. they feel it. They feel it in the air. You don't even gotta like put too much on it. Oh, he finna drop. When I'm out with my wife, I be out with my wife. I be like, yo, what's what's happening, nigga? Yeah. Cornella finna drop, nigga. September twenty second. That's yeah. when my last album just dropped. September twenty second. Uh, I just like to be engaged with the viewer yeah and the consumer yeah i want you to know that i give a fuck about you giving a fuck right like you feel what i'm saying i want you to know that it's coming out that's why i like like motherfuckers who be like dropping shit and then like they they, they post one time two times that's me like no 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 i'm very i need I'm, to hear this i need to hear this i don't have a machine i'm not yeah. signed to def jam i'm not signed to atlantic i'm signed to triz mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So like I'm promoting 24/7. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I my my first promo may be just the album cover mm -hmm. coming soon. Mm -hmm. Then the next uh promo may be the album cover with music behind mm -hmm. it. Then the next promo may be a graphic like yeah. oh me outside like rapping a verse off of the album. Like I'm trying to keep you just keeping I'm, that conversation I'm going. I'm trying to keep the conversation See, going. And for me, yeah. I, you know you know my marketing, especially when it was like. Younger Curtis, yeah. when I was I was like very on point with, especially when I was pushing just the music. Mm -hmm. I think the point that was kind of a pivot for me and where mm -hmm. I'm having to unlearn was when I started getting into content. Mm -hmm. Cause then it was like, all right, if another word for content is what is your message? I got a whole lot of messages. I got my plugins, I got my YouTube, I got the music, I got this, I got this. So I think for me, it's like trying to, trying to focus in on one thing long enough to focus in on that and just let that be the the, the but I, I get into these places where it's almost like I have to create seasons mm -hmm. for all the products I have mm -hmm. and sometimes it gets to the point where it's like analysis paralysis I got so much shit mm -hmm. that I promote nothing at all yeah that that right there I'm working on it though I'm working on it I'm just being transparent that right there I get in that space and I'll be like I'm about to just promote my life then how when do you I, what does that look I, like when i feel like i don't want to flood them with just music yeah 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 nigga me and the wife we going out for shrimp look yeah. at her nigga she getting on my nerves <laughs> oh, How, why do you feel like that's part of the promotional push like what do you what do you think the value that brings to a fan because like, what is i want mind? people to know that i'm just like them mm -hmm. everybody get into it with they woman Every everybody get into it with their wife. Yeah, yeah, she get on my fucking nerves. <laughs> I want you to know that like every time we take a picture, it ain't all PG King. Yeah, yeah. I want people to know that like everything is not all green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? That's the product of it. That's like the fucking beauty of being independent. I want my fans to know like yeah, it be it get tricky. Up yeah, here. yeah, yeah, yeah. It get tricky. <laughs> <laughs> what? And I want you to see that. See if for what it is. But like, I think that makes them respect you more. For sure. Because they feel like you're not trying to like put on any any any. Like and even I, when you talk about earlier about the whole thing about like making sure that you're on point yeah. and that you you know you're not you're not out here like wearing the same shit. I I interpret that differently now as you, imagine if you own if you own your own McDonald's, mm -hmm. right? You own it. You're not working in it, but you own it, and you walk in that piece, and sales have been down the whole month. Yeah. And you go in there and you see the workers still got ketchup stains in the morning before anybody came in. Before the shit even started. The bathroom ain't been tend to. Yeah. That's yeah. a part of the presentation. That's a part of Our also like, that's a part of the entertainment too. Our presentation. And that when I see you, I'm meeting you at, damn, this is the dude I started listening to when I first graduated high school. I met my mm. girl. Like, this is the mm. dude that I met when, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're seeing that and you don't want to like, it's not that you want to like have them living in a dream world, but you don't want to erase that. By walking up to him and your breath stink. Bro. Me you know how many rappers bro. I met and they breath stink? And I was like, nigga, I don't know if I can listen to your music anymore. I bro. know that's shallow, but that's real. Bro, my, <laughs> my, wife, 
<laughs> me and my wife argue so much because yeah. like, she'd be like, oh, uh, uh, we, I'm finna go to Ralph's. Okay. Or I'm finna go to Albertsons. Or I'm finna go, you know, to go grocery shopping. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. And like, she'll get mad at me, like, cause I'm like, I'm like, damn, I don't need to get dressed, but like, I'll throw on my Jordan shorts. I throw on my J's and shit. You getting ready? I, I, <laughs> she, she you know I know I mean? she high about I, that. I go in the mirror and I be like, <laughs> you feel me? Cause I'm, I'm, I'm like, you thinking about that? I, we've, and you know what's fucked up about it? Uh-oh. We've been approached. Yeah, yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like, hold on, hold on, Trent. I'm gonna tell my story first because I know, know you me? told me a story about something, and, and I want to leave that you up to you whether me? or not you want to share. But yeah. how about this one? How about this one? I'm living in Rialto. Yeah. And usually when I leave the house, I got my like that's why I have my flat top. I had a little blonde piece. I'm like I'm in my I'm in my baby Sinbad mode, bro. I would never forget this Rialto. There's a liquor store that was right near the house I was living at, and 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 my my you know my my girl at the time I was like yo I'm gonna go to the liquor store. Yeah. I'm bumming it out. My sweats is like they like they probably musty. It's just like I'm just I'm just on, it's on a lazy day, yeah. and I'm like, am I gonna get dressed to go to the liquor store? And I'm like man, ain't nobody gonna know me over there. Nigga, I walk up Nigga. there. No, no, hold on. Even worse than that, I didn't have no cash on me. Yeah. And I don't think I even had like money on the card or whatever. I had coins. Oh. I walk over there with coins, Triz. I walk over there and all I, all I want, it's not like I'm buying a whole lot of shit. I just want a tiki punch and I want a snicker bar. I walk into this this liquor store. Ding ding. The nigga said, Curtis? Curtis King? The cashier. Nasty word. Curtis King? I said, Oh, what's good, bro? He's like, how you been, man? I'm looking like a straight crackhead in that liquor store. Oh man. I go in, I go up and get my shit. I get my, I very embarrassingly get my tiki punch and my snicker, and I put it on the counter. And he's like, bro, bro, it's so crazy. Like, like it would be dope. Like, I, you probably don't want to take a picture, huh? I'm like, nah. Like, I, like I, in any other situation, I'll come back down here. But he was like, I get it, I get it. And he's like, you still working on music? I was like, oh. Hit me with you still working on music. He said, You still working on music? I said, Yeah, I'm still working on music. He's like, Everything good? I'm like, Everything good. I'm just, you know, I'm just, it's a lazy day. This nigga says, $1.75. Had to pull out the change, the quarters. Nigga, fuck y'all. Nigga, I need to pay for this. (laughs) I paid this nigga coin by coin and put this shit on the counter. And he said, Wait, wait, he did he did the nasty shit. He didn't pick them up one by one. He drug him. He oh, drug him on his side. So you heard him. I heard him. I heard my hurt. I heard my value to him. <laughs> I would never forget that. He hey, brought it back, and I said, hey, "I said I will hey. never leave the house like this again bro. if I can help it." Bro. I will never forget that situation. Bro. Shout out to that cashier because he 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 didn't bro. he didn't necessarily judge me like he could have. Bro, but that was the most expensive tiki punch and snicker ever. Nigga. Go ahead. <laughs> Bro, I feel that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my point. It's just like when I leave the crib, yeah. like nigga, everybody gotta do they due diligence. Yes. Like nigga, everybody gotta live life. Like nigga, yes. it's a Seven Eleven. Mm-hmm. Maybe I think like two minutes from my crib, mm-hmm. nigga. I can. I don't need to get in the car. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. so. It be times where like me and my wife, we we have change in the crib because like we wash we wash laundry. And yeah, shit. of course, like, of course, you feel of course. What I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like so, like. It been times where I was like, damn, I need me a little Bud Light real quick. <laughs> I mean, I got this change and it ain't here for nothing. We already washed real, clothes. Everything good. Real, real, let me get me yeah. a little Bud Light. <laughs> that, right? I'm walking to the tight store. I, 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 like, I be walking to the store like, damn, if somebody see me, they gonna be like, this nigga trip is weird. <laughs> like, nigga, fuck you, nigga. I, I'm trying to get me a little beer, nigga. Shut your ass up. No, I on the real, in, I nigga. That in my, I felt that in my heart. On the real. Fuck you, man. Nigga, like, let me give me a we, little How bro. dare you? How much I, is it? How much is it? Two seventy five. Hold on. Yeah, I know I got that. There you go. Oh, look, real. look, bro. You yeah. want? I, I don't. I don't want. I want to pray. I don't. No pressure. No pressure. You want to tell that other story you told me? Which one? Uh, the Postmates. Oh, okay, it's on yeah. you. I don't want to put no, that I on will. you if you don't want to. But if, I but I think no, that okay. I think to give okay. to give per, oh, no, fuck that shit. to no, give perspective on independence. Like okay, this is the journey. Okay, look, y'all. In 2016, I was doing Postmates. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Mm-hmm. This is after my biggest my biggest album came out. Yeah. America's Most Blunted It's my biggest album. That shit still pay my bills to this day. Let's go. So. Like, I was doing Postmates or whatever, right? Because I was like, damn, I need some extra cheese, nigga. Mm-hmm. Like, I got a girlfriend and shit. Like, nigga, you can't just be out here. You, know I mean? you can't be out them here streams, doing nothing, yeah. Nigga, them streams is not jumping uh, like that. Uh, 
So I was like, damn, I need story. some extra cheese. Okay. Nigga, I, I start doing Postmates. Tell me why <laughs> I get to a house and it was women and they knew who I was. Oh my God. When Tris? I, you don't understand Tris? the embarrassment. Uh-huh. And like y'all can say like it's not embarrassing because they're mm-hmm. like he trying to make some bread. Yeah, yeah. But Having like, a job bro, is not embarrassing. The but, fact that yeah. you know Triz is delivering my food. <laughs> when you say it like that, see they probably didn't take it like that. Hold on. <laughs> hey, it, it, they didn't. They didn't probably hear it like that. But when you bro, say it like that, it's like Curtis King is delivering I'm my keeping, food, bro. I'm keeping it gangster with yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Bro, it was some real shit. I needed some bread, nigga. So yeah. I signed up for Postmates. It's 2016. Like, yeah. nigga, I've been releasing records since 2006, nigga, and it was it got tricky. And nigga, I I don't like asking motherfuckers for money. Like, you mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? Like, so nigga, I started doing Postmates. Somebody recognized me, nigga, and I told my mama like, me and my mama got a real relationship. <laughs> like, so I was like. Hell no, <laughs> nigga. I was like, nigga, hell no, nah, nigga. There's no way in hell, nigga. I'm not, deli- I'm not doing that shit no yeah. more, nigga. And I stopped doing that shit. Yeah. I was like, fuck that shit, nigga. I'm not finna be doing no damn Postmates or no DoorDash, like nigga. And can't nobody blame But nigga, you, bro. I needed the we bread. Needed the bread. Like, I'm like, gonna keep it gangster with y'all. And, I needed that shit. And I, I ain't gonna lie, but I was hot. I, I was. I know you was. Off. With all by all means, but oh, I, yeah. you know what? I look at it as Tris too. Like I hope, bro. I pray yeah. that our generation of independent artists yeah. are gonna be the first one that don't get shamed <laughs> for having a job. That's that shit yeah. hilarious, but it, at the same time, there's a lot of yeah. folks who like they feel like having a job yeah. invalidates their career, and it's like, yeah. no, you supporting nah, it. Nah, your job sure. is your angel investor. It's your only investor right nah, now, for sure. Like we, like our community as black folks, it, it uh, it's like you get looked down upon for trying to make a dollar. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's sad, especially when it comes to like the music. Like I remember like being with a female, and uh. Like I told her parents that I rapped, mm-hmm. and they were they asked me, "What else?" Damn, and like that 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 was super offensive to me. Like it's like, yeah, fuck, do you mean what else? What else? No, nah, this is what I do. Because you couldn't possibly be doing this as a job. You know what I'm saying? That's what and, they. But, the, because, and, yeah, but you know, I also had to respect my OGs because they black. They, you know what I mean? They they just like my family. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's like. If you ain't making no money, that ain't no job. Mm, you know that's, true. that's you true. Know, you know that's what I'm true. saying? So, uh, I, I just, I take real well, good. My question, my, not, not uh, interrupt you, no, but, go but, ahead. but my thing is this. If you're going to go at that angle that not making money from it is not a real job, mm-hmm. then ask me, does it pay well? Or ask yeah. me a question about how yeah. my success is in it so you can get better context. Now, if I come to you and I say I ain't made nothing off of it, yeah. I've already invalidated myself. No, but right you right. making that decision for me, I think that's the issue I've had, is that yeah. when I immediately say, that's why I don't even say I rap anymore. I say I'm an artist. Yeah. Uh, and I tell them all the things. I, and I wrote a book. All of a sudden, the conversation go out the door another way. Yeah. Yeah. But my thing is this. Don't invalidate it for me. Yeah. Ask me about it. Ask me. Because yeah, you've seen, su- at this point, you've seen somebody have independently successful. Have a conversation. Have a conversation. Because yeah. then at that point, I got to ask, do you respect me as a man? Yeah, oh, straight up. Because, like, at the end of the day, like, like I'm so respected in the game. Mm-hmm. And not just in the game, just amongst my friends and family because I've able, I've been able to make a living off what I do. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, right. Like, I've heard people call me a minimum wage rapper. I've had that called to me before that's some cold shit to say the to a nigga. Is that? just means that you're able to make a living barely <laughs> feel me but it's just like definitely i'm sorry like i, I know i throw a lot of yeah. a lot of shit at the industry it's real though I, a lot of shit at the industry I, I don't look at you as a minimum wage rapper bro i i, I think yeah. that even i think that the idea of making minimum wage mm-hmm. in a music career yeah. is success for probably about 80 to 90 percent of people who've never made money at all off of music to even imagine making what they would make at a minimum wage job is a miracle to them so when i look at that i don't look at you in that that light i look at you as somebody who is making the necessary sacrifices so that somebody can have the thriving career i believe you're going to see it through to where you'll have more than a multi-million uh, career. I think you're going to make as much money as you want to make. Yeah. But I also feel like because we're so ahead of the curve mm-hmm. and I'm behind because I'm just jumping back on the on the bike on this. But as artists, mm-hmm. so ahead of the curve that sometimes you could pop off before the pendulum fully swings. Mm-hmm. 
only thing that you can rely upon is what you've been talking about this whole time, which is your consistency. Yeah. Because you're consistent, consistent, the pendulum, you've seen the pendulum swing a few times. Yeah, for sure. So now as it comes back, I don't like, one thing I'm not going to ever stand by is the, the word starving artist. Fuck yeah. that. To nah, me, that felt like some, that felt like somebody in an industry made that shit up. For sure. To shame people who, who are not in a, in, in a position that they think they should be in for their art. Fuck that. Especially when folks are coming from an industry that respects streams yeah, the way that they true. do. Yeah, and, sure. and the lack of money that comes from that. Yeah. Don't talk to me about having respect for it. So starving artists, I mean, I mean you own whatever you want to own. But when I look yeah. at you, bro, I look at you as a, as a pioneer. I look at you as a pillar. I look I at you as, as a, someone who's a trailblazing yeah. a whole nother lane for artists to even exist. Yeah. I look at so many artists that are popping on my timeline now. And I'm like, I'm so glad to hear this sound of West Coast back. Yeah. But also evolve the way that you evolved this shit, bro. I, I get so like offended and emotional because I'm like, I really have love for the game, and like it just bothers me that like, like if anybody ever insulted me or insults me, like like being being who you are, mm -hmm. you have to take that. You feel me? Like God don't give you nothing you can't handle, and I'm not religious sure. at all. I'm not Christian. I'm not no religion. I just believe in God and right and wrong. But like, 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 bro, I. I I've done so much for the game, mm -hmm. like because of the love of the game. It, sure. had it never had nothing to do with money. Yeah, it never had anything to do with that. Like, yeah. I do. Like, I've had arguments with my wife because she'd be like, "Nigga, you performing for that? You, mm. Are you taking this a thousand? Like, are you are you doing this this that? And, like, it's because I had so much fucking love for the fucking game. Yeah, dog. I got I got so much love for the game, and I never I never let the game like uh, take away from who I am sure. as a person. You know what I'm saying? But like I always just have respect for the game. I like being I like being around music, bro. Yeah. I just I like Damn, I'm getting super emotional. You good, bro. You good. You good. You good. I'm sorry. Bro, this is the I, second time I done did this to somebody. Uh, uh, Stevie was the last one. But I, this is I'm, this is Trez. Good, Trez. Right, bro, I like you, being around the game. Bro. I know. I, I just know, bro. I love being around Speak the game. Speak on it. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I like when like the homies is performing and shit. Like, yeah. I just like really being around the game. Yeah. I, I, I fucking love that shit. Yeah. You know I mean? Like, I just love being around it. It, don't, it yeah. never had anything to do with money. You know yeah. I mean? It never did. Like, Fuck, this shit is pissing me off. Yeah, but the but the fact that you have Fuck. you have established this, Trez, bro. That shit is pissing me off. I don't, don't let it I piss you. You good? Now you good, bro? Like you that. but see this this like, this is this is this is why I have the platform I have, Trez. Yeah, bro. Is that you're not gonna get this conversation on nobody who don't understand it? Nah, for real. Because most folks gonna look at this, clip it up, create create clickbait out of it. That's not yeah, what I'm looking fuck, to do. Man. I'm looking to have a conversation about you. About this, about something that we both love yeah. and that we have given everything to. No, sure. People look at these bags and I'm like, at this point, yeah. do you think this is a fashion statement, dog? I didn't yeah. gave more I didn't gave more energy and hours to this shit yeah. that it probably didn't even owe it didn't it didn't yeah. it didn't deserve. No, but I wanted sure. it. I wanted it that bad. Yeah, bro. So like, everything that like like even just coming to talk to you, like and just like chilling and just talking like about the game. Like yeah. I just like that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same here. Like, Same I here. Just like it. Even even when you like, came out here to cook with me, bro, I'm like, I don't really? meet many people who don't bro, they don't like bro, Tris. Oh, love bro. you to death, bro, because when love you come you out too, when you come out here, I know that you wanna work. Yeah. It ain't never like yeah, can we take a lunch kidding. break? No. I ain't never heard them words come out. Uh, and I know you. Look, look, look. Check it out. Trip. Give look, me a shot of hit. With look, look. As so. long as he got, he, he got his liquor. He good. But look, yeah. look. I, I just saw a tweet this last week that said Trez. Trez like, I can't stand these these two hour long podcasts. Nah. Anybody watching that shit? Nah. But then he come to me, and I'm like, oh shit. You know it's gonna be a good six nah. hours with me. No, nah, bro. <laughs> like, I hate. Like I love watching podcasts, but when I be watching Drink Champs. I be like, God damn! I'm not watching all this shit. shit. Where the timestamps at? This shit for fucking three hours, <laughs> like what the fuck, nigga? Like, bro, I need y'all niggas to wrap it up, wrap this shit up, it. and then got a part two. That's three yeah, more hours, for sure, like for the sure. Kanye shit. I was like, oh nah. nah for sure, for but, sure. But bro, I I I wanted to make sure, like, beyond we and we didn't, we we can yeah. get to the reactions, all that stuff. You still want to yeah. do that? But my thing is this: no, we still yeah, we can do that. I want to make sure that you are celebrated because yeah. I hear all of this. Bullshit, and because now I'm seeking it out. Yeah. That's the weird space I'm in now. Is that I used to just ignore it when I see it on my timeline. Like, okay, another industry nigga talking about how independence is not the way. Another person talking about how ain't no money in music. Another person talking. About, I used to just ignore this shit. Now I seek it out because I'm like, these are the folks that you're taking advice from. Yeah. 
Yeah. The, this is the person. Okay, well, I don't think they're used to folks like you and I, first of all, having an opportunity to sit across from each other. Mm -hmm. Second of all, being able to articulate our points on these things. And they're not used to people saying, you're wrong. No, facts. They're used to people like, I can't right. believe I'm in front of you. Right. Nigga, no, you're wrong. <laughs> I respect your legend, <laughs> but you are wrong. Fact. You are, and, and it's okay, because no, I've been wrong fact. before, too. No, fact. I've been wrong before, too, but that, that that's what I love so much about Nigga having a wrong. platform to do that, bro. Like, Because I, I know, bro, I didn't made over 1,700-something videos. I didn't yeah. run wrong a few times. <laughs> but my thing is, I can stand on that shit. Like, I remember Asada Shakur said this about her personality. She said, if I take a shit in the middle of the street, mm -hmm. I'm going to be the person that stand next to it and point at it and say, that was me. That was me. So basically, she owns whatever it is that she says, even I if it's wrong. I said. I said what I said. So the fuck I and said. And you know what? Yeah. I got that. some new information now. Straight up. And I can look at it from a different I, angle. Yeah, I learned. Yeah. It's okay to be like, oh, damn, I was wrong? Or even if I wasn't wrong, I stood on that, and now- Now okay, we're here. I'm here. Yeah, but see, that's why, that's why it is important to yeah. have you come on here and not only talk about your journey, but let these folks know- in case some of them haven't been, because a lot of folks in here are independent. A lot of folks are in here who are. Absolutely. But I want them to hear straight from the horse's mouth, like, this is what I'm currently going through. This is how, this is how, when you see this music on your timeline, do not just judge it off of just fucking Sonics. I know that's what people going to do anyways. But when you looking at this, like, really look at this and say, bro, as a man, I'm proud of you. Yeah, Stevie you. told me, bro, I'm going to tell you the same thing. I'm proud of you, thank bro. You, bro. Likewise, Stevie, likewise. Stevie told me, he said, I'm proud of you for surviving this shit. Bro, surviving it is... Re That's wild. Wild. <laughs> how many of your homies, how many of your homies you see? Uh, we not going to speak on them. No, no, no. How about beyond homies? How about how many people was up on a, who was up above us who would have been a good luck to be a feature with us that did like this? All the way down. Right. And we took the long route. We took the slow route. And now all of a sudden it's like, yeah, I saw you the whole time. Why you didn't say nothing? I never stopped. Mom said this, and I and I, and I just, she was just here for the weekend. Love my mom. Shout yeah, out to her. But she yeah, said, shout out to mom. how you treat people on the way up is how they're going to treat you on the way down. Because yeah. it's going to happen. Sure. Everybody has to go through that. If you're in here long enough, you're blessed to be here long enough, mm -hmm. you're going to have a period where shit's going to go the other direction. And before we get into the reaction sure. shit, my first feature I ever paid for. Yeah. And I didn't pay for it. I was... Uh, somebody was I was dealing with like a little bullshit label, mm -hmm. but it was Glasses Malone, G Malone. Shout out to G Malone. I didn't know that as I got his his physical up here too. Oh, yeah. Shout out to G Malone. <laughs> the new album is out. I buy sure. physical. Hell I yeah. buy if if you can't find nobody else to buy physical, I Hell buy yeah. physical. Shout out to Glasses, shout out to Glasses. Malone is my OG. That's like that's one of my partners. You feel me? Like, but that was the first feature I ever bought in my life. Wow. You feel me? And like, he supports the fuck out of everything I do. Yeah. Man. Feel me like I dropped my 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 new single with uh, Cocaine called Let Me Ride. He reposted it like when I see him in the streets. Like we talk like on, yeah. on uh, social media or whatever the fuck. And it's just like I just what what I think about is consistency. Yeah, because I could have just been that dude that just bought that mm -hmm. and just been like, oh yeah, this gonna just take me somewhere and just like, stopped. Because some people do that too. Yeah, oh for sure, that shit happens all the time. But like he's like. I just look at the progression. Mm -hmm. I just look at the progression and like, there's nothing that can stop you if you keep going. Mm -hmm. No. Didn't him say something online? He he said the only, the only, uh, uh, the only separating factor was that I just didn't stop. Just you don't stop. That is when people. It be can't be that me, easy. Like, but Tris, what do you say? People who say it can't be that easy just to not stop. What you mean? Don't stop. It, uh, Cause consistency does play into that. Let's not. Let's not. This is not just. It's not not stopping doing the wrong shit, right? It's not just yeah. that. Like you actually have to find some kind of footing and consistency. But explain it's to them being, what does that mean when it's you when being you say able that. to withstand the hardship. Mm. When somebody tells you no, when the door gets slammed in your face, nigga. Mm. When you drop a song and only one person listen to it, mm. can you withstand that? Can you withstand that? Somebody you feel what I'm saying? Eesh. That 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 is keep going. Yeah, yeah. That's what that is. Yeah. When somebody be like, when you drop a pro nigga, the first big tape I ever dropped, nigga, in 2006, nigga. At Etiwanda High School Niggas will tell you Nigga All the niggas that seen me Drop my shit at Etiwanda yeah. Nigga they seen my shit At the end of the, at the, end of the day mm -hmm. They seen my shit on the floor 
Straight up and down, nigga. <sighs> nigga stepping on my shit, nigga. Being able to withstand that. Yeah. Being able to withstand some, somebody to tell you your shit is trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's being able to withstand and continue that shit. What the fuck? That's what that is. That's what that is. And and what, and, 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 and can I can I contrast that with where yeah. we at? Yeah. Your first sold out show. Is yeah. that your first sold out show in, in LA? In LA, yeah. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> this is I, I, look, 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 Triz. Mm-hmm. It's me. Nah, I'm the same sure. one that you were stepping on top of the yeah. city. It's me. I'm yeah. him. I stayed here. I yeah. I didn't go nowhere. Yeah. Talk Straight about up. the sold out show, bro, because I don't think people realize mm-hmm. when you sell out a show mm-hmm. in and this is no shot to like 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 smaller market city cities because I have made a living yeah. being able to sell my, sell my beats or sell my products. Mm-hmm. Like they are the foundation of this yeah. a lot of times. Bakersfield, shout mm-hmm. out to my homie Tone. Uh, mm-hmm. But with that said, like, can you speak on the importance of being able to sell out in Los Angeles mm-hmm. as opposed to anywhere else? Yeah, like first of all, Los Angeles. New York and Atlanta are the hardest markets to appeal. Sure. You know what I mean? Because the entertainment is so uh, mass. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's very, like, you get this every day. Mm -hmm. Like, me and you've been there. Like, oh, such and such is performing in L.A. I'll catch that nigga next week. You know what (laughs) I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's regular. It's regular. It's like, I'm going to see you again. You know what I mean? But uh, as an independent artist, I come from them small towns when when it comes to, like, performing. I'm from the big city. I'm Mm -hmm. from L.A. I'm from the I.E. Mm -hmm. Feel what I'm saying? I'm from Southern California. But, like, uh, as, like, watching as a consumer. Yeah. Like, if it's digested enough, Mm -hmm. um, I've had it enough. So it's like. When mm, that's a oh when, I just when, that just, when, that just dropped that just dropped no, I, gotta, no, I had to yeah, think yeah, about yeah. that one go ahead yeah yeah so like if if Triz is coming to L A but I know Triz is performing and if I know Triz is coming in October but I know he's coming in November there's no rush mm. you know what I'm saying there's no I can see him so, anytime right exactly. right so like with L A I had to play this game like okay yeah. that's what y'all think exclusivity that's, okay that you can see me whenever you feel like it yeah. Like, L.A. has to be, like, L.A. is one of those towns, they have to be, like, surprised. They got to be and almost thirsty for you. That, yeah. and it also has to be something like, oh, uh, like, oh, shit. Uh, like, if I don't catch this nigga now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't coming back. He ain't coming back. Uh, so how are so, you How are you able to create that? I'm probably getting into that, but how are you able to create that illusion. For I folks. stopped doing shows out stop there. Stop doing shows. Yeah, Easy as that. Just yeah. stop doing shows. Yeah, straight up. So, so wait a minute. Uh, so when you stop doing shows, how do you not fall into the category of people who get forgotten about? I keep dropping music. Mm. If you ain't Come on, on my, you, I love <laughs> trends, bro. I'm, 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 look, I just, I, right now, I just feel like a good point guard. I'm just, I'm just doing like that. He, yeah. he just, he just, he, he 360 and all yeah. that from the, But yeah, yeah so you, st- and, so you didn't stop your digital footprint in the process, nah, and it's, nah. and, and it just made them. Uh, sh- you know what's crazy? I had I had a conversation with um Day Free, who's uh you know I've known him for some a long long time. I haven't talked to him in a quite some time, but he's yeah. Kendrick's manager. And I remember at the Broccoli Fest, he yeah. says something to me about I'm I'm congratulating him about all it. Like they got the city on fire. Like they yeah. they run TD yeah, at this point is like it ain't nobody LA. else. And I said, man, congratulations. He was like, they're not thirsty enough. I said, what? Yeah. Period. He said they're not thirsty enough, Period. Curtis. Period. And that changed my perspective on it to where I was like, you being accessible has its benefits, mm-hmm. but it also has its cons. And if you don't find a balance, how do you become special to somebody? Yeah. If 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 I'm working double shifts to pay for a car yeah. and somebody just gives it to me, yeah. how well will I treat that car in three months? Exactly. But if I know that I have been work, I've been working at Amazon for seventeen hour shifts, right, going beyond what I should mm-hmm. to get this car, and I didn't deck that shit out, I didn't pay for those rims, I didn't pay for that sound, mm-hmm. nigga, I'm finna get this shit clean every motherfucking day I yeah, can. Yeah. So it's Straight different. It's different. So I I think it's the same thing with the things that you work for. Uh, so you basically starve the shows. Yeah, and it's like being from the IE. I use that to my advantage, like. Yeah. Everybody know like, like the IE and LA shit. That's a whole. That's a whole they they may not even know. So so just to give you a little bit of a of context, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that are East Coast, uh, we like I'm sure I, I'm 
same. We got kind of a similar story in that you originally from LA. LA. I'm originally from Carson, California, mm-hmm. and I moved out to the Inland Empire. Right, we call it IE for short. Moved to the Inland Empire uh, in 2009 or 10, mm-hmm. and I got introduced to this whole space. What I didn't realize was this weird conflict that occurred that went mm-hmm. way further back than the, the years that I got there. It even went back to like. Uh, the, the Project Blow days yeah. and all of these different things that have happened even in that scene. <coughs> but bless you. Thank but you. there was this always this weird tension between the Inland Empire, which mm-hmm. consists of cities like San Bernardino, Fontana, uh, uh, consists of Rancho <coughs> and uh, Rialto, all of yeah. that. And so the folks who came out of this space, there's always a weird like it's almost like, you know what I was compared to? We talked about this earlier. To me, the IE felt like the way that the South was getting treated. Exactly. When it was East Coast, West Coast. That's yeah. Sure. And then the L.A. represented like sure. the, the West Coast. Mm-hmm. And it was almost like we were like the country bumpkins, the country yeah. cousins. Yeah. And they didn't want to give us that respect. Yeah. No matter what we did. Oh, yeah, we don't get Bro, respect. Bro, even when I'm getting placements with with, 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 uh, with Ab So, they looking yeah. at me like, but you still IE. You're IE now. Still the IE, though. And it's like, wow. Yeah. That's but a you thing. know what, though? I started to embrace it. I like that. Uh, I like it. I like it now. It's yeah. like, yeah, I, like, I get a lot of flat. Like, I look at it like this, bro. People be telling me that, like, I'm not from the IE and I'm from Compton. Mm-hmm. I'm from Norwalk or whatever. Like, yeah. you're not from the IE, you from L.A. And I got people telling me, like, you're not from L.A., you're from the IE. Mm-hmm. Like, that struggle alone yeah. is so hard to bear. Yeah. As somebody who's trying to, like, make it in California. Like, niggas don't know the shit I had to go through, yeah. like, being from here. You ain't you, you know didn't ha- you didn't go the easy route, bro. No, you went the no, long no, route, no. which which is why yeah. when you get the things you get, yeah, it hits the I'm way saying. it hits. So I tell motherfuckers, like, niggas don't know, nigga, I got the inland tatted on me, nigga. Uh, I N L A N D. Yeah, Niggas know, yeah. nigga, I'm from the I-E and I'm from L.A. Bro, oh, can I ask you? I don't yeah. want to get no kind of. I'm not looking for no clickbait, but no. somebody just said something that got my brain like connecting dots. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Sid. Sid said, I, I literally heard Los Angeles talk down, i.e., hip hop at first. That's the way it's gone. Yeah. But check this out yeah. <laughs> it's hip hop report card. Oh, yeah. I don't know how much you want to give conversation to that. I will. I don't give a fuck. But. This to me goes back to this whole. If you guys ever want to understand the conflict, just see the way that that engagement went down. That's a microcosm of how a lot of the shit's been going on. But if you look at the IE report card, um, the individual that put that together gave some wild, wild takes mm. about some names. Didn't include Noah. Didn't include myself. Didn't include anybody else that 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 did did think like did things that you're like. Yeah. If you're going to make a list like that, wouldn't you want to put folks, but you yeah. can't invalidate that because of the folks that you know that we're connected with. But then when I see your name on there, I'm like, Tris fits, fits that category as well. But basically, if you don't know, this is, it's, at first it starts off as this L.A. report card. This L.A. report card is basically an individual who yeah. judges all these rappers on different categories and skill sets and their ability to make hits and all of the different things. Yeah. And they came around and started doing all of this judgment of artists. Then they did an IE version. Yeah. And I looked at that list from a mile away and I said, this shit is just for the clicks. Yeah. This has nothing to do with actual journalism. This shit is to piss folks off for engagement. That's and they I, got I mean, it. And they got it. So when I saw your name on there yeah. and I seen some of the fucking categories, I'm yeah. like, do you even yeah. listen to Trez? Nah, straight up. We're not hearing the same shit. No way, no way in my hell. Most, my most, uh, the most like thing that I was like concerned, not even concerned. I was just like, I know under consistency, mm-hmm. you better have a ten. You better put me at ten. And he had a ten. Yeah. <laughs> hold on, yeah. hold on. Let me get that. I gotta get you that. I gotta get you that. <laughs> One more time. Yeah, One more time. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Cause I Damn. before the report card came out, mm-hmm. I I had tweeted. I said, I know the IE report card is coming soon. Yeah. And I said. <laughs> Under consistency, I better have a 10. I better have a 10. You can say whatever else you want about my music. You better, you, that, but when it comes shit. down to the facts, yeah. keep the facts the facts. Yeah, so on that report card, I had the second highest grade on there, Price mm-hmm. being the first. Shout out to Price. Shout That's out to Price. Dog. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, uh, my opinion on that is like, you know what I mean? You pay attention to what you want to pay attention to. Like, that's at the end of the day, that's all opinion. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, like, 
it was a lot of things that I wasn't happy about, like Stevie Crooks getting a D minus and all of that type Wild. of shit. Wild. And my, my, work. my thing is the, the categories that you're judging him off of, yeah. I know you don't listen to the music because if you're going to say lyricism, you're going to put that at a low level. Yeah. You're talking about, that's like saying LeBron's strength at, at yeah. uh, 2K is at a 30. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever watched LeBron push people out? Even at his his thirty nine years old, he pushing Come folks on. out the way. Yeah, like, right. Like, what do we? What? When but, I seen that, I was like, no. Uh, and a lot of people agree with me, and I, I agree with other people because they said the same thing. But they were just like, you know, you should have tapped in with people who were from the IE. Mm. You should have been like, yo, yo, Noah James, what's happening? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You should have tapped in. It's like you speaking on some shit that you don't really know about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and the person who's behind it. I don't want to speak on him. Sure. You feel me? We can keep it that but, way. But but the person that's behind it, like, he fucks with my music heavy. He's like, he really fucks with me. But uh, I'm really serious when it comes to the Inland Empire. I, mm -hmm. I, I'm serious about it because, like, it's where I got my start. My mm -hmm. first stage ever yeah. was the Common Ground. Yeah. So, like, I'm serious about it. You know what I mean? And I know a lot of talent comes up out of here. You know what I'm saying? So when I seen the report card... I didn't really take offense because at the end of the day, it's all opinion. It's all opinion. And yeah. that's light. They're like, yo, yeah. that they're showing. They're like, we matter, and yeah. that's one of the biggest obstacles. But see, that's IE mature. Now. That's maturity to be able to take it that way. But you yeah. said that's one of the biggest things that IE. What now? That's the one of the biggest things that I, uh, IE had ever like we ever had to overcome. It's yeah. just like being acknowledged. Just, be, just the South is here. Yeah. The IE is here. The South got something, the to, South say. Got something to say, but bro, yeah. but when you look at when you look at now all the artists that it seems like are like when I think of, uh 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 what's what's my guy name um he just did a song with Snoop recently oh doggy style doggy style when I when Snoop I dog. you know what I'm saying when I see doggy style and I'm seeing he, the way the way he's finding his places when I'm seeing the, the things that you're doing and I'm seeing even like when Radio Bass when he was going off with mm -hmm. uh, Bless the Bottle mm -hmm. I'm like y'all out here in L A don't even know. No. Yeah. This is one of them folks. He from Moval. You don't even yeah, know right know. now. We don't even. You don't even know, bro. I love it. I love we, it. But and and I and, and the reason why, like, I hold IE so close to my heart, bro, is the fact yeah. that I got love that I didn't get at home. Yeah. And I didn't get the love from home until I went to the IE because yeah. it gave a different vantage point. It was like when you're there, you just like anybody else. Yeah. But when it's like, oh, Curtis King, who used to live in Carson, he's done all of this for TD. They didn't matter. When I came from the IE, and they were like. Oh, people actually listen and fuck with what you're yeah. doing. The Common Ground stage was the first time. I remember asking Noah because he booked me. I was like, man, I don't think they like me. He was like, bro, they were listening. I was like, what you mean they were listening? He said, they're listening to the words to make sure you're talking about something with value. I look at the I look at the Common Ground as like the shelter in Detroit. Man. Or like the Apollo. Our, bro, in yeah. My, in my crib? Yeah. I got a picture, like a canvas, of me crowd surfing my last show. <laughs> I remember at that. The, at the, at the vibe, I remember bro. that. Like, that type of shit, fuck a Grammy, homie. Yeah, yeah. Like, nigga, I did that. Yeah, That yeah. right there is something that I can say I earned on my own. And you had to work for it. And I had to fucking work for yeah. it. Yeah. Like, what? Wasn't because of somebody Somebody you had a good, a good relationship with? Like, you bro, couldn't pay your way into that. You couldn't bro. pay for them folks' respect. No, the, that's what I'm saying, like, the vibe was authentically underground. Mm -hmm. Like nigga, it, it, it'll be bad. Or the like, common nigga, ground. More, shout on. out, shout out to KSJ, uh, KJS. He just said the common ground. Yeah, the common ground specifically. Yeah. The common ground. Man, was like the spot. If you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. You can make it anywhere because I know the confidence that I had going up on stage and being like, I can rap. Like I knew I could rap, but like when I'm getting, when you getting other lyricists in the corner and they like, oh, I heard that shit. Or like hey. you, you hear like a Stevie tall ass in the yeah. background. He like he like yeah yeah yeah. Bro. That make you feel something different than than having a bunch of fucking TikTokers at your show doing a doing a oh my god do my favorite thirty Come second on. song. It's different. Let it's different. Something. Let me tell y'all something. 1805 University Ave, Riverside, California. Let's talk about nigga. it. I'll I'm never forget that address. Always remember that address, <laughs> nigga. East never. East University. East University, <laughs> nigga. 1805 East University. What are you it. talking about? I love that it. That was my first start yeah. as a performer. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like Noah knew. Yeah. He knew. He got it. Yeah. We and, and like and, what? Yeah, we seen that early, Trez, and 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 we we couldn't be more proud of you, man. One more time before we get into these reactions, we got to just celebrate you. We give roses around this mother. We give roses Thank around you. here. Thank you. We Thank you. are going to make, like, 
I, it, it dawned on me. I was like, bro, I was talking to Stevie about this. I was like, man, I've been waiting for Andre 3000 to release an album. And I'm like, what am I waiting for? I'm waiting for elite lyricism with, 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 with like um, relatable storytelling. And I'm looking for like a, a very unique delivery. Mm. Nigga, you're looking for your own album. Do yeah. it. <laughs> you hear me? You waiting for you. Nigga, you're looking for your you're own You're waiting album. for you. Nah, for real. Stop being a fan and get out here and make this music. I understand. Really? Like, I didn't find my, my traction with content, but it's like, nigga, you're looking for you. Yeah. Because who else is going to be more who relatable than you? Relatable. Yeah. What are we talking about? Right. So I, I I say that to say there's a lot yeah. of us that are like, we're waiting on man. If we, I, I can't wait till Kendrick drop again. This nigga ain't dropping for another three years. Get on your shit. Get on and when he shit. drops, show that love. But bro, no, you need to. You have a career too that matters. And here, I want to make sure that we celebrate independence and we make sure that you on the front of line. I want to make sure that when you come through here, you walk away from here not feeling drained, but feeling like, bro, I needed that for my soul. As a no, creator, for sure. Because I, I know that. Yeah, yeah, bro. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect because, that. Because, bro, like I really, I, it just mean a lot to me, man. Man, like, I, don't, I, I don't fake this shit. I don't either, bro. And I know you do. That's why I have you on here, Tris. Come on now. This is this is my this is my brother for real. So when, when y'all get to introducing when I put me to people, gas in the car to go do something, Damn. I mean it. <laughs> <laughs> Who you telling? Gas yeah, six fifty. Who you? Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's why I don't. I'll be wanting to hit you up more <laughs> often, but I'm like, bro, I ain't finna do that to somebody I know is is. <laughs> Just as busy, if not more busy than me. Nah, hey, Triz, man, you ready to? Uh, you ready for me to piss you off? I didn't, yeah. I didn't, I didn't take you through the whole right, emotional yeah. wheel today. You, you ready oh, for now, some shit? Yeah, no, nah, I'm ready. Come on, let's do it. All right, let me, let me, let me look, mad, look. Bro. So, so this is what we gonna do. This is what we gonna do for those of you that are, that's here. Hold on, let me. Hold on, I got y'all. I got you. YouTube was killing you with the ads. Let me turn these joints off. Hold on. Oh, man. They got a new update with this shit that I don't know why they think it's okay to just choose the shit for me. I want to. I'm delaying the ads, ladies and gentlemen. I'm delaying the ads. I seen a bunch of y'all fall off after that. I got y'all. <laughs> yeah, I, I got y'all. I got y'all. Y'all was like, "Yo, I love you, Curtis," but get this shit underway. I'm trying to delay this shit. Hold on. Jeez, yeah. Louise. Hold on. Let me get this monetization situation squared away. My bad, y'all. My bad. My bad. Yeah. yeah wow. They put it on their own setting. Conserve. I'm putting. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. You know how they do. They you know, they got on, they, cheese, go, they like, man. this shit getting a whole lot of conversation. I like this. I like this. Yeah, this. they want that chili, man. I got you. I got you. Courtney, I got you. Man, man. All right, with that said, though, we're going to get into some reactions. We're going to re-react to a video that I seen, and I was like, the first person I thought about when I seen this video from uh, from good old arsonist from, from the hit makers. Look, look, let me let me just tell y'all this. this. They don't know this. I told you this off camera. They don't. Y'all don't know this, but I'm going to tell y'all something you don't know. For those of you that who chose to tap in with me today, you get some exclusive, <laughs> exclusive, exclusive. <laughs> so I made a video last week, right? Live stream, doing what we do, reacting, just reacting. I'm not ex ever expecting any of these people to hit me up. Oh boy, oh boy. We made a video about how arsonists from the heat makers, the legendary, I'm gonna keep on saying it. I don't care, I don't care what it said on, on when we finally talk. Uh, <laughs> he's still legendary. You still all got right. some of my favorite Dipset songs of all time. I wanna see this. But he said a bunch of crazy, crazy, crazy things about not just a straight state. Of, what he said about streaming, I'm with him a thousand percent. But somehow, some way, independent artists just caught strays, and I was like, "Hey, yo, nigga, what are we doing? I was with you." No, it's like it's like it's like watching it's like watching a pastor that's like he really talking, and he say some wild like analogy. It's like you know. Like imagine if oh, imagine God. if Moses was a stripper. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You feeling yourself now? This is what I kind of felt like he was doing in this situation. What's up, Nishan? My guy yeah, Nishan. Yeah, so uh we gonna we gonna react to some of this stuff. If y'all cool with that, um this one I'm not probably putting it out. I just wanna get his I wanna get your genuine reaction seeing this shit for the first time because oh, oh man. No, let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well let's let's do what we always do get to the bumper and get back to it. D -D -I -Y. Oh, DIYs. Remember this video? You remember this video right here? Look, arsonist, don't be mad at me, man. Don't be mad at me. I'm not trying to hammer anything this home. Piss me off. It's I gonna piss you off. It is, because you're because you really out here independent. It, it it had me a little bit heated for a second, but then I I, I zoomed out and realized, yeah. hey, this is not a message for me because I'm really independent. Which you always say, I'm yeah, really indie I'm though. Really indie though. So, so when I seen this, I shared this, and arsonist hit me up in a DM. Courtney said, I knew it was this damn video. 
Arson has hit me in a DM. He said, hey, bro, how you going to speak on my name without inviting me to the platform? And I said. I want him to see my response. He probably is. He's going to see your response. He yeah. said, And I said, because I said, because you don't know me from a can of paint, sir. Yeah, this nigga got me fucked up. Like you don't you you don't know me. I don't I don't ever get on this internet thinking that somebody owe me anything. Not like if anything, I I expect you as a legend to be like this nigga's not a factor. But I'm a you know what I'm a hear him out. I'm not gonna say anything. Listen with an open mind, because my out. thing is this: exactly. if 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 it if if it if it stings, then I look at it and I say maybe there's a bit of truth to it exactly, then. Yeah. But I just want to dice it up from somebody who's an independent artist because I think this would be great conversation to carry on. Mm -hmm. But uh, shout out to 305 God said, uh, I'm really independent. You hear me? You hear me? All right. So those, for those who don't know, he is speaking here on the state of streaming and uh, the conflict of interest of Universal Music Group owning a share or a percentage of Spotify. But then in the midst of that, he kind of throws some wild stuff out here about what it means to be independent. I'm sorry, this nigga. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Universal Records makes $51 million a day. I don't know if you knew that, right? I, I believe it though. Universal Universal Records is, I don't want to get the percentage wrong, about, about 30 to 40% owner of Spotify. All right, we, we uh, just for those who didn't know, th this video is coming out tomorrow. I, I fact checked it. No, you good, I fact checked it. I went to chat GBT and I was like, I don't know, I trust y'all. Let me go to Google. Google said that Universal Music Group makes on average, so they might've had a 51 million mm. month, but on average 18 million. Okay. And Spotify is actually, excuse me, Universal Music Group owns 3%, not 30 or 40, 3%, according to Google and the, the findings that they have for the, for the business that reported it. So that's for starters, but that's not the focus. The focus is not even that. That was just something I was like, all right, if you don't fact check, you're not doing your due diligence. For me, you know at least. That. I heard about that through... Um... How is anybody independent? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> where, my, when I listened to it, I said, where did that come from? Time out, but go ahead. Hear him out, hear him out. A day, well, he said a, th did, he say, did, he, did he say a day? Oh, you good, you good. You just prop it up, let me see. Yeah, I got you, I got you. No, we gonna get that quick break, you good? You good? Yeah. If he said a day, that's even, that's even crazy. That's crazy. That's crazier right there. You good? Crazy. If he said a day, I don't think he said it. If he did, he I, I, I'm i going to give him the benefit of the doubt that they just misspoke. He lost his mind. He was in the midst of that. You know, when you're on a podcast, sometimes like... You need start running your fucking mouth. <laughs> look, I ain't said all that. Look, yeah. look, Triz. Yeah. Triz. <laughs> Wait, get, hear him out. Hear him out, Triz. Yeah, let me hear him out. <laughs> he lost his fucking mind, bro. Oh, Triz ain't going to like this. Trey ain't gonna like this. I already, I told you beforehand. Well, I said Trey ain't gonna like it. But hear him out. Hear him out. Hear him All out. Right, come on. Hear him out. How can you call yourself an independent artist? You still giving money to Universal Records when your when your shit gets played on Spotify? That's mm. a fact. That's a big How fact. How is anybody Arson? independent? Oh Jesus Christ! Wait, Trez, Trez, Trez. Let me he, let me just. He gonna be here? Can I call in? <laughs> Trez, when I call in, when I get a radio show, you shit. I'm gonna be on Zoom with him. So, so okay, I didn't share that with y'all. So, on Tuesday, he's coming on because he wants to... First, he said it as if it was a debate. I'm like, I'm already open to a healthy conversation. The last thing I want to do is... is uh, Hold on, let me get this. Let me get you back in the camera. The last thing I want to do is justify my independence to anybody because my independence is my business. And regardless of who believes in it or not, my independence is my business. But if you wanted to have a discussion about how we're able to categorize ourselves as independents, I'm all open for that. And I stand on what I said. Nothing, I didn't say nothing. I wasn't disrespectful. I don't need universal music, nigga. What, is it, what the fuck is you talking about, nigga? I can go out and sell my own music, nigga. Trizonline.com, BaselineCavy.com. Yeah. I don't need no motherfucking universal music to sell nothing. What so are you talking so about? So here, here, here let, me, let me preface this. Let me preface this. Make sure that I'm yeah, fair I'm today to the conversation. Tripping. Don't what trip. Don't trip. Yeah. Not, Triz, you good. You good. Let me make sure yeah. I get this whole conversation in, yeah. in context. What the fuck is he talking about? He's saying that. If we, if a percentage of our money that we're making as independent artists is going to a universal music group who obviously owns all these labels, then we're not independent. I didn't get that at all. I didn't get how that negates an independence. We're going to talk about that Tuesday, but I don't understand how that negates it. When I, th when I, this is what I think about mom and pop businesses. Are those independent or not? They're independent. Are those not independently ran where they create their own menu, right? They have their own hours. They got certain permits and things they must get because they're in the city conducting yeah, business. Yeah. However, 
they also have to pay for the property that they're owning until they own it. That makes them, it, it doesn't matter. They're independent. They're independent, though. Yeah. So just because you pay someone for a service, because my thing is this, then no business should ever use MailChimp if you're independent. Where's your own email client? Everybody has to get paid. This <laughs> nigga's a fucking idiot. Uh, you know what? I, uh, I didn't mean. Uh, look, uh, <laughs> you can trend. Don't get me. Don't get me in some shit on Tuesday, <laughs> where the whole conversation becomes nah, becomes that. Nah, but I feel nah, I feel nah, where you nah, coming nah, from. But nah, I understand the nah, path. Nah, Tris said that. Yeah, Tris said that. I don't want y'all to feel like you feel me. Like, and but at the I'm same time, Tris, that. I don't. I don't. I said that. I don't ever want you to not have you. You be you. You do you. But I'm just want to preface it because I want to make sure that he he understands he's walking into a fair conversation. He and lost. that I'm not gonna come in here and I'm he gonna lost like his fucking mind. But I understand the anger too, cause it's like, bro, you you fuck is you talking about, nigga? Yeah. What, nigga? Yeah. Like, nigga, I really do this. Like, nigga, you not finna discredit what the fuck I do, nigga. I'm independent. Don't nobody help me with shit. Yeah. Don't, you don't help me with nothing. That that's what being independent is. Yeah. That's what pisses me off about it. Like, independent is a lie. Like, you got me fucked up, nigga. Then come pay these bills, nigga. <laughs> Then come pay this thing, nigga. Can I finish it off? Let me finish it off real quick. Let me finish it off. We, we probably gonna have to. Be, I don't know no, if I can finish with the Shreds. Nah, Shreds ain't gonna let it. <laughs> nah, go ahead. Nah, I'm talking ahead. all this independent shit. We in the worst place we have ever been as musicians right now. Yeah. Real. Uh, I'm gonna let him explain it real quick. With the streaming yeah. and of course, and all, no, 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 like, yeah, 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 go for it. Those shits are know. mythical. Those numbers right, are let's mythical, talk about right? It. So, the way we should be getting paid is so I'm, I'm gonna stop it there because I because here, here's here's where here's where the break off in the conversation stops in some, somewhere else. He's making a case for how if you're relying upon streaming, it's not a sustainable model. We're not in disagreement of that. We're not talking about that. But the problem was the 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 fucking random shot to the people who are actually figuring out how to make music more profitable. I didn't get that. I make music profitable, nigga. What the fuck is you talking about? Nigga, yeah. I got shirts. I got uh, vinyl. I got CDs. I got all that. Nigga, what are you talking about? We not nigga? the ones that take the shots at. Not the people who are actually out here yeah, figuring bro. out how to make it profitable. Yeah, bro. So, you don't know the fuck you talking about. <laughs> I, look, look, look. I, look, Chris, 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 don't leave here like I ain't never going to nah, Curtis's nah, again. Nah, Curtis, nah, piss nah. me off. <laughs> Curtis, my dog. Curtis, my brother. I, I, even, uh, I love you, Trip, but I, I, I but too, I need folks to see the perspective uh, he of lost like. His fucking mind, though. I was very tame. It's disrespectful. Too. I was very tame about my response to it because I was like, I'm probably going to end up having a conversation in which I will on Tuesday, and I'm looking forward to that. But at the same time, the passion that you're hearing from from a Triz is somebody who bleeds this shit. Lives this shit, puts their last dollar on this shit. You gonna tell him that it's the worst time ever, and, you, and you're living off of nigga. Universal Music ain't never paid nothing to me, nigga. They ain't never gave me a dime, nigga. You talking about some? Oh yeah, they earn a certain stake in fucking Spotify, or they earn a certain yeah. stake in my streaming, nigga. What the fuck is you talking about, nigga? It's seventeen hundred dollars that's doing my rent, nigga. On the first, nigga, I pay that shit, nigga. Yeah. What the fuck is you talking about, nigga? My vinyl, nigga. My t-shirts, nigga. My my touring. Nigga, my shows, nigga, that's all independent. What all the fuck is you talking about? And I if don't you, have nothing to do with that. And Trez, if you wanted to, got me fucked up. I nigga. know, Trez. And Shut if you up. if you wanted to leave streaming and never go back, who could tell you you couldn't? It's nobody. <laughs> Why? Nigga, cause it's me. And you in, and, and you're what? And I'm independent. Uh, that's that. That was the only. That's the only thing that need to be said. You need to hear these from. You need to hear this from people who are independent. No, that he, that nigga ain't never been in my shoes. That's what that type mm, of shit right there yeah. is disrespectful because you never been in my motherfucking shoes, nigga. Yeah. You've always been. I don't know that nigga. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know where he's been, but you ain't been where I've been, though. Yeah. I know that nigga. I paid for a whole wedding, nigga. Off nigga, music. My, nigga, off music. Nigga, my wedding was over 30 G's, nigga, Bro. and I paid all that shit off of music, nigga. Talk Shout out it. to my fans. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Yeah. Shout out to Curtis King. Shout out to everybody that's putting money into this shit that we doing, nigga. Yeah. Straight up and down, nigga. Yeah. What the fuck is he talking about? I don't even know that, nigga. <laughs> but I'm just saying, nigga, much respect, nigga. God bless, nigga, but you don't know what I'm doing. Come nigga. on Straight now. Up, Come on nigga. now. Nigga, so, you ain't putting $70 in this tank that I'm finna go put in, nigga, when I get to... Nigga, it took me an hour and a half to get right here to Curtis King. Nigga, yeah. what the fuck is you talking about, nigga? That's all rap money. All rap money. What the fuck is you talking about, nigga? The product of this. We talked about it early. It's almost, like you had to it's almost like you had to remind me, Triz. You said, bro, even the product of the house and the stuff that you're doing right now is bro. off of music. Bro. Off of music that's... I pick, hold on. I want, I, want, I, want, I, want, I want to zoom it out. I want to zoom it out. Can, can I just say this? I want to zoom it out. 
Just think about the way that we talk amongst ourselves about the things that we choose to do, especially when it comes to hip hop. As a man, we chose something that everybody around us growing up, if not our parents, just people who were important to us told us it was the least profitable thing. Nobody makes music, money in music. That's how I came into this. To get Period. a dollar out of this to motherfucker a is, a, is a miracle. Are you Damn. kidding me? To get a dollar Straight out of this nigga, shit. In the, in the black community, they look at rap music, they be looking at us like, what the fuck, nigga? You not Jay-Z, nigga. You not motherfucking, you know, as old as our parents is. Uh -huh. You ain't Curtis Blow. You ain't you ain't Tupac. You ain't them. Like, what the fuck? Like, they they look at us like, oh, you if you ain't making no money, you ain't on MTV. Like, nigga, what the fuck you mean you a rapper? Right. Fuck out of here. Nigga. That's that whole generation. I had cut, bro. I had, I had cousins that were asking me, bro. They would ask me. They would say, they would say, my bad, bro. I didn't got you all. Nah, I got, got you all started. Nah, <laughs> That's my bad. Nah, I just wanted to share with you because I like, like, I, I knew that one. I know for somebody who is as passionate as they are about independence as I am, too. I don't ever want y'all to get it twisted. I have a responsibility when I come up here and I speak on these topics. Yeah. If I'm biased, y'all stop watching. Mm -hmm. If I'm biased, that means I haven't done any growing. If I'm biased, that means I have a personal issue with the, with, with the, with the industry. I've let go of my issues with the industry. I'm at a place now where I can talk about these things and not give a shit if I get blackballed. Oh, fuck. fuck are you gonna stop over you can't here? Blackball me first. You of all. can't. <laughs> you quit. What? You, how you yeah. gonna blackball what you don't understand? Nigga, I got a whole, I got a whole aura about me. Like nigga, can't nobody blackball me. Don't ask me no questions about nothing. Come on, cause I'm gonna tell you the truth, and y'all yeah. know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm gonna say whatever the fuck I want to say. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, nigga. My bills still gonna get paid, nigga. <sighs> My wife's still gonna have a dope ass birthday, nigga. My anniversary's still gonna be cracking. Talk nigga, on. straight up and down. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about none of that old, oh, oh, uh, yeah, cancellation and all that shit. Nah, nigga, shut up, nigga. Nah, don't ask me no questions. Hell no. Nah. My, my thing is this. Nigga, my thing is this, Triz. I, I, I appreciate you speaking so candidly on it because yeah. this shit ain't easy. This shit ain't easy yeah. for none of us. And for yeah. us to, like, my thing is this. You can't, if you can't be proud of me, elder. If you can't be proud of me because I chose hip hop as a profession, that's your that's your that's your whole prerogative. But be proud of me as a man that I went a route that a very small percentage of a very large percentage of people don't ever make anything off of this. Not only did I do it, but I became one of the one percentile. How, hold on, Tris. Let me let me let me let me let me swing around. I'm gonna swing this around real quick. I, I wanna I wanna swing your move real quick in a, in a different direction. I promise. I promise. I wanna show you something else that I think is really interesting. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put this here on the screen actually. Hmm. So uh, I didn't. Let me see if I can pull this up off of my off of my uh, my channel real quick. So I saw this stat hmm. right uh, about what it requires for you to be considered financially in the one percentile of your state. Hmm. You know we live in. You know, so basically, if you want to be considered like one percentile financially, mm -hmm. they tell you how much money you need to make in every state. Okay. This shit blew my mind because it's so far off from what people say they need to make in order to be successful, quote unquote. 455. Hold on. I'm about, I'm about to blow I, it up I, for I'm you. Say, I'm about to blow it up for I you. I already it seen it. <laughs> I looked right at California, nigga. 454,000. You you didn't lost your all right. Wait no no but but, but I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some context though. Right, I'm gonna man. give you some context. Let me give you some context right, of why yeah. I'm bringing this up. But is that that's this a show? Lie, though. But but this th this shows you how close things are. In that's in my. <laughs> what well, no, no, here here check it out check it out. And this might have shifted obviously with inflation that's everything going on. Lie. But look at check it out. This these are stats that were done. They did they did their they did their research. Uh, let me actually get this. There we go. I'm gonna pop this here on the screen so we can both see this. So, all right, Triz. This is a fucking joke. No, it's the truth. Look, Triz, look. What do you have to make in your... Look, at this is what you have to make in a year. In a year to be considered top 1% in your state. In California, if you make $450,000, you are 1 percentile. You're 1 percentile. I get it. But like, you're... Th that, but this is what I'm getting at. I've seen that in somebody's distro kid check. Exactly. I've seen that independently more than I've seen it in other places. Because the folks who talk a big game, I don't ever get to see their pay like, stubs. Bro. I get to see the things they buy with the money, but, supposedly. You know, not to snitch on nobody, nigga, but a lot of us get paid under the table. So I don't, I don't know. Like, you, I don't, I don't know. Right I, I didn't hear nothing. I don't even know what under the table. You mean under the table with tax forms. I get lot, what you're saying. Lot, yeah, yeah. No, I feel you. Under the table. But I, I feel what you. I feel where you're coming That's from. That's the direction. I've seen, yeah. seen that shit like, 
What four hundred thousand? Like nigga, yeah. What? Y'all nigga, that's because y'all spend money on weed and fast food and pussy. Yeah, like, that's why. <laughs> like, that literally. Well, though. Yeah, but the point I'm saying is that four hundred and fifty thousand mm-hmm. dollars. That is you at scale. You can do that. That's per year. Right? Per year, you can do that, Triz. Independently, you sure. can do that. That's not hard. That's, <laughs> like, that's when you look at it from that perspective, you start realizing, like, it's not damn, hard. like hell no, nigga. So, I made over so, hundred racks last year. Now think about hundred racks last year. Now think about this: the same person asking you the question, mm-hmm. "Oh, you rap, nigga? I'm part of the one percentile rapping." Yeah, and I don't give a fuck if you never <laughs> heard of me, nigga. What the fuck is you talking about? I don't give a fuck if you never heard of me. I don't care about that shit. I I don't care. Talk to me nice when I I'm one percentile. I ain't never heard of you. Cool. Talk to me nice when Ooh. I'm one percentile. Because now when you talk to me, Ooh. now when you talk to me, when you come to me and you talk to me about my profession and I'm in this one percentile, which is very reachable. That right there is very reachable. What? I didn't had multiple. I've had mo- since I've started doing stuff on the internet as a content creator. I've had every single every single year has been six figures. Every single year. At this point, I look at that and realize that happens with the team. For sure. That happens at scale. That's accessible. If that puts me in the one percentile, that's not one percentile of people who don't rap. Yeah. Nigga, that's everybody. That's everybody. So talk crazy to me then. Talk to me crazy then. Because now you, you got to have a me, different nigga? conversation about what are you nigga. doing right. Yeah, straight up and Wait down. a minute, you selling CDs? What are you talking about, Wait, nigga? who are you signed to? I'm going to make it happen. Me. Nigga. Bro. Huh? My mama told me. My mama, this, let me get some of this liquor real quick. Yeah, right? Straight up. My I'm mama up. told me. My mama told me. Go straight ahead. up. She so, she told me I raised a hustler. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you did. Straight yeah. up and down. Shout out to mom. She already man. know. My mama know. My, I swear to God. My mom. I text my mom. I told her straight up. I was like, damn, like, I got all this shit going on. <laughs> I was like, man. I was like, my mama rent due and shit. I was like, I got all this shit going on. And my mama responded back. I swear to God. She was like. You a hustler, I raised you. Like, I, I raised the hustler. I raised the hustler. I swear to God. I yeah, swear yeah. to God. Shout out to mom. She's like, I raised the hustler. Yeah. I know you're going to get it. You're going to get it. You're going to figure gonna it out. Make it happen. That's, oh, I, I love know. that. I love oh, that. Oh, I know you a hustler. But at, at the end of but yeah. not to knock nobody else, my mom bought my first microphone. Mm-hmm. My mom bought my first computer. My mom always believed in who I am. So I understand if, like, you know, you guys don't have that same. Um, you know, support, support system because that's huge. You know what I mean? That's very big. You know what I mean? But I, I also want you guys to know that, like, if any obstacle in your way, God put that in you because He know you can handle it. That part. He know you that can part, handle it. You, that part. You a soldier, nigga. You a soldier. Yeah, nigga. If if you are in any situation, it don't matter what what situation you in. Mm-hmm. God know you can handle. It. Yeah, you God wouldn't you wouldn't give it out on accident. God don't God don't give out no accident. He don't give you nothing you can't handle. So if you feel like you in a fucked up situation, yeah, just understand. That's what I I look at it like this. I be like, damn, when I'm going through something, I be like. God damn, you think I'm this strong? Yeah, that's that's, a, that's a, I think, love that. I, hold think, on, let me hit yeah. you with that one again. Hold on, one time. Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. So I've leveled up. I've leveled up. Cause seventeen year old me couldn't oh, handle this. Oh, I'd have folded. I couldn't handle this. I'd have folded. So wait a minute, I've gotten. So even when you think about, yeah, remember one of the last tweets that Nipsey said was yeah. about having strong, strong enemies, enemies is a blessing. Yeah, strong, I understand that from a different a context now because I realize the kind of folks that yeah. are the biggest like fighting back at talking about this DIY culture, yeah, yeah, this independent yeah. culture. Yeah. There's people that I'm like, I didn't even know you gave a shit about what I was going on over Come here. Come on. Come on. But now you care. You give a fuck. Uh-oh. Don't Come let on. me I put I put this on a narration on CV project. I said, I think you're concerned cuz I see the light that you feared in me. Exactly. I wasn't supposed to see it. You you don't see it. I see it. So that's why you hate on what the yep. fuck I'm doing. There it is. There it you, is. You get mad because I believe in it. Yeah. You get mad because I think that it can happen. Mm. And so it bothers mm. you. It bothers you. It Like, people get angry at the fact that you believe in yourself, and that shit is Offended. nasty. Offended. How dare you believe in yourself more than you believe in me? I'm, oh. I am somebody who has fame. I am somebody who has influence, and that's the world we're living in. But it's nasty so, word. But it's so beautiful when I look at it. Shout out to all my folks in here, all my DIYers in here. Mm-hmm. I love y'all because y'all show me the confidence and you're not moved by these names. You're not moved by any of these influence. You're looking at it and saying, I respect what you've accomplished, but you got to give me more than that, OG. Facts. 
I need to make sure that we can double. We we have to fact check this yeah. because if sure I'm this if is okay. I can't put I can't take all this hard work. Come all on. these people that's relying on me. Come I on. can't let all these people relying on me. I can't stop because I'm 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 uh, uh, hypnotized by your fame. Come on, you gotta say something more than that. Come on, bro. And I think that's the only thing we've been asking for from anybody. Come like on. for somebody, shout out to Nishan. He said we do this for somebody who's out here doing this. My thing is this. I know that you're not doing this when you have more problems than you have solutions for the problems. Oh, You feel what Facts. I'm saying? Facts. When I'm talking to you and all you can talk about is how doom and gloom shit is, yo, what's your solution? What are you trying to do to get up out of this shit? Imagine that person if you had a car that oh, broke down man. on a freeway. You had a car You had a car that ran out of gas. Imagine that person in the back seat like, man, niggas probably should have got gas 15 minutes ago. You like, might want to step out and that, fuck him up. Up his ass. Fuck that. What are we going to do about What are we it? going to If y'all ain't if y'all going to sit here on the phone, I'm about to go and walk up here 4 miles to go to this gas station. This gas. And that's exactly what we do with this with this this music career as oh, independents. We walk get out the car and go get that gas and and it's not sexy because it's a, it's a lonely road. And let me say this. Go ahead. To have a woman that believes in that mm. is such a blessing. So many women are so they're so uh blinded by the allure of like the money and the riches and yeah. like being taken care of and this that and the third but like i've always taken care of my woman without bread nigga yeah. can't nobody say nothing bad to my woman nigga i Bruh. always <laughs> made sure that like I, she was happy mm -hmm. she got flowers she did this that and the third nigga a lot of that shit don't take nothing nigga a lot of you niggas is buying weed and fast food when you could take care of your woman that's like the soul. That's like, the nigga, foundation, bro. Feel me? That shit is the foundation. My woman always believed in me. My woman, my wife, and nigga, niggas that know Triz. Yeah. Nigga, I've been married for a year and a half, and I've been with my Man, wife for like nine bro. years, bro. That's that's Straight huge, up. bro. Congratulations, no, no, bro. Thank you, Curtis. In this time period, bro. Thank you. Congratulations to both of y'all. Thank you, Curtis. I appreciate it. So I said all that to say, like, my wife always believed in yeah. the. She believed in the grind. She always believed in it. Oh, even, don't even, get, even when it didn't look. The way it look now. Oh, don't get it twisted. We had arguments. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh we had beef. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's how you know oh, it's real. Beef. That's how you know it's real, yeah. But you know what? What's that? She didn't go nowhere. Mm -hmm. She didn't go nowhere. Somebody's going to have to tell it to her ass right, right there. Yeah, yeah. And when it's a show, she's going. Come on, man. You feel me? She makes sure I'm dappered up. Like, no. Nah. Yeah. Man, I didn't see it. I didn't see it firsthand, oh, bro. Shut up. The fact that we're here on a Sunday and my wife, Come man, on. shout out to my wife. She been holding it down Come for on. a few months as I've pivoted on if I've pivoted this channel. She didn't watch this channel get to a point where she was like, "Are we going to have to move?" Come on. She didn't watch me have a marketing situation where I hired somebody and just so much money got ran through. I almost lost it at the worst time oh. and I lost almost everything. She Come seen on. me Bro, when I first started dating her, come on, I had money, yeah. just not that day. Right, 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 right. right it's right, not like right, I wasn't right. out here. I wasn't bumming it. Like I just didn't have it that day. <laughs> Look, I, 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 I got it, baby. Give me two days. Get, hold on, hear, hear me. Days. She'll never, she'll never let this story go. One of the first times we started like hanging out, yeah. uh, I was like following her home yeah. just to make sure she made it home and like because yeah. she lived close to me, yeah. and so. Her her tire. That's why I was following her because her tire had a hole in it. Yeah. We stopped at a gas station. And it dawned on me. I was like, oh, shit. One of these little PayPal fees came out or some shit came out for my last little 20 or whatever. I, I feel you. And I was like, all right, I need to figure this out. I need to get her over to another tire station. Let me tell you the power of my, how, 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 how like ride or die my wife is. Yeah. I said, I couldn't call her babe. I was like, yo, Dom, yeah. you got $2? Come on. I need to get this patch for your for your tire. And they, get, they got it in here, but it's $2. I don't, I don't have I don't have it with me. I don't have it on me right now. She said, Bro. yeah, cool. I said, I'm sorry. She's like, what are you apologizing for? Because as a man. As a man, it's, 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 it's defeating, it, it, bro. It's, it's so defeating. defeating. But when you go through that and recognize, like, Bro. the person that I had to become to get over myself Bro. is the man that I had to become for her. Yeah. Because she reacts different to things that I yeah. say. Like, things that I, I used to be in relationships with folks who had, like, well, like women who had, like, really masculine energy oh, where yeah. I say some crazy shit. They say yeah. some crazier shit. Yeah. With her, I say that, and she, like, I see the emotion yeah. on her, and that shit makes me feel like an asshole. Like, I know when you be seeing shit online. Yeah. That be, like, like hearing that mm -hmm. with the $2 situation in the tire. And yeah, yeah. Girl, like, I know you be seeing shit online where, where, the, where these women are talking about some. 
You oh, got to be a six ain't. figure winner in order to even 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 smell around me. You got to make right. at least eight figures. That's an illusion. It is an illusion. That is a fucking illusion. Yes, it is. Because we all go through shit, and all of y'all have been through the same shit that we were, we're talking about. And we were given grace. Come on. That we and won't give each other. I would never do a woman like that. Like, no. what are you talking about? Like, I'm all... I'm. First of all, I love to grind. Yeah. I love to hustle. Come on now. Like, <laughs> I love to hustle. Don't, that part, that part, that don't part. Don't put me in a situation where I really need to get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, like, bro, I, I, look, look, look. She, she know me. She said you got that look in your eyes. What? All right. Because my thing is this. Oh, I didn't, tricky. Bro, bro, right. when you've... And I love talking to you about this, Trace, because you understand it. When you've been through enough situations where it was like do or die, but literally do or die financially, yeah. what? you get in a mode. Nobody has to fucking motivate you. I don't watch no goddamn. I'm not watching no video to get motivated. I'm finna go get it, nigga. What, I'm what, what is you talking about? One, two, about? three, four, five, six. Let's get to go it. Get it. You gonna have to. You gonna have to. You gonna have to drag me to bed. What? And sometimes she'd have to come in I'm here and be like, she'd be like, baby, you've won the day. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Cause then you gonna wake up at two o'clock the next day and be Trippin'. on it again. I'm back up. It's different. But I tell my wife all the time, like, I mean, I wake up before my wife. Like, should my wife know I don't sleep past seven thirty? Yeah. I don't. I, it's just, <laughs> I just don't. Yeah. It's in me, and I also it's just like, nigga, we only got twenty four hours in a day, nigga. I'm up. And you got nigga. enough. And as an independent, you got more than enough to fill that up. What? <laughs> I need to figure it out. I got to figure this out. First yeah. of all, nigga, we got to go get groceries. Gas mm -hmm. needs to be put in the car because mm -hmm. we need to drive around. We be between L.A. and the I.E. I live in Orange County. Yeah. Rent is due. Fucking the car notes are due. Yeah. Like, what the fuck do I look like sleeping all day? <laughs> got me fucked up. Somebody nigga, I'm up all tell day, tell nigga. You see, why, you see why Trez here on a Sunday? I'm up, nigga. Don't, I'm let up. The Don't let the cuss words fool you. He preaching I'm today. Up. I'm up. Trez, my favorite pass of the day. I need to hear that, Mike. I need to hear this. I need to hear this because it's like yeah, it's so many times that, bro. I you 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 do this and you do not. Not that we looking for for the celebration, but bro, if you're a human being, you yeah. want at some point to feel like, yeah. is this for something? Yeah. And more than just paying yeah. groceries, and more than just paying, you want to feel like, yo, am I appreciated? My my mom tells me my love language is words of affirmation. Mm. It is. Like if my wife just tells me, I gotta like, meet your mom, bro. Like your mom's oh, like she got all kind of wisdom, bro. Gangster, yeah, yeah. My yeah. mom is a G. Like she, I'm going to go see my mom's after this. I'm going straight to my mama's house. Like, okay. When I, whenever I feel fucked up, like my mom be, you know, you know that type of love, like where she tell you shit you don't want to hear. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, she's yeah. That, she, she, <laughs> she's that type of comfort. Yeah, yeah. It's you need like, that. You need that. It's comforting, but it's like, oh, uh, shut up. Especially uh, when you've been feeling yourself. Yeah. When you're like, I can't do no oh, wrong. Oh, you need mama, that. My mama put me down here. <laughs> my mama be like, the, hey, go take that trash out. Oh, on the, on the real. Go take that trash out. I'm gonna, yeah, but like, yeah. I love moms, and like she just she uh she just takes yeah. care of me so much. You know, she don't she don't give like this. Is what I love about mom. I'm 31. She mm -hmm. look at me like I'm five. Like, and, uh, I, and I, I I say that in the sense of like. She gonna she gonna make sure I'm straight. Like yeah, yeah, she, yeah. When I need to call her and I and like, I cried my mama like, mom, yeah. I'm going, mom, I'm, I'm, I'm going at through the it. Wits. I don't know what the fuck to do. Yeah, yeah. She be like, man, get your ass over here. And just shit, make I'll me. I'll take care of you. Make me a fire fire meal and shit. Yeah. Like I I, I didn't gone through it with power of moms, bro. The power of moms. I I, I, I Noah told me about a story about um. Uh, true story about a mother who lived in Arizona, right. and she lived away from her kids who lived in Cali, yeah. but she lived away from them purposely yeah. so that whenever they got into one of them spaces where you're talking about like, mom, I need you, yeah. she went out to Arizona to yeah. fill up her energy. She did like her meditative right. practices, even like her backyard had the chimes, right, like that right. was her place to fill her up, well, yeah. but her she made it her duty to fill herself back up because she knew one of her kids was going to need her. And Facts. then when they needed her, they she'd drive up to drive up to L.A. or whatever they at, and then she right. would she would do the things you're talking about right there. Your mom's yeah. she would be like just just pour into them, yeah. and and she would be drained. Yeah. But that's why she went back to Arizona. Nah, facts. Because when she fact. goes there, I'm back again. She back again. Like that real. level of service, bro. That level of service. I feel like in a lot of ways, we probably take that on from our moms yeah. with our fans, with yeah. our supporters. Nah, for sure. For sure. Talk like, about a line full of people who are at your merch, bro, and every one of them want to have a conversation that means something. My mom don't play with that. Like she's very serious about. Like my mom's very serious about being appreciative. Like she's, yeah. she always tell me like, 
I, I see what you're doing and everything. Are you treating him right? Are you mm. are you like are you being like because she knows I'm an asshole. Like, right. She knows that I'm, I'm cocky. <laughs> I tell him straight up. Yeah. Like, I remember my mom, me and my mom got into this big fight. Like, okay. Verbal, right? <laughs> right, 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 right. You think you God's gift to women. And I'm like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now she was telling moms, yeah, 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 yeah actually, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, you know. Nah, but my mom, she always told me, like, I know how you are. Mm. Check that shit at the door with them. Damn. Like, you feel me? Like, Damn. You, and only moms can say that to you in a way that hits. Come on, man. Yeah. Like she like nah she, I, I I have to check it. That's why I appreciate my mm-hmm. my I don't even like to call them fans cuz it sounds bad. I, I like supporters. The, supporters. Yeah. yeah. Like they are they really are like man anytime somebody buy a $20 t-shirt, man. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, man. Man. That that shit could that shit could make the difference between me getting a burger that day like bro like shit, like, shit, like and, and, and I think the thing that people don't understand about like just the 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 this is not just this is not just about independent hip hop this is just about also just the creator economy the Whatever online economy do. right like it there's yeah. there's ebbs and flows in this shit like there's days where it's like you get that 10 10k for for some kind of a sync opportunity or you get that something like a, like a 20k for for a placement situation that's like on some uh sync facts, opportunity whatever facts. you get something that's like I, i'm gonna make this shit last facts. but then also you looking and saying this shit right here can buy some merch hey, yeah, yeah. this shit right here can be like you know upgrading some things for the whip or whatever yeah, like no, you sure. that money has to serve a lot of things as you're building your business and i think a lot of people don't realize like Having someone having a lot of money doesn't necessarily mean that they're an expert on what, what it is that do. they do. Yeah. Some people just know how to get to sure. a bag by any means beyond how they feel emotionally or how they feel like moral code. Like they don't have no moral code when it comes to money. That's just how they do it. They look at it as inanimate and they go get to it. Those folks don't understand us in the language we speak, mm-hmm. but they pay us. Because we're the only ones that can create the art that we do. No, that's a fact. That resonates with people. That's a fact. But you get folks, I meet so many folks that got money, and it's like, I don't think they understand. I don't want your money. Not, not on them the terms. Money. It's not about I, the I don't, money. I don't want your money. Not on them terms. Like, Never if anything, about the money. I, I, if anything, I am not afraid to go out here and go get it. And at the same time, I'm not afraid to accept when it's the yeah. right situation, right? But, it, but at the same time, it's like, I'm not here. When I meet somebody, I'm not thinking about what, what I can get up off of them. Yeah, I'm saying sure. I need to get my shit so straight. None of you niggas can co-sign me. Yeah, for sure. I co-sign me. I just want people to feel me, man. I just want people to. That's feel it. it. That's like, it. Like you said, like man, I, I, I don't. I just want it to be a like. It's not about the money. It's, it's not. never about that. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just feel it. Yeah. Feel what the fuck I'm talking about, man. Yeah. Let me get my paper. Cause the money's but gonna follow. Let me get my paper. But at the end of the day. I'm doing this because I want you to feel it. Yeah. Because money has never got me into any door. Money has never got Trism, me into no door. How many decisions did you make purely for money that you regret? Oh, several. <laughs> <laughs> several. When people say, man, it's all about a bag, bro, do you know how many headaches that can create? What? I've gotten to fat arguments because I took less. For my, my lesser than my um your usual fee my, yeah my yeah. usual fee my bottom line uh, my wife is my wife is very big on that yeah like, like uh, I recently did uh, a show <laughs> and like I don't want to disclose what I took but I took I took less than I should have and me and her had a big fight and they they don't see that they don't see that no the, all they see is when the shit hits the social media yeah but when i get home yeah yes these my, are real problems yeah those are real problems like my wife you got, talking to me about a fucking t-shirt you don't get out of my dm right now <laughs> bro, I'll, I'll address i'm gonna do my good customer service but if you don't get out of my bro, dm with this bro i just shit. really feel like but my, ever since your feature with so-and-so you've been getting big-headed nigga i got real problems got right real now problem. like my wife, like, okay, I could be, like, my my price would be like, oh, yeah, let me get, like, three Gs for this. Mm-hmm. But then I, the nigga be like, yeah, shit, I'll give you two. And then, <laughs> nigga, I'm arguing with my wife about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you feel they don't I'm see saying? that. Like, my, like, she ain't trying to hear that shit. Mm-hmm. And you don't have to argue with her about it. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, I'm putting you before the argument. Because when I get home, yeah. oh, yeah, she ain't trying to hear that. Yeah, that part, that part, like, that yeah, part. Nah. 
All right, I'm, I'm gonna swing the move one more time. We're gonna end this because I know I'm already running past your your, right. your podcast threshold. Right. Look, 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 look. Right. But I want to do one more story because yeah. I love the fact that um, somebody covered how much of a G independently and how much of a G uh, just Prince was in general. Like, there's so many stories about Prince, yeah. and uh, I found this clip and I wanted to wait until you was here because, mm-hmm. to me, in a lot of ways. The shit that I'm watching you say no to, mm-hmm. if it reminds me when I watch a clip like this, I think like it's so crazy because y'all, of course, make completely different music. But I'm like, dog, this is Triz. <laughs> yeah. I've heard I've heard you ex- express stories, so <laughs> yeah. we're gonna react to this last one, and then we're gonna have some closing words and get up out of here. Sure. I'm not gonna piss my boy off nah, no more. Good, man. <laughs> nah, he was good, like, man. man. All right, so let's get into this last one. DIYers, thank y'all so. DIYers. Okay, DIY. So on Instagram, I saw this post that was from Willie J1234. I wasn't familiar with him before, but this post got my attention because it was covering Prince. Now, maybe some of you know, maybe maybe not. I grew up a huge Prince fan because of my pops exposing me to Prince's music. And um, so much so that I followed his journey as an independent artist and really to me as an original DIY. Did you know Prince? At 17, played 20 plus instruments. Yeah, my dad put me on that shit. Bro. He played so many instruments. That's why I picked him over Michael Jackson. I mean, he was, I mean, he, he didn't have he didn't have the luxury of a of a Quincy Jones. Yeah. He had him. So with him doing that, with him building up all the artists, independent exactly, independent down that uh, hold of the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, don't come haunt me because of that one. <laughs> uh but it's true. Uh yeah. Prince, man, Prince is the original DIYer, and so that's why. When you look at my performance stage that I'm building downstairs, you see a picture of Nip and you see a picture of Prince. I've never seen those two in the same the same place, but I was like, that is so perfect for this space because of what they represent as to me, DIYers. D-I-Y. With that said, this man covers how much of a G that Prince was in the traditional music industry. And I can't help but smile when I see this shit, bro. Because I'm like, Prince was like, all right, I'll play y'all game, but fuck y'all. <laughs> Check it out. Such a badass. And how he made his first record perfectly encapsulates it. 18 years old, he knew exactly what he wanted to do. Listen to this. First off, the label wanted Maurice White, the lead singer of Earth, Wind, and Fire, to produce the record. But Prince says no. The label- <laughs> no. Lead singer of Earth, Wind, and Fire. That nigga said no. Nah. Prince said, mm-hmm. I'm cool. <laughs> Six I'm cool. Mm, no. I'll let you know. No. I'm straight. As an 18 year old, bro. Bro, come on. That's like, who would be the equivalent? Like, that'd be like, I'd be like, uh, 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 somebody 18 saying no to Drake. On the real? No, I'm good. At 18. Crazy. Uh-huh. People suggest they work in Los Angeles because that's where everybody's making records. But Prince again says no. He right. wants. <laughs> the label told him. The label told him. Hey, get y'all ass out here Nigga, and record in LA, LA, bro. We in LA. That's a city. No, I'm cool. I'm in Minnesota. I'm cool. Do you want the music or not? Yeah, do you want this or not? You know it's, you know it's fire. You know what I can do. Come on. I'm not going to LA. Bro. Independence. Independence. To work at the record plant in the Bay Area, and that's what they do. So then once they get to the studio, the label's like, hey, we're gonna bring another studio musicians because that's what everyone does. And Prince says no. He sings every vocal, <laughs> plays every note on every instrument yeah. on his entire album. People in the studio Fuck are making y'all. suggestions about what he should play. And Prince is like, no. And <laughs> No, nigga. No. Prince is like He an OG. He a G. That nigga's a G. Prince is like, what is y'all My finna do for me? He told me about that. What did he tell you about him? But he always told me, he said Prince plays his own sh- Okay, yeah. there's this song by Prince called mm-hmm. Let's Work. Doom 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 doom. Yeah. My dad always told me mm-hmm. he was like Prince plays his own instruments. Mm. He always told me that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Always told me that. And my dad always served me about people sampling and all that shit. But go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Prin- Prince, always- Prince, bro. And, it, and it's not like Prince was just playing the instruments. Prince no. was like in the 80s. He picked up the drum machine. Yeah. He's like, I learned that too. Mm-hmm. So what do I need you to come in the studio for? What do I need you for? I'll call you when I need you. Independent. Do you own your masters? Come on. Get out of my studio. <laughs> Basically ignores it. They go to Los Angeles to mix it. And the label says, hey, don't play anything else. Just leave the songs as they are and mix it. But again, Prince says no. And overdubs a ton of layered guitars. Giving it- <laughs> no. Hey, can you imagine? No. Look at Shaka Khan. 
Okay. Shaka Khan said, okay. okay. Oh, y'all yeah, can't see that, but Shaka Khan left a comment in this yeah. video. She's like, okay. Yeah. Prince Shaka said, Khan. they told Prince, they said, hey, bro, yeah. you sign us, bro. Yeah, you on hey, our label. Cut all that recording shit out. You're done here, Prince. No. 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 And they said, mm hmm. Sue me. No. Sue me. I'm in the lab. He not only comes oh. back, but he adds layers of guitars. I'm in the lab. <laughs> I'm in a factory. What are you talking about? I'm in a lab. I'm Prince. I'm Prince. You're who again? What? A&R for who? What? Get your ass out of my face. Fuck out of here. Got these ashless chaps oh, for nothing. Which you don't talk what to me crazy. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> that <laughs> signature Prince sound that we all know and love. Finally, the label's like, hey, this album's done. We need some cover art. We hired this photographer for you. And again, Prince says no. He <laughs> that's, that's Triz. That's Triz. I don't care what nobody. That's Triz right there. I can see you being in a situation that's like, no. y'all ain't finna have me out here looking like no looking dummy. Like no damn fool. No, Cause you know what? You know what I always hate, Triz. Right. You know what the part I really hate what? about? What? Even if I feel empathy for the for the mainstream artists, even though I know they signed them deals and they knew what was coming with it, I feel empathy that when their shit goes left, they get all the blame. Not the nigga that's sitting here in charge of their imaging. Not the person that booked the, the photo shoot with a certain. Blame for that, bro. They're that, and, and pretty much that is a part of the artistic vision and the rollout. That's it's who it. you pick for a photographer. Mm -hmm. What kind of style you have for it? What do you interpret this album title to be? And then you get them in there doing some corny shit, and then now they gotta deal with the consequences, and that mm -hmm. follows them everywhere. Like Think about that. somebody like a Chance the Rapper, yeah. how he's how he's branded, which may not be all the way his fault. It's a team effort. Yeah. You can't scale something like that by yourself, but he gets yeah. all the blame, and I think that's the part that's like it's and, so unfair. And, 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 and I, I, I always looked up to like his, not looked up to, yeah, but I've always admired his, uh, his independent. Mm -hmm. And like when I found out, like everything that was going on behind the scenes with him, yeah, and like they totally wrote him off. Yeah, are you off the camera? You good? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> you good? They, 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 they totally wrote him off. They yeah. totally wrote Chance the Rapper off. Like with that last album where he's like holding the disc or whoever's holding yeah, the yeah, disc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they try, they kind of like wrote him off. I'm just like, damn. He comes from the independent mind. And it's like, y'all, like, he was on a major. He had to be. Because he, no, no, way he, he was. was. They, they, they wrote he, him off. But you know, you know, I I have this theory now, especially after hearing Men Staples talk about him. Yeah. I think they went in. I think they made an example out of him. For sure. Because Be he came in, he didn't even put acid rap on streaming. So he had to get somebody to get his album taken down off of streaming because they were making a, the money off of his his project. I don't know if you knew that. Somebody just independently put up his project that he did not want to be on streaming. He refused to go to streaming for a long time. They got him in this situation, bro. Had him in Twix commercials. They had him getting like, I mean, his hats was already generating millions of dollars. They put him in the forefront of all these commercials. Whenever I see artists in commercials, I'm not thinking independent anymore. I'm thinking you got some kind of a connection to somebody who's not independent. Yeah. You're on my television during the Super Bowl. It's different. But I also don't want people to think that like you can't get there. You can. You can. You can. And, and and I'm not I'm not negating that at all. I'm just saying that that's when I start asking questions. Because yeah. when it starts looking like you're everywhere, that's their business to be because they have the connections with yeah, everybody. And then you just disappear. Then you just disappear. To me, that feels like somebody was like, we need to flip this. Because if somebody more kids was, believe in this somebody shit, somebody was behind that. If more kids start believing they can run these this, this, this he'd even want to touch streaming. If more kids come in like this, we got a problem. Because then how do we get a bigger piece of the pie? Let me ask you this right quick. Go ahead. This is going to get big. Have you seen the Writers Guild going crazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What if we did that? I think it would be, be treated different. Pull people, the mic up a little bit to you. To, yeah. What if we did that? What if we were, have, what, what if we were to go on strike? Hold yeah. on. Let me let me. Yeah, let me yeah go, ahead, go ahead. Because I've heard some. I've heard a couple people bring this to me. And uh, I was thinking to myself, like, it could happen, but what if we went on strike? I have issue with that because I feel like I have I have my own biases about strikes in general. Not that they don't work, but I have an issue with where that puts your leverage at. Hear me out. In terms of what? In terms of when you are working for someone, mm -hmm. you are asking them to change things because you plan on working for them in the future. Ooh. Right? So this is where my mindset goes with striking. Mm. When I hear striking, it's not that it doesn't work. I think it does work because they need people to work for them. My mm. thing is, why do you want to continue to be underneath somebody else's? Uh, why do you want to continue to have less leverage than them? Mm. The type of things that we do that equal the leverage is when we go out 
and we utilize other platforms mm -hmm. that otherwise are not as popular. When mm -hmm. we say, you know what? Instead of asking you to not be a loan shark, instead of asking you to be not who you are, you show me who you are. Yeah. You giving me these shitty ass deals, you show me who you yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. I believe you. Yeah. I don't want you to change. I just don't want you to do it to anybody in this space. Yeah. I would rather you not do it to anybody at all, but that's your business model. Mm -hmm. So my thing is this, I'm not about to be out there picketing when I could be doing something proactive or figuring out who do I need to align with to get us off of this fucking job to begin with. So yeah, that so right. my thing is, I, I hear what you're saying, and I think that it could be a very powerful thing if folks strike. But my thing is this, the point, the, the, the portion that we're asking for, mm -hmm. it's so jacked up and it's so disproportionate. When I saw that, that, uh, that study that said, of all the money that is generated currently in music, mm -hmm. producers, artists, engineers, people who bake, who actually touch the music, they only account for 12% collectively. That's crazy. Imagine building 100% of a house because of your product. Without your product, there is no house. There is no Spotify. You build up the house. Yeah. You did the majority of it, and you get you get to own a bedroom of it. Yeah. Not even a bedroom. You get to own a, yeah. a, a, a half bathroom. Yeah. So when I think about striking, I'm like, fuck them. Yeah. Let them let them figure out that system because you know what's gonna happen. This is what I really feel like is really gonna happen. This is me putting my conspiracy hat on. We strike. They cut us a. They cut us a, the deal that should have been cutting us. Mm -hmm. Then they say, "Fuck y'all. We go on to this AI as another industry because we don't have to pay them anything." Mm -hmm. Now that ramps that up and speeds that up. Yeah. They don't want us because they don't respect the product, the very product they make money mm -hmm. off of. They respect the money it can bring them. But it's also it's like uh, like. Those big entities, those mm -hmm. businesses and stuff like that, like like you said, they don't respect what we do. They just make money off the fact that they know people want to be mm. famous. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot, whole lot of money off of that. It's a whole lot of people that want to be famous mm -hmm. and they want to be rappers. And like, they are giving us these broken <laughs> promises that you'll be dope. Like, I remember, I remember when it was tough getting your music online. We talking about the CD Baby days. I'm talking about CD Baby, uh, MP3.com days, MP2, yeah, MP3.com days, yeah. Lime, like Lime, oh wow, was, yeah, 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 it, yeah. It, yeah. it was like a, a, Lime Wire, yeah. It was, it was, it was like even Lime Wire, yeah. like you know what I mean. Like it was a, it was a thing. A if you challenge. got your shit up online, yeah, and like these white folks was like, damn, we can make money off of like. <sighs> Them wanting to get online, yeah. You know, we charge them this subscription, and they can get right up on these platforms, and they can brag to their friends that they on our platform. That they get, a, they, that they get. Hold on, you can brag that you get a million or two million streams. To me, let's take away the way. If we took away the word streams and replaced it with traffic, we might be angry. Mm. We might start getting pissed off. I started thinking of it, and I was like, "Fuck a stream." I accounted for two million people staying on your platform for at least three minutes. And I got how much for that? Yeah. When you put an ads up every single 30 seconds, maybe 15 yeah. seconds are popping up in the low. Yeah. You trying to tell me that's only accounting for what? Three hundred dollars. I don't know what the exact. So, static. so like so like they I feel like they get offended when. We do not even offended. They be like, "Oh, they starting to catch on." Like mm -hmm. when we do shit like my live from the crib, where you can only get that project <laughs> on Bandcamp for three dollars. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. like oh, nigga, I make three dollars every sale. Mm -hmm. Bitch mm -hmm. ass nigga. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah. Three hundred dollars in a day. So we talking? Fuck you. Yeah. How about that, nigga? Bro, like, you, you saw that? You saw that even post? That, uh, shout oh, out to yeah, even. I yeah, love that yeah, platform. Yeah, yeah. Anybody who doesn't know about even, please go to your research. Yeah, but yeah. even has this post shout where out to Russell too. Yeah. Shout out to Russell, yeah. who's been who's been champion even. Yeah. But they have this post that talks about if you wanted to. Okay, so you would need a fan of yours who's mm -hmm. currently only streaming your music on one platform on Spotify. You would need them to stream your song twenty mm -hmm. times a day for one year. 365 days to make how much, Triz? $25. $25. Triz, think about how stupid we gonna think about how stupid people gonna feel in 20 years. We just fighting over this shit. $25. $25. Like nigga, y'all get mad when niggas is out here robbing and stealing. Talking about and they you, rappers. <laughs> go, hold on. Let me just with the liquor talking. You gonna look at me straight in the face and say, you ain't Nobody buys uh, CDs. Nigga, you chilling, know what? But nigga, if I buy, if you, you know what, you, nobody buys CDs. You know what? But if yeah. I sell one autographed CD for 
30 bucks. Guess how many streams you had to get to get to that? 8,333. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Shout out to Troy Breeze. He came up with this brilliant idea, and I think we should all think about this. What if instead of, what if in, in, in addition to your pricing on your band camp or your merchandise, what if you put the amount of streams that it is? Ooh. I got to give him the prize. Troy Breeze told me that. He was like, bro, you, you inspired an idea. What if we said $30 t-shirt, 8,333 streams, equivalent to 8,033. You got to listen to this that many times, and then you can get the shirt. It's crazy. That's crazy. That's insane. Perspective. Niggas be like, nigga, you got me fucked up, nigga. <laughs> but I'm just saying, just, just to put it in nah, context for them, for them so they can see that and be like, damn, that's how much That's how much it's worth to him. Not, not even worth to him. That's, how, that's the equivalent of how much work I would have to do in order for them to even get that amount of money. For my $30 purchase, that's 8,000 streams? That's crazy. This is how I be, crazy. This is how I I, uh, I spoke about this too. I'd be like, "Yo, back in the day, mm -hmm. if you liked the song, you had to buy the album. You had to buy the album. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, yeah. that's kind of what Bandcamp is 16, doing too. Low key, sixteen they, they, bucks. Sixteen bucks. I don't care what you think of these other songs. You want to get to this song? I ain't gonna put it as a single. You know how much it is. You know how much how much you gotta stream a single to give an artist sixteen dollars. <laughs> That shit is crazy. Sicko ENT, I, I hear you, fam, but oh. I hear you, but we gotta stop we gotta stop thinking this is an either or situation. He's talking about uh USB ports, bro. I know that you Where is this I, chat I, I, at? Where is Well, that? I'm looking at this on my phone, but like uh -oh. bro, I know that you feel very futuristic saying that, but bro, that is not the only solution. When you're really independent out here, you better offer a collection. Yeah. There are niggas that gonna look at you in that USB port and say, the fuck I'm gonna do with this? And there's people who say, I know what to do with a CD. Some people don't want to put your USB. Look at this. Hey, no Look at this. I'm not going to hang up your USB in my house, Straight but I'll up. use it because it's very, it's needed. Yeah. That's not all you need. No, that may be all that you need. Sometimes and I respect it's not, that. Sometimes it's not about the music. Sometimes it's about the memorabilia. The vinyl. It's a vinyl. You like, said most folks who have vinyl don't even, don't even have, a vinyl, have a vinyl player. So what are they buying it for? Art. Art. Sorry, your US. I have I have the USBs right here. Bro, I, I got them, bro. I got a vinyl player. But <laughs> what are we talking about? But my my wife, she bought me the Chronic and she bought me the damn the Kendrick damn album, mm -hmm. and she already knows what I'm gonna do with them. I'm gonna put them up in my crib. It has and exactly. I'm never. I'm I have Spotify. <laughs> what the fuck do I need that shit for? Look, look. And Sickle says shit. I independently sell more USBs than anything. I respect that, but to think that that means it's gonna be a universal for everybody yeah. is delusional, my friend. Yeah. And that's where independence. Here, here's the thing about it. I don't think you recognize it, so I'm gonna say it, and I hope you're not offended. But if you are, that's just what it is. This to me is industry teaching mm. that it's got to be. This is the new wave. It's newness. It's too much newness around it. You're thinking about only one thing mm. and you're thinking that everybody fits that. You can't fit my hat. I can't fit your hat. Yeah. I can't fit your shoes. It's customized yeah. based upon our needs and mm. our fans needs. Your fans are not my fans. Yeah. Matter of fact, somebody just made, uh, told a stat about how cars still predominantly in the U.S. have CD players. Yeah. Just because you're living in a city where people have yeah. USB drives, I mean, that's everybody. Yeah. Your success is not everybody's success. That's industry talk. Yeah, straight up. Take that shit out. Unlearn straight that. Up. Unlearn, Unlearn it. That and, and if anything, sit back and say, damn, I'm glad I found a way to profit. But let me see what Triz is talking about these CDs. I never even thought about that. And then you not can't only put that, that on everybody. Straight up. And then not only that, like people who listen to the CDs. Like we're still alive, nigga. <laughs> like, we're not dead. We here. We ain't dead, nigga. My, my nigga. My dad would appreciate buying mm. a CD. My dad, like, my means dad, something. My dad, like, I got a lot of my sound from my pops. Yeah. Like he always was like, we had a day where we would go CD shopping, or he would go to this this place called uh, oh, fuck, I forgot what it was called. I know Warehouse we Music Tower Where Records. Warehouse Music. Warehouse Music. Oh. I got you. Come on now. Come on. Come on. <laughs> You know, you know, I got that on there. Shout out to Pops, bro. We're out music, <laughs> fool. And we would go to Tower Records. Yeah, and like, yeah. That was a thing we did. Yeah. Like, my dad. That was an experience, bro. My dad is still here, thank God. And, yeah. like, like, that was, like, a thing for me. Like, like, and he, and as a kid, mm -hmm. he used to be like, oh, dad, I want to, I want to go to McDonald's. But now, yeah. Now it's like, <sighs> no, nah, I got that from him. Bro, we can and we can create that experience. You know what I love so much about yeah. platforms like your website and yeah. your and, 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 and even Bandcamp. Yeah. I go to Spotify mm -hmm. and I want to listen to Triz. Yeah. 
The algorithm starts algorithming and starts suggesting other people to listen to that are not Triz in your store. Yeah. Oh, sh- and it, it's always my question, like when I go to the gym and I see like other gyms uh, uh, advertising, they have oh, no control yeah. over that. Yeah, I'm thinking like, damn, they hey, hold on, uh, 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 Planet I'm Fitness, twenty four hour fitness, and y'all <laughs> advertising Planet Fitness. That's Planet crazy. Fitness is only eleven dollars. What am I paying over here? So. That's yeah. what I'm getting at. They do that to your store every day in Spotify. Yeah, yeah. And if you got numbers, yeah. they're going to do it even more. Yeah. The difference with a, with a band camp, when I'm in your band camp, I'm in your store. I'm not distracted by other choices. I'm listening to you. To you. The only other choices I have yeah. are your other albums. Yeah. Your yeah. website's the same yeah. way. I came into the Triz store, Triz yeah. Online. I'm here. Yeah. And I think that's the difference is that we got to be able to create those tower records and warehouse experiences yeah. Right in our own digital yeah. spaces because that's that's the next yeah. best thing we have. Yeah, no, straight up. I, I I I had tweeted. I was like, "Yo, I'm so thankful that I'm in a time in 2023 yeah. where artists like myself and Conway and Currency and Freddie Gibbs is able to go tour and able to go sell merch yeah. and able to have people that appreciate my music and like l- l- really listen to really what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? To, for me to make a living to keep my lights on, I, I genuinely appreciate that shit. Yeah. So like. Like when you open up your merch pack from Triz, nigga, and you see an extra shirt in there, nigga. Bro. Like, nigga, thank you. Thank you, nigga. I love like, it, bro. I, you know what I love seeing? I love seeing your success in it because yeah. it lets me know, like, keep going. Yeah. I don't think you, re- like, we don't ever get to share yeah. that because we always are in the midst of doing our business. But, bro, yeah. I appreciate seeing your success so yeah. much because it gets you. me to a point where I'm like, thank you. I'm like, get on your shit. Yeah, thank you. I went, I went to, I went to, to, uh, when I did the interview with Stevie, which is going to be dropping yeah. on the DIYer network yeah. this week, when I did the interview with Stevie, I listened to his project and I was like, I've been bullshitting. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, I wanted to apologize to him. Yeah, Even though yeah, he need yeah, asked yeah, for that. Yeah. I was like, damn, the content space got me like so spread out thinly. Yeah. I forgot for a second yeah, how much yeah, I yeah, really, yeah. really do this shit. Yeah, 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 and I, and sometimes it takes being around those folks. Yeah. You said that you're, you're as successful as the seven people you're around the most. Yeah. It takes being around y'all that I remind myself like, yeah. Bro, life is short. Life is short. And there's folks out here really making that shit bro. happen. Hey, bro, I think about all the homies and shit and all my friends and shit that I lost, like, in the midst of me yeah. recording. Like, I'm talking about family and shit just in the midst of me recording music. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, like, this shit don't last long. It don't. You think that it does, but it doesn't last long. You got to think... <sighs> Let's just say we were living in the mainstream mindset. Yeah. You, nigga, you got six months. I heard a producer say producers in the industry yeah. have shorter careers than football players. Come on. Said so an average football player, I think, goes about six seasons. Come on. Or three seasons, I think it was. You think about even somebody as big as a mustard. Yeah. And I'm sure mustard can go on a run anytime he yeah. wants to. But when you have, you, like, the Little John run, when you got your run, Three years, the way hip hop moves, that's that's an eternity. And Mainstream. So, you know what'll never die? Hmm. My coat. My coat. The Onyx. Yeah. You know, Fredro Star. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. These niggas have a they, they I remember when I was touring in uh in twenty seventeen uh-huh. in, in, in Europe. Yeah. They had a residency. <laughs> they got a residency out there. That don't surprise nigga, me, but that's crazy. They, yeah. Nigga, they was out there, nigga, they they had 30, 40 shows. How how could they but Triz playing devil's advocate? How could they have that when they make such old school hip hop? Like they don't have any rate. When's the last time I heard them on the radio? Exactly. <laughs> nigga, fuck the fucking radio, <laughs> nigga. You answer your own question with that. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like God plays these tricks on us like Oh, this what you want? Yeah. Oh, you want this for 10 minutes? Yeah. Or would you rather have this for, for a lifetime? For a lifetime. And I feel like I, I was talking like, I was talking to Ruslan the other day. Ruslan yeah. had the homie Ruslan. Shout out to him. He had me going to a, yeah. a Christian hip hop show last night. And I was like, it's so wild how like I would never question God's um decision making ever, right? Ever. Even when times never. where I want to question. Cause oh, I, don't, yeah. I, don't know, I don't know how it's going to happen, but yeah. I would never question yeah. it because I realized yeah. you had me sit in front of this artist mm-hmm. while they were going through a breakdown. Mm-hmm. Why did I see that, God? Mm-hmm. Why did you want me to see that? Why did you want me to see that? Because you wanted me to learn. You wanted me to see how real this is. Yeah. And you wanted me to see it's not all glamour. Yeah. Okay, then why did I go into this situation? Why do I have to see this? Why do I, why do I always got to see the, uh, you remember the Wizard of Oz? Mm-hmm. Why I always got to see behind a curtain? Straight up. 
But he kept showing me, and I was like, you know what? Me. This is for a reason. Yeah. This is for a reason. And so I embrace it now, bro, and I look at it, and I'm like, mm. oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, no. I didn't fail in the dreams that I set out. Because when I started out, I was like, I want to be the next, I'm going to be the West Coast Kanye. That's what yeah, I want to be. Yeah. And I'm like, nigga, Kanye don't want to be Kanye most days. That's why he putting mask on and shit. Like, he, yeah. he going through it right now. I'm not making light of it, but I'm like, the truth of the matter is, he. that's a very complex thing to say. Yeah. So when I look at it and I'm like, I have been blessed mm-hmm. to go through my bullshit, yeah. but still come out of it, survive, mm-hmm. and be relatively unscathed, and then be able to find a new life. In my late thirties with this, bro. One of the hardest. things. Are you kidding me? Like, bro, one we're playing of the, with house money. Come on, one of the hardest things to be or to do is be yourself. Yeah, it's so hard. Yeah, because and like, I'm a victim of it too. Like when you wake up in the morning, what do you do? You grab your phone. Yeah. And what do you do? You scroll your timeline. You look at a whole bunch of people that got more than you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, Man. You know what I mean? You look at a whole bunch of people that could take your women. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I, is that that's what's yeah, going through your head? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and it's programming too. That's it's not, programming. It's, it, some like, of it is us in yeah. our own situation, but yeah. that's programming where they show us shit in a certain yeah. order, and it has you thinking like, yeah. "Damn, I'm broke as hell." Exactly. And Relative. Like, I ain't got no Lambo. <laughs> straight up. But but uh, you know, uh, envy and jealousy is the thief of joy. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, like God has blessed me with so much. Like. Like, bro, I've I've been blessed with so much shit that like me being jealous is a, it should be a fucking sin. It God, is. like nigga, yeah. nigga, that first of all, that's none of your fucking business. Mm. Why the fuck are you worried about what he got going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. So what? Yeah. So what? Oh, you. So only what get, I got for you ain't good enough. Oh yeah. Oh oh oh. This not good enough. This not you? good enough. All right, then give it back. Yeah, so, yeah. so wait a minute. I pulled yeah. you out of this situation. I pulled you out of that. Do you know what could have happened if you would have hung out here for two more minutes? That's not good enough. Oh, oh because he got more. He got more. Oh, hold on. Put it yeah. in perspective. He got more. He got more yeah. Spotify listeners, nigga. That's what you. Now, I'm not saying oh. he's going to talk like that, but I'm like, in the oh, perspective, that's like, what you, that's what you. Okay. I kept you alive. Okay, bet. Give me that. Give, give me, me that. that. Give me I'll that. Take that. I'll give take that. that. Little, give me that little Ruth Chris dinner you took your wife on. <sighs> give me give me all of this. Give me all, give, no, no. Give me all of this. Give me this little TV Turn right here. You all got, these lights Turn in all here. this off. Yeah. Oh, no, you yeah. think you hot shit? Oh, uh, yeah. Nah, yeah, yeah. I, I, had to, I had to sit and I had to check myself. Like, you know what? We all do, bro. I have nothing to do with that. Yeah. <laughs> God was like, and, nigga, this is you, bro. I, this is you. You know what Murs told yeah. me in 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 Texas, because I kept asking him questions like about like yeah. the Kendricks and everybody. Because I know he had like some insight to some of the stuff. Yeah. I was like, bro, like how do I get my, like how do I finally get mine? Like how do I yeah. get mines off? Yeah. He told me in Texas, and he see he swears he don't remember this conversation. Mm-hmm. He said like, oh, I was drunk or whatever. I was like, no, you wasn't. Yeah. He was giving me OG game like Big Brother game. He was yeah. like, not talking about him in particular, but he was like. Stop caring about what these folks is doing. He said, everything Sorry. that looked like is good on one side, you don't know who owe who what. Straight up. He said, you don't know what kind of debt this person's into that you That's that you, that you aspire to be like and you want to, you don't know how many folks is in these people's pockets. Come on. You don't want their life, Curtis. That's why it's none of my motherfucking, none of my business. motherfucking business. It's none of my business. Yeah. It's Man. none of my business. But not everybody has, this, which is why I'm glad, bro, we having this conversation live, yeah. which blows my mind. Shout yeah. out to everybody that's in here yeah, yeah. who was able, uh, able to be a fly on the wall and just and just give. I, I'm, I'm yeah. reading the responses here, and I know yeah. we're supposed to be, let me finish this video off real quick yeah. so we can get into that, but... Yeah. Uh, Prince, man. Prince the OG. He hires his own photographer that he likes, and they make this iconic album cover that you see right here. <laughs> Prince, all-American badass. Prince, yeah, Prince ain't no Prince ain't no damn joke. Yeah. No, what you thought this was? No, Prince... No, no. What what do you kind of grab from that? Like, is there anything that you see that and you're like, is it confirmation? Like, what do you kind of grab from that cliff? What about Prince? Uh, first of all, like I'm very uh, Prince. I pro Prince. Uh, mm-hmm. whenever the argument comes up, Michael Jackson or Prince. Yeah, I always choose Prince. But I'm a really big fan of Michael Jackson. But uh, Prince playing his own instruments has always been something that stood out to me because yeah. I am somebody who is very Mm self-sufficient when it comes to like doing things when it comes to the music you know what i mean like i first recorded myself uh i i I, bro i i first recorded myself on the microsoft when you can only record for like 50 seconds it was like something about that that program that's on hold on is that shit still here on micro hold on (laughs) to my recorder it was a recorder voice recorder you talking about this shit right here yeah i I know y'all can't see it but 50 seconds 
Oh, this is different now, but oh, it's wow. probably different now. But it, you can only record fifty seconds, and if you record it on mic, and I just put the uh, I'll put the speaker up close to the mic. Damn. And then I, I graduated to fucking Acid, <laughs> and then I graduated to Logic, and then I started with Studio One. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? It just, but I always appreciated Prince because of that. Yeah. Like him keeps he keeps saying like you know they was asking him to do this he said no yeah asking him to do this he said no like. <laughs> It's like, and I always wanted to be authentic, and that's that brings me to like the AI situation. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I know AI can do it for us, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but like, there's nothing like a human being. My thing is, and if everybody's so damn scared of it, I'm like, dog, do you realize this is the time that, if you want to even look at like independent artists that came before you, this is the time that if they understood what it could mean for them. Mm-hmm. This could have been the team that they said was the reason why they hit a ceiling. Man, oh, if, you, yeah. if, if if this artist only had a team, man, they'd be big as so and so. We heard yeah. them stories a million times. Yeah. We get to live in a period now where it's like, Trish, you could drop a video tomorrow mm-hmm. where you rapping in front of a liquor store. You mm-hmm. you actually got a video like that. Yeah. And for whatever reason, the algorithm says, We pick you. And that shit goes off. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, that one post that you didn't have to post, mm-hmm. that you didn't have to put no ad money behind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. changes the Everything, next month or next yeah. two months, three months of your career. Yeah. So when it does it like that and you know you have that kind of access, yeah. now add on top of that yeah. AI automating. I just mm-hmm. showed you. I show, I show Tri- I'm, I feel yeah, proud yeah, to say yeah, I'm yeah. the person that showed yeah, Chat yeah, GPT yeah, to Triz yeah, for the yeah, first that, time. That's a fact. That's, that's a, fact. a fact. That is a fact. I showed I Triz Chat GPT and I was like, bro, I'm about to, I'm about to show you because yeah. I, I literally had Chat GPT helping me respond back to uh basically chat gpt has been my negotiator for yeah. some of these brand deals that yeah. have come in my email because yeah. most times i don't even want to have a conversation because nah, i'm like not. bro i'm not trying to advertise to my folks mm-hmm. unless it's something I, I truly believe in yeah. but i had a few products in there where i was like i just didn't get around to it mm-hmm. chat gpt was like feed me the email mm-hmm. and i was like could you word it as if you're curtis king mm-hmm. say less i got enough online yeah yeah no i'm really like you got it one of them hit me back already. Want to talk about when can we meet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. shout out to Chat GPT. It rewrote yeah, no. my bio. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not no writer like nah, that. I'm, like I, not I, like that. You know what I mean? I I, I like that, and I I really fuck with it. I just don't want it to take away jobs. So here's the point I was gonna make. Yeah, is that every error jobs get taken away by technology, no matter yeah. what. That's no going, matter that's what inevitable. Are, yeah. Like I'm, I, I got a McDonald's over where we at, and a McDonald's has all the workers working in the back. Yeah. And, and nobody why, be at the cash you, register. You, oh my god! Nobody at the cash register. Like it's just a kiosk. Bro, I swear to God, that is so frustrating. It's so though. weird, right? Because especially when they start messing your order up, like who you complain to? The, the computer? <laughs> Bro, so, somebody had yeah. broke it down to me, yeah. like not to me, but on the interview. Oh, it was an Ari Spears and Vlad interview. He like, bro, when you make a phone call. They be you talking to a fucking machine mm-hmm, mm-hmm. when you on check when you on with Chase or Bank of America they like press one yeah like, yeah you don't talk to like, nobody God, until you have damn, to talk they, to somebody yeah they yeah. they take you through the runaround before you get there it's like is it really nothing that big an issue? beats yeah. nothing beats a human interaction well let me nothing. say this Tris I think this is such a good thing for us because what's gonna happen is yeah. it's gonna get rid of the congestion I feel because mm-hmm. now. The, of people trying to the congestion do do. of people trying to do what we do. Mm. This is my theory, at least. Yeah. For the for the 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 soy version of Triz right now, mm-hmm. who thinks you're his competition, mm-hmm. who looks up to you kind of, but he don't want to admit that. Mm-hmm. AI can do that. It can make a soy version of Triz. Well, don't need him no more. For the person that's made a career off of making. But then, where does that put me? You're gonna always be more important. You're gonna be always be more important because you are the inspiration for the prompt. Oh. Well, what is Triz doing next? That's important algorithm mm-hmm. information, right? Yeah. What what what? Why did Triz choose to work with this artist? Right. Based upon my calculations and the things that I've seen albums before, making an album with somebody that's from the Juggalos doesn't really make sense in this in this equation of my nah, Chat GPT. Yeah, yeah. But you do that because you're having real human interaction. Yeah. You're good. To me, the first wave is the people uh, that are generic versions. Like the person right now making a killing, making little Uzi Vert type beats, Mm -hmm. but they never found their own sound. Mm -hmm. You're not needed anymore. Oh, facts. Because what you what you've been doing without even knowing it. This is my theory. If you're making a little Uzi Vert type beat, right, and that's Mm -hmm. your career, that's your whole thing. Yeah. You've basically been trying to figure out how to be chat gpt mm-hmm. you research your favorite uzi vert songs the mm-hmm. popular ones you looked at the bpms you looked at all the stats that are out there for you the key you looked at the instruments yeah. and then you made it you made a 
you may you have a result, yeah. an endpoint. Yeah. Chat GPT can do that faster than you. Yeah, fact. It can be generic faster than yeah. you. Mm -hmm. What it can't do at this point, because it's not thinking for itself, it cannot understand why Triz cho chose to go this direction. No, fact. Because you're not making logical decisions. Yeah. Just, these are being creative is illogical by its own its mm -hmm. own force, mm -hmm. like by its own nature. It's being we. Nigga, how do you make sense out of, hey, take that snare out of there and put that snare in there and it hits harder? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah, that's not something you could do with AI. Like At this point, I'm sure they can mimic, but that's the yeah, thing about it. They mimic. can that's mimic. That's all AI is. So you're always stop ahead of the being, curve. Yeah. So the people who are the true creators, bro, stop being worried about this shit. Because the thing about it is, even if AI takes the jobs that you once thought you wanted, I think you're going to have a real conversation about whether or not you wanted that job to begin with. Yeah. Now you're going to think of it like, I didn't want to get signed. Yeah. I wanted to be independent and I don't want it to be such a powerful force that I can pass this on to the next generation. Mm -hmm. Now Triz is going to have not only your own team, but your own AI yeah. to support what you're doing so that Triz yeah. doesn't have to be Triz the video editor. Yeah. Yeah. Triz the content creator poster. Yeah. Triz all the shit that you don't enjoy because oh. I know there's some shit you don't enjoy about this process. Oh well, yeah, for sure. I that mean, shit. Yeah. yeah instead man, of instead yeah. of instead of you sitting here, mm -hmm. instead of you sitting here and editing your your your, your bio when you mm -hmm. could be booking shows, mm -hmm. give it to Chat GPT and let it rewrite that. So I understand people's uh, fear of it. I am not trying to fight that. I understand it, but at the same time, do not be the person that was so afraid of CDs. And held on to your cassette tape, mm -hmm. and then by the time the the people made the real money off of it, yeah. you were too late. Nah, facts. Like that first wave, not like in general. I'm just saying that first wave where people were like, "Yo, we gotta get on the CD." Like that's oh. gonna change everything. Nobody's ever given up their tape deck. Don't be that person when you got these tools. Just find one tool. Yeah. You ain't gotta. You, you ain't gotta believe be in this shit. In, you Hell never wanna be nah, left in bro. the blind. If something is changing, if everything is, a, if things are evolving, I definitely want to be involved in the evolve. Yeah. But I don't ever want it to be where the human touch is irrelevant. I don't think that's gonna be like that though, bro. I it's truly don't believe there. it because it, it, it. I think. I think. Here's my thing. It is. If we're talking about how, if we're talking about predicting human emotion and human habits, you can't duplicate that. You can't. Well, not even just that. If you're talking about how we, because really, what what it sounds like is how are we going to react to AI? Our embracing of it is still important. You know how I know that? Because every time you go to an AI website, these niggas got a subscription service for us to pay. Well, yeah. They can't get AI to pay for the for, for AI. Yeah. They still need that human input, yeah, that human yeah. like they still need users base, right? That's yeah. their value. Yeah. That's how they get their evaluations. Yeah. So, with that said, the power is going to go to me, in my opinion. The power is going to go to the most creative human beings on earth when it comes to AI. Mm -hmm. The people who didn't, people who can always like buy Triz for for like, yeah. I'm gonna buy you for 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 a verse. Yeah, Triz not gonna need you. No, nah, sure. Because now Triz value is when you go to Chat GPT and you tell it to write a verse, mm -hmm. you're not gonna tell it write me a banging ass West Coast verse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But that's what somebody would do if they never had your skill set. You're going to give detail the same way that a graphic designer would give. The yeah. power is in the prompt is what they keep saying. Yeah. So when you look at that and you say, all right, I want to write a verse. What kind of things would you be looking at as like, what does a perfect Triz verse have? Uh, cadence. Uh, cadence. Flow. Flow. Um, uh, is it wordy bounce. or is it spaced out? Uh, it depends on the beat. But, okay. But definitely you have to have the cadence to flow what like about the cadence flow. it's just like i you know how like a lot of the new shit is like it's like they're ahead of the beat like no i'm very like i need i need it to flow i need i need that shit to be like ooh, that motherfucker bumping. like you can't do that, that with a lot of shit what you just said right there oh yeah. that motherfucker bumping. that is the input that joe <laughs> yeah joe with the same technology yeah. cannot unlock yeah because he's like exactly. what is that what does that mean exactly that, like you can't get that that's the, that to me you that's like you can get that from Trish. that's a swing you can feel exactly and that's some people see whole, that and be like i don't know what that means thing. that's my whole thing with the ai shit like um, that you can't duplicate that you can't duplicate that. You so can't duplicate that my thing is this like i'll never be able to duplicate how curtis king is feeling that is mm -hmm. that'll that is that is literally yeah. impossible yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That is impossible. Especially when I don't even know what I'm about to feel next. Bro, 
I be confused about what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> And the I don't thing, know what the I be fuck ma- I'm doing. It'll be certain days, bro, where I sit down and make a beat, and I'm like, this bro. beat wouldn't have made been made this way had I not been bro. sleep deprived, had I not been dehydrated, had I not been irritated, irritated like, like those factors. Fuck? Yeah, all you can do I... is duplicate what you've already had bro. input for. Like if you I can't... input that in there, so this is what I'm saying is this. Bro. This is what I'm saying is bro. this. You zoom out, bro. The last people to be concerned are the people who have creativity. They want you to feel that way because mm. they're trying to make money off of you. Yeah. What they're going to end up doing is this. They're going to hire us. The people who don't yeah. get on it, they're going to hire us yeah. as people who create prompts. You can't duplicate my feelings. Yeah, it's impossible. It's going to happen, bro. They're gonna, they're gonna, I'm telling you, the folks right now who don't embrace it, that are supremely creative and afraid, mm. they are going to be paying you $20,000 for you to create prompts. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> they're going to be like, Oh, you don't you don't fuck with AI? Cool. What if I gave you forty thousand dollars? Because they know they're gonna make two hundred thousand dollars. Because once you give it information, they don't need that other input mm-hmm. to make more of that shit. Yeah. So my thing is this: I- embrace the fact that you are so creative. Mm-hmm. If anything, AI is going to push your levels of creativity mm-hmm. because you know, like, okay, cool, you on my ass, yeah, like you want to cop. You can't do this shit though. Yeah. It's gonna make us be more creative. I feel like. If you're a creative, yeah, for sure, it's gonna, it's definitely gonna push that limit to where it's like, oh, there's a challenge here because it's a fucking computer. Yeah, but at the end of the day, like you can't beat me. Can't nobody be <laughs> that part, nigga. That part. Can't well, nobody be me. Can't, yeah. and you can't duplicate Pac. Come on now. You can't duplicate. Biggie. They trying. You can't they trying. AI Biggie. They and trying. That's what I'm saying. If you take it back to like the people that we admired, mm-hmm. do you see that being duplicated through the AI? You're no. not gonna be able to see that. And I, if I know anything about humans, we're we're so funny. We obsess over something, and then we let it go. Remember when? Remember was the era when niggas all wanted to be a one basketball players? Oh my god. <laughs> What nigga? Remember, remember, remember what people want to be battle rappers at the eight mile? What? You remember what I'm saying? Like, come on, that it. Like, remember You're that. Not gonna AI that. You, my, my, when, beyond come AI, on, I'm saying that AI is the product that people are going to tire of at some point. La- like, like, like last year, mm-hmm. people were super into some other shit, mm-hmm. and it's like, where's that shit now? So now I look at this, and I'm like, bro, this is the new toy. It's the new Shut shiny up. syndrome. Cool. At some point, at some point, we're going like if you don't want to embrace AI, you're gonna you've already done business with AI. Oh, when you sure. get in your car, bro, and that shit say, "Are you going to the gym?" That's all AI. <laughs> it's AI. It's all AI. <laughs> or when I get in my car and my phone say 30, 40 minutes from home. Yeah, yeah. That's the that's, that's AI that's at work. AI. AI at, well, you been when you said, "Hey Siri," that's AI hey, at Siri. work. They think yeah. they, they only think in short term. I believe it, bro, and that's why like I'm never gonna be doom and gloom about anything. I know my thumbnails yeah. and my titles can feel like that, yeah. but I promise you, I do that so that I can get the right people to get the uh-huh. right message in. Cause some folks only operate off of that energy. Come on, bro. So I had to do yeah, what I call a, a vitamin and a brownie. So I'm gonna end it off there, man. Those yeah. are my thoughts. Me and Tris's yeah. thoughts. Let me know what y'all think. D-I-Y. All right, so Triz don't like these long ass podcasts, but he did that for me because that's that's, <laughs> for sure. that's that's my brother, and I appreciate him. <laughs> Look, only I can get the exclusive. What? Yeah. What? 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 Still got me feeling like uh, who was the uh, who was the host on the old BET? He used to get uh, everybody on his show. Free and uh. No, 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 no. Way oh, before oh, that, oh, like you talking about Tavis, Tavis Smiley. Oh, I would definitely. That's way before my time. time. That's my time. I feel like a tap. I'm thinking about like, Big Tigger and Free yeah, and uh, Big Tigger's another one. I feel like Big Tigger. This. I feel like I. I feel like I have because of the work that I've done as yeah. a creative. I get a different conversation from yeah. folks because it's like I get the shit. Yeah. I'm doing the shit. Yes, yeah, and that's from one. That. That's one. I'm from that, right? So I don't from ever want to lose touch of that, which is why I'm so excited to get back to doing music, yeah. bro. Can we stop? I know we already talked about it, but I just want to like. Do the do the internet shit. No, that's cool. Hey, hey, can we like act like you know what I'm saying? Hey, so I don't know what plans you got for next year. Like I don't know if you work <laughs> with anybody, but hey, can we finally get this project done, bro? Oh like, uh, yeah, you know, no, let's do it, bro. man. Like, no, we very long overdue, Curtis. It's nothing. You know, I work fast though. I know you do. I work very. I do. Fast. I do. Once I'm locked in. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm I'm, I'm looking forward to that. They though. coming. I know. They I coming. know. I'm training for it yeah. now because right now I got I got a project with uh. The homie uh, Eugene O'Neill, yeah. supremely talented, bro. And, and working with him, and uh, man, yeah, I I, I talked today to uh, I, it, it surprises me, bro. Sometimes not because my skill set is not there, but because mm. 
when folks prioritize you mm-hmm. for something like a project, yeah. that's not a small gesture. Nah, for sure. Because we know, like, when you get there, that can make enemies out of folks sometimes. Oh, yeah. When you like this, I thought this nigga was on his shit. Yeah. Then mm-hmm. I did a project with that's him and not figured. me. I know that you know that's not me. That's what I'm saying. So I don't that's take that. I don't take that lightly at all. But yeah. with that said, man, uh, I look forward to getting this project done Let's with do you. It. I look Please. forward to knocking out a whole lot of records and, and, I think and we getting can into a it. whole lot of content. With all, with all I you did, think. all our you opinions think. and all you that. You think, oh, bro, oh, we going to be a whole lot of shit. The next wave of I reaction videos, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. ready. I'm ready, bro. With I'm, all the backlash I get, I oh, ain't worried about be that, ready, bro. Yeah. Like, my, my thing is this. For everything that I see on Twitter, mm. I don't care about, like, not that I don't care about the hot takes. I don't let that define the person that I've come to know. And then I don't yeah. pretend to feel like I know how you feel about every single subject. Yeah. And I, would, yeah. I wouldn't want you to feel the same way as, as me on everything. Yeah, for sure. Because then I would want you to be me. Yeah. That's, but I think yeah. that we're living in a time, I was talking, it's funny, man, I was talking to the lady at the post office. I was milling off my CD. Mm-hmm. And she was like, um, she just talking about how so many, so many things she don't like about just this time mm-hmm. period we're living in. And I'm saying, isn't it ironic that we're living in a time where everybody wants to be unique? Because she told me about a girl who spelled her name Brandy. Mm-hmm. And uh, she was like, okay, B-R-A-N-D-Y. Mm. She was like, no, B-R-A-H. What? D-A-H-E-Y or something like that. She was like, Brandi? Like, Brandi? But she was like, yeah. this generation is so obsessed with customization. And being different. And being different. I said, but isn't it crazy how the same generation that is obsessed with being different points at you? And because you're different. Because you have a difference of opinion and wants to cancel you yeah. for it. How dare you have a you it's okay to have a difference of opinion, but just not different from mine. Bro, and just being the opposition yeah. nowadays can get you in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. I don't agree with the masses and I never I don't want to get into that, but like yeah. <laughs> we'll save that for the rollout. Yeah. <laughs> But I don't agree with a lot of the shit that people are agreeing with nowadays. Yeah. And just having an opinion, just uh, it, it makes you look very bad, you know? I just, my, my thing is, uh, if you get to know people's heart, yeah. don't let one take be the make or break. Because mm-hmm. if you tell somebody, like, if I say I love you, I'm not waiting for you to, f- I'm not waiting for you to say the one thing to fuck it up. Because mm-hmm. I don't love you. No, straight up. I love the idea of who I thought you were. Yeah. So when I look at all of this and I'm like, somebody says something I don't agree with, mm-hmm. I'm not going to immediately write them off. I'm just going to be like, mm-hmm. damn, I never would have known we was on, mm-hmm. on odds on it. I assume mm-hmm. we were in the same I place. I assume that we was in the now same I know place. Better. Now I know. Now I know. When it gets yeah. brought up. So I, I, you would hope folks have that that kind of grace with each other, but it's just not how it is. It's not how it I, is. I just need you to know, no matter where things go, no matter how it is, yeah. um, I'm going to stand behind you. Likewise. I support. Likewise, fam. We're going to have a difference on opinion. And, I, sure. and that, don't, that don't bother me. What, what bothers me is acting like everything that we built towards, everything that we mm-hmm. had, all these conversations we had when things mm-hmm. wasn't good and we was just hoping for the future to be better, mm-hmm. like that don't mean nothing because we got a yeah. difference of opinion on one thing. And we should be able to have a difference of opinion. I don't want to um, always agree with you. That's uh, weird. Hell no. Nah. That's not friendships. That's that's fucking that's ass cloning. kissing. That's cloning. And that's lame. <laughs> clone Tyrone. That shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, I need to watch that movie. Bro, man. Hey, clone you, Tyrone is tight. That shit is... The messages... I don't like I don't like fucking like spoofs and shit. It's not a spoof. I mean, it it, it it looks like a spoof, but it's not a spoof. It 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 looks like that. I see why you feel like it is, but yeah. when you get into it and you start recognizing, like, bro, so much of what they're describing is is the programming of hip hop, and not from us, mm. but like from the higher ups that create this image, and like the way that shit is put into like the food, mm. things are put into the branding. They just get into some shit. I'm like, Netflix okay this? And it's Jamie Foxx starring. Jamie Foxx right? starring in it, yeah. I think you would enjoy I'm, it, bro. It's, it's 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 fire. I, what, I wouldn't suggest it if I didn't think. What platform is Netflix. It? Oh, oh, it's on Netflix. It's on Netflix, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, yeah, it out yeah. Today, then. Check it on check Netflix. It on uh Thomas Davis said, uh, yeah, that movie made me mad. Yeah, that I, movie. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to show more. Yeah, like I don't like movies that's like a joke to me. Yeah. I'm not a comedy. It's a waste guy. of time. It's a waste of time at that point. I like nineties comedies. Yeah. I don't like anything after the nineties. I'm not yeah. a I'm not a comedy guy. Like, and then like the two thousands comedy, they sound and look so forced, so weird. Like, oh, yeah, I, I hate it. I hate it, bro. Well, well I'm gonna try it out. Though. Let me know. Let me know. First of all, we gotta make sure. We gotta make sure 
to give you your roses, man. Once again, congratulations on all the success with the project. Definitely go check that out. What I want them to do now is get... So I got your links here in the bio, but give them one singular place that you would want them to start if they wanted to just understand what this what this Triz journey is all about. TrizOnline.com. TrizOnline.com. You can find that right now in the description if you want to go check that out. Uh, I know that you have a few different services there that are offered, mm -hmm. but uh, last words of, of, of encouragement. I want to get that from you. I want to end on a good note. Last words of encouragement for anybody out of here who is mm -hmm. getting ready to start on the road that you've been on or that is getting ready to re-engage on the road of independence. And um, they're discouraged because of all the shit they hear on one side of things. Mm -hmm. And they're discouraged because they hear maybe from you like, yo, this shit is actual real work. Uh, I guess in essence, it's a, it's, it, this is a, what would you tell yourself in the beginning of this? Oh, man. If you were um, willing to listen. <laughs> nah, for real. <laughs> I don't know if I ought to listen yeah, myself. Nah, straight, straight up. Uh, consistency um, and not caring what it, everybody thinks. As as much as that is, like, so cliche to hear, like, don't care what anybody thinks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, be yourself. Don't be the loudest in the room. Listen. Please listen. Yeah. Like, when somebody's talking, even if they're talking bullshit, like, listen. Mm -hmm. Even if it's something you can't learn, just listen. Um, uh, don't be afraid to be, commu uh, like, to communicate. Um, ask questions. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, go outside. Talk to people. Um, if there's things going on in your neighborhood, um, events, this, that, and the third, you know, go be a part of that type of Facts. stuff. You don't have to be um, the center of attention. Um, that that that's the type of stuff that I would I would tell my younger self if they were trying to get into any game. Mm -hmm. That have to be rap, you know what I mean? It could be art, it could yeah. be photography, uh, it could be acting, uh, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to get into. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, have a voice, listen, learn, and be consistent. That part, yeah. that part. Well, well, we we appreciate you sharing your time with us, bro. And I want to make sure we acknowledge some of the folks in here. What's going on, Phoenix? Thomas Davis, Chris A.K., yeah. uh, Lit Lakota, yeah, hell yeah. Thomas Davis, T. Lamont, Courtney, appreciate Respect. you, sis. KJS, uh, Reach for the Sky. Respect. Said, Potent the rock star, 305 Goddess. Respect. Really appreciate everyone that, that, that hung out. I didn't I didn't got this dude in here for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But I, we appreciate all of the insights, bro. We, we didn't went through a whole... Spe mm -hmm. they, they, they probably wasn't expecting this on a Sunday, but they got <laughs> no, it. Nonetheless, man, go get that project. <laughs> what is the name of the project one more time? Uh, Coronella with my boy uh, Ouija Mac out right now mm -hmm. on all platforms. Please stream, support it. We got merch. We got shirts. We got uh, hats. We got motherfucking... Uh, <laughs> Everything, everything. You, feel you know me? what? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm. A, you got it on Bandcamp. Uh, it's on Chapter17.com. That's on. It's on Chapter17. Is yeah, that a that's Bandcamp? The re, that's the record label. That, record label. Uh, that oh, it's record label. Okay. On. Okay. That's Ouija Max record label. That's his record label. Yeah, okay. Yeah, word, yeah, word. Yeah. Shout out to him as and, well. Uh, we, yeah, we've been talking and everything, so you know, y'all might see some shit, but the album is on Chapter17 right now. Okay, go check that out. Thank go you, Just Jugs. Oh yeah, appreciate it. Definitely, you. and thank you, thank you, Corden. Everybody who came up in here, super, oh, yeah. super dope. All right, shout dude. out Curtis King. Let's give Curtis right, King man. his flowers. Come on now, Curtis King is a legend. Uh, I've looked up to him when I first came out to the IE. He was somebody that I first looked up to. Uh, production in, is one of the main things that I looked up man. to him as far as and artist wise. Uh, what's that song? Ra uh, Ratchets. Uh, Ratchet still jockeying. Ratchet still jockeying. Nah, you, you know what? The hot Cheetos. <laughs> you know what surprised me though? The one that surprised me, you was like, bro, I really fuck with Glory. Glo oh my God. Glory. You in propaganda, bro? That that blew Glory. my mind. You was like, I was like, man, I, I, I you know, I, I'm I listening to that on the way home. Glory, so why glory? glory. Bro, I never always want to ask just, you that. Why Glory? Because it sounds so free. Mm, it sounds so like it sounds relieving. Damn. Like it it Damn. sounds like ah uh, it sounds like uh, uh, that's what it sounds like. So glory. Uh, no no worries. Yeah. What is you talking about, nigga? That's you know what that was? That was bro. me that was me working with oh gosh and realizing for the yeah. first time I didn't have to do it by myself no more. I'm f oh word. Getting word. having somebody yeah. that I was like, bro, the the I, sometimes I yeah. underestimate the amount of mental strain yeah. it can be. I love what I do. Don't yeah. get it twisted. No, I love what up. I do. 
but it can be a tall task when you start at kick one yeah. and snare one yeah. and you haven't got one lyric down. Fact. And then that beat gets made and you yeah. know there's 15 things that can be yeah. done to maximize yeah. it and you like yeah. Yeah. have to write a verse. Then you yeah. write a verse and it's like, yeah. I gotta write another verse. Yeah. What about the hook? This whole process all will that. be- You're will thinking be, about all I'm that. I'm thinking about, but I'm, yeah. I'm trying to do it in one step. So yeah. when Oh Gosh came into the picture, it was like, he does it all better than me on that end. Yeah. I can just be a rapper. Straight up, just do you. I felt free. You well, described something nobody else could describe. Everybody be like, it just feel good. What that uh, mean? It's for, it's like, it's, <laughs> it's a big ass relief when I hear it. That's crazy. Like when I listen to music, it, uh, whether it brings me back to a time that I first heard the song yeah, or yeah. something that just makes me, it reminds me. I just like for music to make me feel good. As cliche as that sounds. Yeah. I just like when I hear that song, I'm just like, damn, Sheesh. like, you know what I mean? But when it, like, going back to what you said, before we get up out of here, yeah, y'all, yeah. writing a verse and, like, when I get stuck, I just, my mind, I just tell myself, just tell the truth. Just how tell you, the truth. How do you feel? That's good advice. Just tell the truth. Just tell the truth. And that shit is the great. Because you know what? I find my blockage happens like that. That's a great point. Just where tell the truth. It's when I'm, like, trying to sound like a cooler version of what I'm doing. I'm trying to sound like, I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to do something. I shouldn't be trying to do anything except for tell my story, mm -hmm. tell my truth. Mm -hmm. And if the truth comes out in a way that is not the most hip hop yeah. or whatever the case may be, whatever titles, mm -hmm. it was supposed to happen like that. Yeah. I got a verse where I'm talking about, uh, I said the first verse I said this morning, I got a three day notice. I ain't tripping. I rolled some weed on it. And that was the truth. <laughs> Right but do you know how many folks can relate to that though? Real chop, yeah. but, it, but it made the song sound dope because yeah. I was like, okay, now I can keep going. Wait, now you know I what I want to tell? I'm sorry. I, okay, yeah. I, I promise yeah. I'm not gonna prolong this. You know what the funniest shit to me with your music? You know what I love your music so much because I know your personality, yeah. bro. This shit fucks with me every time I listen to your songs. Yeah. Your ad libs uh -huh. sound like it sound like your ad libs. If you listen to Tris Tris music, he has very like identifiable ad libs. Yeah. This is my theory, like psychologically when I zoom yeah. out. You rapping, right? You already sound irritated. Yeah, yeah. I'm something nice, some pine and penny, so da -da -da, whatever. And then your ad libs is like, oh, yeah. and it's almost like, like shut the fuck up. Yeah, I'm gonna say what I'm. Gonna. It no. sounds like it's hyping you up, but I love the interaction and energy between yeah. the two. Bro, the way I do my ad libs, <laughs> I do my ad libs as a person that's listening to them. I always tell oh. people. So like when I'm listening, like when I li when when I hear it back and I'm doing my ad libs, yeah. I be like, oh. But that's what I love it because it yeah. get me hype. Like yeah. even the song that you submitted over, I was yeah. like, I need those ad libs to be in there. Bro, hype yourself up. Yeah, I gotta do it. Tell yourself you're dope. You're right. Because if nobody will, you mm -hmm. will. I always do that. I always. That's where the oh, yeah. Oh, yeah yeah. That's where that comes from. You need that. Cause everybody be Damn, like, yeah, even my homies may make fun of my ad lib and shit. Yeah. I be like, nigga, shut up, nigga. I'm hyping myself up. But they love that shit. Yeah yeah. You feel me? Damn. I'm just hyping myself up. I tell myself I'm gonna, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna take heed to that. That's yeah. that's I never even would have thought about it like well, that, bro. Nigga, like nigga, at the end of the day, y'all ain't gotta even give me y'all. I'm sorry, you, you saying y'all ain't gotta say shit about it. I know what I, I know did. What I said. I know what I nigga, said. That shit made me hard, feel away. Nigga. What nigga? This shit is hard. Ooh, that nigga guessing. You know what's yeah. crazy though? Producers do that in live streams where uh, they'll, no, they'll they'll do some shit. They be like, ooh, that stank, shit hard. The stank face. Like, ooh, ooh, you didn't do that shit. But then that makes everybody else feel like. Oh, that is kind of hard, huh? Yeah, yeah, It's crazy, yeah. bro. For sure. All right, man, once again, round of applause for my guy, Triz, man. Thank you. We're going to continue to celebrate you. We always have you here. We yeah. always are here as a stop. Anytime yeah. you need to make, you got yeah. something else you want to talk to us about, let it be known. Sure. Hell yeah. But uh, I'm, I'm serious as ever yeah. about this project. Cornella. DIYers. Cornella, Cornella. Out now. Yes, out yeah. now, out yeah. now. Yeah. I got all that information here in the description. Yeah. I'm going to add that yeah. last one here to it, too. But sure. my friends. I will see you here tomorrow with new content. I'm going to leave this live stream up here. Shout out to those that are on the DIY uh, Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Curtis King. Come check it out. We over there. I'm putting content up every day. Uh, that being said, yo, just support in whatever way you can. This independence is real. We feel the support no matter how big or small you give that. In, you need to know that's going directly into the things that support this livelihood as independent artists. Proud to be it. Glad to be it. Thank y'all so much. Y'all have an amazing night. We will talk to you soon. All right? Peace. DIY. DIYers, if you enjoyed this content, make sure that you hit the like button and maybe even consider subscribing. Come on, man. Stop, stop being greedy.
Go on and let the people know that you enjoy what you're seeing. I'll see you soon. Peace. Oh,